In this world, every man is given a wife by the state. After they reach adulthood, this is to awaken extraordinary abilities to fight against evil monsters, but the assigned wife's race is random. Some people marry zombies, awakening to summon ancient zombie maidens. Some marry ancient dragons, awakening to become top-ranking divine dragon riders. And there are even those who marry pig-human hybrids, awakening as a defensive pig-headed person. However, in this world of universal marriage, very few people live to be 18 years old, solely because of the rampant beasts and demons here. You could be crushed by a monster while walking on the road. Ghosts and spirits may crawl out from under your bed at home. Even your ancestors might come out of their graves to take you away. To be assigned an ideal wife, I studied psychology for a full three years. Because the marriage rooms contain any race in the world, they are extremely skilled at disguises. Once you open the door, you must become partners with the opposite sex in the room. If you're lucky and choose a rare high-level elf, strong and good-looking, then you'll be happy for life. If you're unlucky and choose a giant or fish race, it will be a fate of being dominated until death. And I relied on a powerful analysis system to choose a SSS-level beautiful red dragon girl as my wife, and transferred to become a powerful dragon knight. In the academy's test, because of my strong strength, many people admired me. One of the female classmates with a hot figure wanted to use my strength to help her pass the assessment. At this moment, she put her hands behind her, swaying her body coquettishly, making her curves even more dramatic. Um, Lucian, can you take me along? You don't need to take me to the end, just take me to the foot of the mountain. I think teacher Zhang won't find out. If you agree, I can double row with you. The female student's voice was weak, with both the shyness of a girl and the unrestrained nature of a mature woman. Lu Chen fell silent at this time. He suddenly felt that what mattered wasn't whether or not the rules were followed, but rather since everyone was classmates, they should help each other. It wasn't that he wanted to double row with her, he just liked helping others. However, just as Lu Chen was being entranced by her seductive movements, he suddenly felt a sharp pain in his waist. Lu Chen turned his head and saw Long Kor's face, flushed with anger. Long Kor stared at Lu Chen closely without saying a word. Lu Chen felt a bit guilty and asked, Why are you looking at me? Long Kor still didn't speak. Lu Chen touched her nose and smiled, then looked at the turbulent junior sister and coughed lightly, since it's an assessment, I think it's best to be fair and just. Believe in yourself, and good luck. You are the strongest. After saying that, Lu Chen decisively turned and left, leaving only a majestic figure for the junior sister. This Lu Chen is really unfeeling. He said so much, and he actually refused, a classmate complained nearby. But the junior sister interrupted him and began to defend Lu Chen, I think Lu Chen makes sense. Since it's an assessment, we should work hard on our own. If we can rely on Lu Chen this time, what about next time? The junior sister looked admiringly at Lu Chen's back and then clenched her fist, saying, I should listen to Lu Chen and not rely on others' strength. In fact, she didn't really know if what Lu Chen said made sense, but Lu Chen was handsome enough and talented enough. When a man like him speaks, it must make sense. What Lu Chen didn't know was that because of this statement, he actually gained a little fangirl. The assessment process continued, and everyone resumed their battles with monsters. Lu Chen, on the other hand, leisurely made his way to the mountaintop. Zhang Lan had been waiting here for a long time. Hmm, passed? Zhang Lan was not surprised to see Lu Chen arrive first. However, it had been less than 10 minutes since the assessment started, and Lu Chen had already reached the finish line, a speed even she hadn't expected. Hmm, overall it wasn't difficult, Lu Chen said with a smile. Zhang Lan also didn't think much of it and said, Congratulations, Lu, you've set another record. I believe it will be difficult for other students to surpass this record. Lu Chen scratched his head, feeling a little embarrassed. The main reason for his good performance this time was the title's credit. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to complete the assessment so quickly. The assessment ended shortly after, and due to the immense difficulty of the final assessment, less than a third of the participants passed. However, Zhang Lan was already satisfied with this result, considering that the students had only recently become transfer students, and there was still plenty of room for improvement. After the assessment, Zhang Lan reported the results to the school's higher-ups. Wow, who said that the early stages of mythical level professions are weak? Li Zheng couldn't sit still after seeing Lu Chen's results in the three assessments. He put on his reading glasses and marveled at the situation. He then reported the situation to the Magic Marshall University. Although Lu Chen was already a designated student, his performance in the assessment still needed to be reported to the university. After all, if he performed poorly in a normal assessment, it could have an impact. Even if he performed too poorly, there were cases where the admission quota was revoked. After completing all this, Li Zhang looked at Zhang Lan and said seriously, Zhang, 
We need to keep Lu's assessment results confidential. We can't let anyone else know, especially those outside of our school. Zhang Lan was puzzled. Lu Chen is a genius. If others know about his assessment results, wouldn't it be a good thing for our school's reputation? It could also increase the visibility of our school. But before Zhang Lan could finish, Li Zhang interrupted her, showing a secretive expression, you are still too young and don't know many things. This kid Lu Chen's performance is too good. If other schools find out, they will definitely come to snatch him. This will bring him a lot of trouble. For the sake of his smooth admission to the Magic Martial University, they have repeatedly instructed us, and they have also provided us with many sponsorship resources. It's not because of these sponsorship resources that we need to keep it a secret, but mainly because of the popularity this kid has gained. Do you understand? Only then did Zhang Lan nod. In the past, talented transfer students have been fiercely sought after by many universities after graduating from high school. This kind of thing is not uncommon. Even some universities are willing to pay a huge price in order to attract talented students. What famous teacher one-on-one -on -one transmission? What tens of millions of gold coins? Even the president of a second-rate university two years ago married off his granddaughter in order to enroll a talented student. Although this kind of thing seems glamorous, it often adds a lot of trouble for the parties involved. Li Zheng's actions have actually relieved Lu Chen of a lot of trouble. After sending Zhang Lan away, Li Zheng sat down again, opened the thermos cup and took a sip of wolfberry tea. He sighed, I am really a good president, I have considered too much for the students. I must have been a saint in my previous life. If Lu Chen heard this, he would definitely be furious with the old man. Last time, the agreed reward money was turned into a villa by you, and now you are trying to stop all the universities from snatching me. If he could choose in this matter, Lu Chen would definitely go with the highest bidder. He would go with whoever offers the highest price. Anyway, with his professional characteristics, it doesn't matter which university he goes to as long as there are resources. Not long after this assessment ended, the assessment results were successfully announced. As expected, Lu Chen swept the first place, which was not surprising to everyone, after all, he was a legendary professional. And Lu Chen's performance in the three rounds of assessment was also witnessed by everyone. It can only be said that the title of Lu Chen is even more dazzling. Lu Chen's little fangirls increased again. Many junior and senior high school girls have developed an admiration for Lu Chen, and some bold girls even openly write love letters to him. This change in many female students has made many male students quite uncomfortable and they are full of great hostility towards Lu Chen. Um, Zhao, can you please give these things to Lu Shen? At a corner of Jin Sha No, one high school, a junior high school girl in a JK skirt shyly handed a pile of things to Zhao Qingsong and asked pitifully. Okay. Zhao Qingsong scratched his head and agreed with a strange look. Seeing this, the junior high school girl became extremely excited, thanked him shyly, and hurriedly left. Zhao Qingsong looked at these things, most of which were snacks, and there was also a love letter. The seal of the love letter was heart-shaped, showing that the junior high school girl had put in effort. Alas, I, Zha Qingsong, am also handsome and charming, why don't junior and senior high school girls write love letters to me? Zha Qingsong put away the things, touched his handsome face, and sighed before leaving. During this time, he had received many love letters from junior and senior high school girls, but unfortunately, these love letters were all meant for him to pass on to Lu Chen. In addition to the love letters, these junior and senior high school girls often asked him to help bring meals to Lu Chen. At first, Zhao Qingsong didn't mind, but over time, he felt uncomfortable. Although the marriage partner is theoretically the other half of the transmigrator, the two are ultimately different races, and many people, even after having a marriage partner, will still seek a human companion. This is the norm for most people. Only a small number of transmigrators have only one partner for life. Although his zombie mother was lively and energetic, she was ultimately a zombie, not a human, especially since she was always cold. When they communicated, it was fine when the weather was hot, but when it was cold, it was a different story. Also, many times when his movements were a little too big, his zombie mother's head would fall off. Although the ability for her head to fall off at any time added a lot of fun, most of the time it was still quite scary. Zhao Qingsong still hasn't adapted. Thinking that Lu Chen's marriage partner is not only from the legendary Fire Dragon clan, but also has so many junior and senior high school girls pursuing him now. Zhao Qingsong couldn't help but feel envious. When he arrived at class 3 and found Lu Chen, Zhao Qingsong handed over a large pile of snacks and love letters to Lu Chen. Here, please sign for your delivery. After Zhao Qingsong handed over the things to Lu Chen, he sat down dejectedly. Lu Chen didn't even look at the things and just stuffed them under the desk. You didn't even look at the love letter? Zhao Qingsong sat in front of Lu Chen and widened his eyes at Lu Chen's actions. Aren't you curious about what's written inside? Not curious. 
Lu Chen remained calm and pointed helplessly under the desk. Don't agree to bring me things for others in the future, I'm really troubled now. Troubled? Zhao Qingsong didn't understand Lu Chen's meaning. When he looked under Lu Chen's desk, his eyes suddenly turned red. He saw that Lu Chen's desk was filled with many small gifts from junior and senior sisters, as well as numerous stacked love letters. How strong must his peach blossom luck be to receive such treatment? Every time he saw the almost worshipful gazes of these junior and senior sisters towards Lu Chen, he even felt that if Lu Chen was willing, he could change his romantic interest every day. And yet this guy was oblivious to his good fortune. What a waste. Seeing Zhao Qingsong looking like he was about to go crazy, Lu Chen rolled his eyes. Do you really think so many junior and senior sisters like me? Zhao Qingsong was stunned. Of course, why else would they give you gifts? They just admire my talent and want to latch onto my success. Lu Chen smiled without further explanation. Although he was not bad looking, he believed he hadn't reached the point where women would fall for him at first sight. Before becoming a professional, he was just a nobody, and not even girls would initiate conversations with him, let alone write love letters. The reason for his drastic change was because he had become a legendary professional. This world is realistic, and many times things are not as simple as they seem on the surface, everyone is driven by their own interests. Hearing Lu Chen's words, Zhao Qingsong nodded as if he understood. Just then, a cry suddenly came from outside the classroom, the focus has shifted to the Golden Sands Beach defense line. Lin Xiao has led the Holy Knight Guild to block the entire defense line, and members of other guilds have also rushed to the scene. After the voice fell, someone asked, What's going on? Has that monster gone berserk? It's said that Lin Ying has arrived at the beach defense line and has started dealing with the boss. Many people are going to watch, let's hurry and go see. Hearing the commotion outside, Zhao Qingsong frowned. Has Lin Ying finally arrived here? I wonder how the genius who studied at the Magic Marshall University for two years will perform now. He's a level 60 super strong, he should be able to defeat this level 40 monster in seconds, right? At this point, Lu Chen also became interested. He had heard about the situation with the boss at the Golden Sands Beach defense line before. The top three guilds in Golden Sands City had all intervened last time, and they all suffered heavy losses. He wondered how Lin Ying would perform. Let's go take a look. Lu Chen said, pulling Zhao Qingsong along to the Golden Sands Beach defense line. After all, today's school schedule was free, and they had plenty of time to watch the excitement. The Golden Sands Beach defense line was just as Lu Chen had seen before, completely sealed off by the strong members of various guilds, with onlookers outside the blockade. Not only were students from the Golden Sands first high school present, but also students from the third and sixth high schools. The lineup of guilds that had mobilized this time was quite luxurious. Lin Xiao's second guild in Golden Sands City, the Holy Knight Guild, Fei Bingru's Magic Guild of Golden Sands City, and several other highly ranked guilds had all mobilized. Their purpose in coming here was simple, to maintain order at the scene and assist Lin Ying in killing the diamond level boss, the flame-weaving firebird. When Lu Chen arrived at the scene, he saw many familiar figures in the crowd. Yumi and Jiang Shishu were together, and when they saw Lu Chen, both women nodded at him. Yumi warmly greeted Lu Chen, while Jiang Shishu seemed absent-minded, as if she had something on her mind. Upon seeing the two women, Lu Chen also nodded at them, indicating that they had also received the news to come here and watch the excitement. Lu Chen scanned the students from Sanjong and Liuzhong. When this group of students saw Lu Chen, their expressions all changed, showing an extremely fearful look, as if they had seen something terrifying. The incident where Lu Chen single-handedly took on all of them last time was still vivid in their minds, making their scalps tingle even now. For them, beneath this seemingly gentle and jade-like exterior, there was a dark heart. These people are so spineless. It seems that the psychological shadow you left them last time was really too big. Zhao Qingsong nudged Lu Chen's shoulder with his elbow and winked. Lu Chen just smiled and didn't say anything in response. It's not surprising that he was so ruthless. When it comes to dealing with enemies, he wouldn't show any mercy. If it weren't for these guys attracting his attention with their points, none of the subsequent events would have happened. It can only be said that they brought it upon themselves. Everyone stay back, do not cross the caution line, and do not approach the caution line. It's quite dangerous here, so back away quickly. At this moment, a member of the guild stepped forward to maintain order at the scene. These guilds usually compete with each other, but today they were united. This was normal, as some friction and conflicts were inevitable for the development of the guilds, but when it came to major issues, these people could see things clearly. The purpose of the guild's existence was definitely not just for mutual support, but more importantly, to be able to respond to any sudden situations at any time. For example, when the flamewee fledgling bird first appeared, the first to rush forward were these guild members. The places where the guilds belonged and the benefits they enjoyed were also different. 
Some guilds were directly managed by the Xia country and enjoyed the highest resources. There were also guilds established in the name of a certain university. These two types of guilds often had people providing resources, and the welfare benefits were quite good. However, the threshold for joining these guilds was also very high and not something that ordinary people could join. In Xia country, most of the guilds were of the third type, which were often created in the name of individuals and had no support behind them. These guilds were often the most miserable, as they had to fight for all the resources they needed. Therefore, they could only work hard to challenge dungeons, collect equipment, and sell resources, which also led to a high casualty rate for these guilds. At this moment, a burly man walked out, who was none other than Chao Menglong, the vice president of the mage guild. Following him was an elegant woman in a mage robe, who was none other than Fei Bingru, the president of the mage guild, who had a brief encounter with Lu Chen. When these two appeared, the whole scene immediately stirred, as their strength in Jinsha City was absolutely formidable. Such strong individuals rarely appeared in public and generally did not join forces. The last time they joined forces was when the flame weave fledgling bird first appeared. However, although their appearance at that time was domineering, their ending was quite embarrassing, as they were almost completely defeated by the flame weave fledgling bird. After these two, another figure walked out, with a calm expression and a determined look in his eyes. However, this person was a one-eyed man, with his right eye covered by an eye patch. This was none other than Lin Xiao, the president of the second guild in Jinsha City, the Paladin Guild, and his level was already 53. The Paladin Guild only had Lin Xiao appearing, without a vice president accompanying him. The Paladin Guild originally had a vice president, Lin Xiao's younger brother, Lin Ying, but since Lin Ying left the guild to study at the Magic Marshall University, the Paladin Guild had never had a vice president again. When Lin Xiao appeared, the scene erupted once again. At this moment, two more figures walked out in succession. The foremost is a mature woman with red hair, wearing a tight skirt that perfectly fits her body, revealing a very attractive curve. As soon as she appeared, the scene instantly became noisy and lively. I can't believe she's here, it's really rare. The number one guild in Jinsha City, Pinnacle, I didn't expect them to show up this time. It is said that Pinnacle in our Jinsha City is just a branch of their guild, their guild is almost everywhere in Xia Country, and they are also at the forefront in Xia Country. If the people from Pinnacle had appeared last time, the boss might have been dealt with long ago. They actually showed up here this time. Listening to the discussions of the crowd, Lu Chen finally learned the identity of the red-haired woman in front of him. Unexpectedly, she is the president of the number one guild in Jinsha City, Pinnacle, GZ. This woman is not bad, this figure, this temperament, TSK TSK, who can withstand her for three seconds, I would call him a real man. Zhao Qingsong stared at GZ's graceful silhouette and lewdly said. Lu Chan rolled his eyes irritably. How did he not notice before how lewd this guy was? Even with a zombie girl around, he's still so frivolous. I wonder if the zombie girl will be jealous when she finds out about his behavior. Although he thought so, Lu Chen couldn't help but look over, and indeed, it was quite a different feeling. However, Lu Chen didn't have the same evil thoughts as Zhao Qingsong. He swore that he was just purely appreciating. Appreciation is a human instinct, and appreciating beautiful women is even more of a man's instinct. This is a very normal thing, and Lu Chen has never resisted the occurrence of such things. Is she pretty? A faint voice suddenly came from behind, and Long Kora looked at Lu Chen with a smile that was not a smile. Lu Chen's expression instantly stiffened. I think my core is still prettier. Lu Chen decisively withdrew his gaze and said with a wry smile. He suddenly envied Zhao Qingsong a bit. Because the zombie girl is afraid of sunlight, she cannot accompany Zhao Qingsong all the time, but this guy can freely look at beautiful women. But he can't. He still has a little dragon girl who can easily overturn a vinegar jar by his side. Poof. Hearing Lu Chen's answer, Long Kor pouted discontentedly. I have had a scale of this magnitude before. Long Kor's gaze swept over Ji Zi's waves and murmured softly. But when her gaze moved downward, a sense of inferiority suddenly emerged from within her. She really couldn't compare to that. It's too outstanding. She can't do it. Thinking of this, Long Kor became even more upset, and she reached out and pinched Lu Chen's waist fiercely before disappearing from the spot she voluntarily returned to the marriage space. Lu Chen was quite helpless about this. He just looked at it with an appreciative attitude, and Long Kor didn't need to be jealous at all. Look, that's Lin Ying, the genius who has been studying at the Magic Marshall University for two years. Suddenly, a cry of surprise rang out from the side, instantly attracting the attention of countless people. Has the protagonist of today finally appeared? Everyone's gaze turned to the front, but under the left and right glances, they could only see the bewildered eyes of the others. Not to mention Lin Ying himself, they didn't even see a single hair. Where is he? 
Didn't they say Lin Ying has already arrived? Who was talking nonsense just now? Find him and beat him up. Everyone felt like they had been fooled. Lu Chen also followed the gaze of the crowd to the west, but he didn't see Lin Ying's figure either. I feel a strong fluctuation of energy. Just then, Long Kor suddenly came out of the marriage space, stood beside Lu Chen, looked up at the sky, and said softly, then immediately returned to the marriage space. Lu Chen? Have you encountered a natural enemy? Lu Chen looked up at the sky, and his pupils contracted. At this moment, a black shadow suddenly covered the sky, instantly blocking the sun above the crowd. This sudden change also instantly caught the attention of some people present. Look, there seems to be something in the sky. A cry of surprise rang out. Everyone looked up at the sky and saw a huge dragon that had appeared out of nowhere. The dragon's body was like a small mountain, and as it soared through the sky, it emitted a piercing roar. When the roar of the dragon sounded, the entire space seemed to tremble violently, and the terrifying power instantly swept through the Western Zhou dynasty. The strength was so powerful that it seemed to have the ability to reverse the universe, and under this power, everyone present felt a deep fear in their souls. Whether it was the onlookers or the powerful members of various guilds, they all felt an impulse to worship from the bottom of their hearts. Even Fei Bingru, Xiao Menglong, Lin Xiao, and others felt a strong pressure, and their faces instantly turned as pale as paper. Among the people present, apart from Lu Chen, only the extraordinary woman who had reached the peak was not affected. The reason Lu Chen was unharmed was mainly because he had made a contract with Long Ker. Even though Long Ker's strength could not be fully exerted due to Lu Chen's level limitation, she was still a mythical existence, and there were few races that could suppress her with their power. After Lu Chen made a contract with Long Ker, he also gained the characteristics of the dragon race, so he would naturally not be affected by the power. Lu Chen looked at the extraordinary woman and couldn't help squinting. The fact that he could ignore the influence of this power was all thanks to Long Ker, but how could this extraordinary woman remain unharmed? Even the person next to the extraordinary woman, although not showing the same anxiety as others, also had a somewhat pale complexion. At the moment when Lu Chen looked at the extraordinary woman, as if sensing his gaze, the extraordinary woman also looked at Lu Chen. After a brief eye contact in the air, the extraordinary woman suddenly nodded at Lu Chen and showed a meaningful smile. Lu Chen was first stunned, but then nodded back at her. This woman is not simple. Lu Chen remained calm on the surface, but he was extremely shocked in his heart. Although he didn't know the specific level and occupation of the other party, just a simple eye contact made Lu Chen feel something unusual. My god, what is this thing? Why is it so huge? Its size is almost comparable to that of a passenger plane, isn't it? It looks like a monster. Could it be a boss-level monster from a certain instance breaking through the instance barrier? The scene suddenly became chaotic, and some of the more timid people were already preparing to flee. The reason why the monsters in the instance would not leave the instance was because there was a barrier that could restrict the movement of the monsters inside the instance. Once this barrier was damaged, the monsters could break out of the instance and invade the city. A similar event had occurred in Jinsha City before, where a sudden outbreak of monsters from an instance had led to the breach of the instance barrier. At that time, countless monsters swarmed out of the instance and entered the city, causing great destruction to the city. It was only when the strong members of three high schools joined forces that these monsters were completely killed. So when they saw this huge creature, many people subconsciously thought that this monster had come out of an instance. Something's not right, look at the head of the dragon, it seems like there's a person standing on it. Just as many people were preparing to escape, someone suddenly noticed something and pointed to the head of the dragon, shouting loudly. Everyone subconsciously looked over and indeed saw a figure standing on the head of the dragon. This figure stood with hands behind the back, on top of the dragon's head, and the robe fluttered in the wind, giving off an extremely domineering aura. It was like a tyrant ruling the world, looking down on the common people. Although the specific appearance of the figure could not be clearly seen, the domineering aura was unmistakable. However, before everyone could react, the dragon suddenly changed direction and swiftly swooped down towards the crowd below. This scene instantly terrified a large number of people. Oh my god. We're done for. This is bad. This is bad. Someone save me. Everyone felt that the giant dragon was launching an attack, and their minds went blank with despair. The dragon's speed was fast, like a meteor plunging towards the ground, leaving no chance for escape. In this situation, many people closed their eyes in despair, waiting for the arrival of the Grim Reaper. But after waiting for a long time, they didn't hear the sound of the dragon crashing to the ground. Ha! Huh? Many people curiously opened their eyes and only then did they realize that the dragon had suddenly stopped a few hundred meters above the ground. At such a close distance, people could even feel the hot breath of the dragon hitting their faces. The dragon's body was a dark green color, 
with each dragon scale clearly visible, like a set of green armor, exuding an unparalleled dominance. Just as everyone was puzzled about why the dragon had suddenly stopped, a figure suddenly jumped down from the top of the dragon's head. When they saw this figure, everyone was instantly shocked. The person was dressed in a sharp suit, with a determined face and a hint of heroism in his demeanor. Although he was just standing there, he still gave off a sense of sharpness. Big brother, long time no see. The person first glanced at the crowd, then looked at Lin Xiu in front, and a smile appeared on his handsome face. Big brother? Upon hearing this address to Lin Xiu, many people suddenly realized. Lin Ying. This was the monstrous Lin Ying who had studied at the Magic Marshall University for two years. You, kid, you sure know how to make an entrance. You even brought out such a grand display. Lin Xiu also realized, just now he thought it was a boss escaping from a dungeon. The two brothers smiled at each other and embraced warmly. Then Lin Ying said, Big brother, it's not that I intentionally made such a grand entrance, this is just my battle pet. I use it for transportation, it's just for convenience. Battle pet. As the name suggests, it is a pet used for battle. When a class changer has a certain level of strength, they will buy special equipment to tame some monsters as battle pets, to assist in battles or for transportation. When everyone looked at the huge dragon in front of them, they couldn't connect it to being a battle pet. This thing must be at least level 40, right? Such a terrifying dragon, and it's just a battle pet? After realizing this, everyone was shocked. Did it have to be this extravagant? Lin Xiu looked deeply at his younger brother, then suddenly patted his shoulder and nodded, Well done, you didn't embarrass your big brother. When you entered the Magic Marshall University for further studies, I knew that you would definitely reach a very high level in the future. However, I underestimated you. Your performance now is much better than I expected. Such a terrifying battle pet, even as the leader of the Holy Knight, he didn't dare to imagine it. This not only shocked him, but also filled him with pride. Is Lin Ying awesome now? Naturally. But even such an awesome person still has to call him Big Brother. How could he not be proud? After a brief chat, Lin Ying's gaze swept over the people present, and when he saw someone, a faint smile appeared on his face. Sure sure, we finally meet again. When Lin Ying said this, everyone present was extremely shocked. From Lin Ying's tone, it seemed that the two of them knew each other, and it wasn't just a simple acquaintance. The relationship between the two seemed to be quite extraordinary. Originally just watching the excitement in the crowd, Lu Chen also froze, he looked at the troubled face of Jiang Shushu, and then at Lin Ying who was full of vigor and seemed like the chosen one. Suddenly, his mouth twitched, and he had a bad feeling. Could it be that the person this girl mentioned before was this guy? If that's the case, Lu Chen would want to cry. Although she was only a legendary class professional, she was still a level 60 powerhouse, while he, although a mythical class professional, was only level 20 at the end of the day. Whether it's epic or mythological, reaching level 60 as a job changer is already a pride of the heavens. This is also why only the epic level Lin Ying has such high prestige and can go to the Magic Martial University for further studies. Throughout history, many people have fallen on the path of growth. Occupational talent is just one dimension of judgment, and the most important thing is the level. If we were to compare the current Lu Chen with Lin Ying, Lu Chen would definitely not be as good as the other party. After all, he is at best a promising future, while the other party is already a giant in their own right, and there is no comparison between the two. If the person in Jiang Shushu's mouth is really Lin Ying, Lu Chen's shield would probably be torn to pieces. Don't be so intimate, it makes us seem very familiar. Faced with Lin Ying's enthusiasm, Jiang Shushu's performance was somewhat indifferent. Originally, when Lin Ying took the initiative to greet Jiang Shushu, the women present were all envious, truly full of envy, jealousy, and hatred. But after hearing Jiang Shushu's words, their faces changed drastically. Such a pride of the heavens, they all wanted to please, but Jiang Shushu's attitude was like this, truly not knowing how fortunate she was. But this is even better, this way we have a chance. Originally thought that Jiang Shushu's attitude would definitely displease Lin Ying, who would have thought that Lin Ying's reaction would catch many female classmates off guard. Sure sure, you really love to joke. The Jiang family has already agreed to our marriage. According to tradition, you should be my fiancé. There shouldn't be any problem with me calling you that. Lin Ying's words shattered the hearts of many young women. Fiancé. Jiang Shushu is actually the fiancé of this strong man. This made many women suddenly feel hopeless. At the same time, they were all shocked. Even the students at the same school as Jiang Shushu were extremely shocked because they did not know about Jiang Shushu's engagement with this person. Jiang Shushu had never mentioned this matter to anyone else. In fact, this was normal. Jiang Shushu originally had no feelings for Lin Ying, so naturally she would not publicize this matter. But upon hearing Lin Ying's words, 
Luchin felt quite desperate. He really guessed it right. This woman actually thinks highly of me, and actually used me to block Lin Ying. Lu Chen smiled bitterly, regretting why he didn't clarify the situation before agreeing. After hearing the three words fiancé from Lin Ying, Zhang Shishir furrowed her brows again and said, the attitude of the family has nothing to do with me. I have never acknowledged any relationship with you. I already have someone in my heart, it's impossible between us. Is that so? Upon hearing that Zhang Shishir had someone, Lin Ying did not show much emotional fluctuation, but smiled and said, then bring out your partner and let me see what kind of person can take away the woman that I, Lin Ying, have set my eyes on. He just felt that Zhang Shishir was joking and wanted to make himself back down. How could he possibly fall for such an obvious trick? Upon hearing this, Zhang Shishir involuntarily looked at Lu Chen. Lu Chen's body stiffened instantly. Sure enough, what should come will come eventually. Hmm. At this moment, Lin Ying also noticed Zhang Shishir's change and looked at Lu Chen. My partner is him. Zhang Shishir took a deep breath and suddenly pointed at Lu Chen, speaking loudly. For a moment, Lu Chen became the new focus of the scene. Many curious eyes fell on Lu Chen at the same time. There was surprise, confusion, and more mockery. Lu Chen is indeed a mythological level genius, but he has not yet grown up. Mythological level geniuses are often more easily resented, and there have been many mythological and legendary geniuses who have grown up in history. So, if we were to compare the current Lu Chen with Lin Ying, there really is no comparison. Damn. Lu Chen, when did you secretly get together with the goddess Jen? Zhao Qingxiong, who was next to Lu Chen, was also startled. No wonder this kid ignored so many love letters from his schoolmates, he already had someone in his heart. Lu Chen smiled bitterly and said nothing. Baby's heart is bitter. But since he had already agreed to be the scapegoat, Lu Chen did not back down at this point, but instead came to Zhang Shishir's side with a stiff upper lip. Hello, my name is Lu Chen, and I am Shishir's boyfriend, Lu Chen said to Lin Ying, neither humble nor pushy. But Lin Ying did not respond with a handshake, instead calmly sizing up Lu Chen with a glance, then said, Lu Chen? Are you the mythical genius from Jinsha City? It's me, Lu Chen said lightly. Do you think you are worthy of her? Lin Ying suddenly asked, seemingly casual, but there was a sense of oppression in his words. If it were anyone else here, they would definitely be nervous and at a loss, but Lu Chen was completely unaffected. It was actually because of the tone of the other party's question that he felt a little annoyed. I don't know if I am worthy of Shershir, but we have already been together, and she is now my woman. This has become a fact, Lu Chen said without hesitation. As soon as these words were spoken, the whole place fell silent. Lin Ying's nominal fiancé had actually been with Lu Chen. What a shocking piece of news. Originally, everyone had gathered here to see Lin Ying deal with the boss of the Jinsha defense line. They never expected to witness such a sensational revelation. Zhang Shishir blushed instantly when she realized what had happened. She had thought that Lu Chen would back down upon knowing that the other party was Lin Ying. If that were the case, she could understand, after all, the other party was Lin Ying. But she never expected that Lu Chen not only did not feel intimidated by the other party's status, but also spoke so sharply. Although she knew that Lu Chen's words were meant to dispel Lin Ying's thoughts about her, being publicly told that they had been together before marriage was still embarrassing and awkward. I never expected it, Lu Chen actually has a thing with Shershir, the goddess. She is the woman that Lin Ying is interested in. Isn't this publicly humiliating him? Alas, Lu Chen might be in trouble. She is a level 60 powerhouse, even though Lu Chen is a mythical genius, he won't last long against Lin Ying. Many classmates began to pity Lu Chen, thinking that he would probably not have a good time in the future. Just based on the fact that Lin Ying had reached level 60 at such a young age, his connections were definitely beyond imagination. If the other party really wanted to deal with Lu Chen, they wouldn't even need to do it personally, just a few words would be enough to make Lu Chen collapse. After hearing Lu Chen's words, Lin Ying's expression stiffened, his eyes suddenly turned red, and a sense of killing intent suddenly rose from his chest. But after a while, this killing intent suddenly disappeared. The scene fell into a dead silence. Just when everyone thought Lin Ying was about to explode, unexpectedly, Lin Ying did not make any move. He smiled again and said, let's not talk about this for now, the main thing is more important. After saying this, Lin Ying looked at Lin Xiao and said, big brother, where is the boss? Take me there now. I'll take you there. Lin Xiao also reacted and first gave Lu Chen a complicated look, then led Lin Ying deep into the area. The strong members of various guilds followed suit. Although they were not capable of dealing with the flame weave bird, they could still help out. This boss had seriously affected the order and safety of the Jinsha defense line and needed to be eliminated. Seeing this scene, many onlookers also followed, wanting to witness how Lin Ying would kill the boss, but they were blocked by members of the Holy Knight Guild. It's dangerous inside, 
and outsiders are not allowed in, said a member of the Holy Knight Guild coldly. The crowd immediately showed disappointed expressions. They had wanted to see how a level 60 powerhouse would make a stunning move, but it seemed that they would not have the chance. Let them all in, Lin Ying suddenly stopped and turned around. This seems a bit out of line, doesn't it? The member of the Holy Knight Guild was a bit hesitant. It's just a small matter, this boss poses no threat to me. I can easily take care of it. Let them come in and take a look. Lin Ying Yun said lightly, then turned his gaze to Lu Chen and said, You can come in and see for yourself. See the difference between us. This guy is not simple. It seems he already knows that I and Zhang Shushu are just putting on a show. By letting everyone in together, he clearly wants to show off in front of everyone. If this show off is successful, it will only make me feel more unworthy of Zhang Shushu. What a trouble. But it's just as well. Lu Chen also wants to see how a level 60 job changer fights, so he didn't refuse and followed everyone in. At Lin Ying's suggestion, many onlookers also entered the Golden Sands Beach defense line. The moment they stepped into the defense line, everyone could feel a special power lingering in the air. This is the power of the barrier. There are many instances in the Golden Sands Beach defense line, where monsters have broken through the barrier and invaded the city. Therefore, in order to prevent similar incidents, powerful mages have set up a barrier throughout the western perimeter of the Golden Sands Beach defense line. This is also why, after the appearance of the flame-weaving bird, it only roamed within the defense line and did not appear outside the defense line because it couldn't get out at all. After entering the defense line, there were many entrances to the instances in front of them. Originally, in front of these entrances, there was a plane, but now it had turned into a scorched earth, all burned to ashes. And in front of one of the instance entrances, there were many traces left from the battles, and from these traces, it was not difficult to see how fierce the battles were. These were the traces left by the major guilds when they fought the flame-weaving bird at the beginning of its appearance. When they saw these traces, the strong members of many guilds couldn't help but shiver, and they remembered the fear they had when they were dominated by the flame-weaving bird. However, to somewhat reassure everyone, the flame-weaving bird was not here now. Just then, a mage in the crowd suddenly spoke up, I sense a very strong fire attribute power rapidly approaching, the boss has sensed our presence and is coming towards our direction. In fact, even without this person speaking up, everyone had already noticed something unusual. The originally cool space suddenly became hot, as if the whole world had turned into a furnace. Even some of the vegetation on the ground that had not yet been burned suddenly caught fire out of nowhere. The flame-weaving bird was coming towards them. Everyone's hearts instantly tightened together, their hearts almost jumping out of their throats. Having experienced the terror of this creature, everyone was worried that the situation would get out of control later. Many onlookers began to feel the urge to retreat and leave this place. Although it was exciting, it was not worth losing their lives just to watch the excitement. Just when everyone's hearts were in disarray, Lin Ying suddenly said lightly, rest assured, with me here, you are absolutely safe. Hearing Lin Ying's words, the panicked crowd calmed down a bit. That flame-weaving bird is only level 40, while Lin Ying is a level 60 job changer, they are not in the same league at all. Even if the flame-weaving bird is powerful, it is still easily crushed by Lin Ying. Lu Chen was also a little anxious, he was only level 20 now, and it was very tricky to face the level 40 flame-weaving bird. He stole a glance at the two members of the Peak Guild, and when he saw that GZ and the others were calm, he breathed a sigh of relief. Be careful later, don't let your guard down. This beast was almost defeated by us at the time, but suddenly evolved temporarily, and we don't know what the situation is now. Lin Xiao also became alert and cautious, and reminded Lin Ying beside him. Don't worry, big brother. Even if it's a beast, even if it has evolved, it's at most level 50. I'm still confident that I can handle it. Lin Ying showed enough confidence, which naturally stemmed from his strong power. As the temperature in the space continued to rise, everyone was sweating profusely and finding it difficult to bear. Just then, someone suddenly pointed to the sky and exclaimed, Quick, look, the flame weaver bird has appeared. Everyone looked up and indeed saw a huge figure appearing in the sky, its body burning with red flames. It looked like a creature condensed from flames, dazzling to the point of making it hard to keep one's eyes open. Falcon, it's time for your performance, Lin Ying said softly after glancing up. Falcon was the name of his battle pet. Swish. As Lin Ying spoke, the huge body of the dragon suddenly soared into the air, transforming into a cold light and charging towards the flame weaver bird at the top of the sky. Is it safe to let your battle pet take action? Lin Xiao was somewhat worried about this. Lin Ying, however, was very confident, smiling as he said, Falcon is at level 45, more than enough to deal with this beast. Hearing this, many onlookers were extremely admiring. This is a true master, not even needing to personally take action against such a boss, the battle pet is enough to handle it. 
If I had such a powerful battle pet, I would wake up laughing from my dreams. You may not understand, the reason why he has such a powerful battle pet is mainly because of his own strength. If only I had such strong power. I didn't know how high level job changers fought before, but now I've seen it. Job changers at this level don't even need to personally take action against opponents. What's called style? This is style. Many onlookers exclaimed in amazement, with various forms of flattery. Although Lin Ying didn't care about these, he still felt somewhat complacent. He glanced at Lu Chen without a word, sneering in his heart, Kid, since you're pretending to be Shur Shur's boyfriend, I can't be bothered to deal with you, but today I must let you know what a difference is. It was fortunate that Long Kor had returned to the mating space, otherwise, seeing Lu Chen being stared at like this, she would definitely glare back. Lu Chen also noticed the other party's expression and smiled inwardly. Combined with the various behaviors this guy was showing, Lu Chen had a rough idea of what kind of person he was. He was a conceited and arrogant guy. When Lu Chen stood up and claimed to be Shur Shur's boyfriend earlier, Lin Ning didn't fly into a rage because he was confident that the two of them were not in a real boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. Although this was a fact, from his initial anger and subsequent calmness, it could be seen that he didn't know about Lu Chen's existence before. In other words, he didn't have a hundred percent certainty, but still believed that Lu Chen and Shur Shur were not in a relationship. Furthermore, the other party had a high level, while Lu Chen was only at level 20. Although this level was not low, it still seemed inadequate in front of Lin Ying. This level of difference made him disdainful and unwilling to use any means. Also, he had just chosen to let his battle pet fight alone, without choosing to join forces with a group of strong individuals. These were all extreme signs of conceit and arrogance. Boom! Just then, a loud sound rang out, and under the gaze of everyone, Lin Ying's falcon collided heavily with the flame weaver bird. The piercing sound of the collision resounded, and a terrifying ripple radiated outwards from the two monsters at the center, heading towards the surroundings. It's over, Lin Ying said with a smug smile on his lips. Upon hearing his words, the onlookers couldn't help but boast even more. Truly a genius at level 60, having studied at the Magic Marshall University, facing such a powerful boss without needing to personally take action. It was so easily resolved. However, in the next moment, Lin Ying's expression froze. Even the excited look on the faces of the onlookers gradually became strange. Lu Chen looked up and couldn't help but burst into laughter when he saw the scene in the sky. The majestic dragon, now engulfed in flames, was roaring in pain as it darted around in the air. It looked more like a flustered loach in a field than a dignified creature. Clearly, this dragon was no match for the young phoenix bird, as it was engulfed in flames and lost its fighting power at the first encounter. Is that it? Lu Chen laughed. How is this possible? Lin Ying, on the other hand, found it difficult to accept. Although he was arrogant, he was not a fool. He had already investigated the detailed information about this young phoenix bird before coming. This young phoenix bird was only level 40, while his hunting falcon was at level 45. The five level difference was enough for the falcon to easily end the battle. So how could it end up like this? Even if it was not good, it shouldn't have become so embarrassed after just one encounter, right? However, at that moment, the young phoenix bird continued its assault, roaring in anger spreading its flaming wings, and instantly catching up with the dragon darting around in the sky. Then, its wings fiercely struck the dragon's massive body. Boom! A crimson storm instantly formed, enveloping the dragon's body. Even from a distance, everyone could feel the terrifying temperature within the flame storm. Sizzle! A crackling sound, similar to the one when roasting meat, rang out, followed by the aroma of roasted meat. The massive dragon struggled frantically in the flame storm, and soon lost all resistance, falling to the ground like a pile of mud, creating a deep pit upon impact. At this moment, everyone fell silent. They looked at Lin Ying, their expressions at a loss for words, let alone strange. Lin Ying had previously vowed that he could defeat the young phoenix bird with just his battle pet, but now his battle pet was being humiliated. The speed of this humiliation was too fast. Seeing his battle pet defeated, Lin Ying looked embarrassed. Despite being at level 60, he had spent a huge amount of resources to tame this dragon as his battle pet. Lin Ning hurried to the dragon's side, took out a black spherical object from his pocket, and aimed it at the dragon. A black light suddenly emitted from the sphere, and the next moment, the dragon's massive body instantly turned into a beam of light and entered the sphere. This sphere was a special equipment made of special materials, called a battle pet ball, with its own space for the battle pet to rest. After storing the dragon, Lin Ning looked pained. The dragon was now seriously injured, and he would have to pay a great price to heal it. During this time, he could no longer show off by riding the dragon everywhere. Thinking of this, Lin Ning became furious and suddenly looked up at the young phoenix bird in the sky. Beast, you refuse a toast only to drink a forfeit. 
Lin Ying roared, and a golden light suddenly flashed behind him. When the light dissipated, a pair of huge golden wings appeared on Lin Ying's back. The wings were made up of countless golden feathers, looking quite noble. This was a flying equipment. Golden Crimson Wings LV-40, Class, All Classes, Attribute, Flight Speed Plus 10, Evaluation, A Relatively Excellent Functional Equipment. Can't fly? Still want to be called a strong one? This equipment allows you to soar into the sky, a must-have for the strong. Lu Chen's investigation system automatically detected the information about Lin Ying's wings. Seeing the introduction of the Golden Crimson Wings, Lu Chen's eyes turned red. Flying equipment was rare, with a very low drop rate and a high price on the market. It was not something an ordinary person could afford. Moreover, functional equipment like flying gear might have random negative attributes. Although they could fly, they might have negative attributes. Like Lin Ying's wings, there are no negative attributes, and they can also increase flying speed, making them very good among flying props. If Lu Chen also had this equipment, his agility would be greatly enhanced, and his combat power would be greatly improved. Even when others looked at this pair of golden wings, a strong envy appeared in their eyes. Flying equipment is hard to come by, and Lin Ying's current flying equipment is of such high quality. Seeing the envy in others' eyes, Lin Ying's vanity was greatly satisfied, and he couldn't help but straighten his back. In fact, this pair of golden wings is not his, but a reward for the guild battle. He only has a three-month period of use, and it will be taken back when the time is up. After this week, this equipment will have to be handed over. But so what? During the last period of his use of these wings, he will show them off to make the most of it. And now it seems that his goal has indeed been achieved. The envy in everyone's eyes made him feel like he had become superior. No more nonsense. The wings shine brightly and flap fiercely. Whoosh. With the support of the wings, Lin Ying seemed like a god of war, his feet forcefully touching the ground, and the wings behind him instantly spread out, covering a range of three meters. In the next moment, he seemed like a shooting star, heading towards the young bird in the sky. But at this moment, the young bird seemed to sense something and suddenly looked down at Lu Chen. Ha! Lu Chen also noticed the other's gaze and couldn't help but frown. Why is this thing suddenly looking at me? For some reason, Lu Chen suddenly had a bad feeling. And at that moment, whoosh, the young bird suddenly turned into a red lightning and disappeared in place. When it reappeared, it was already diving towards Lu Chen. Swish. At that moment, Lin Ying, who had just soared into the sky, was dumbfounded. I just got up here, and you're already going down? Are you playing a two-level reversal here? Not only Lin Ying, but Lu Chen himself was also confused. Damn. It just looked at me and then came straight at me. Did I violate some kind of rule? There's no need to target me like this, right? Your opponent is Lin Ying, not me. I'm just a bystander. Lu Chen was a little flustered. He was sure the other was targeting him. In the next moment, Lu Chen's eyes lit up, and he voluntarily displayed the title of Monster Slayer, trying to intimidate the other. Although Lu Chen also knew that this title only worked on monsters lower than his level. Immediately, five shining words appeared above Lu Chen's head, Monster Slayer. However, the moment the young bird saw this title, it suddenly flapped its wings even more excitedly. This thing was even more excited. Lu Chen was at a loss. Damn. Lu Chen felt like 10,000 curses were spewing out of his heart. He felt like he was being targeted. Even though he was handsome, charming, and elegant, did he deserve to be targeted by the young bird? Damn, it seems like this guy is targeting Lord Lu. Lord Lu, did you steal its eggs? Get out of here, stay away from Lord Lu. The bystanders reacted one after another, shouting in panic and hurriedly moving away from Lu Chen. Some people were so frightened that their bladders loosened and their legs went weak, running, urinating, and screaming at the same time. The scene was chaotic for a while, even Fei Bingru and other strong guild members avoided Lu Chen like they were avoiding a plague. Because they were not opponents of the young bird, and if they were affected, they would also suffer heavy injuries. The chaotic crowd formed a sharp contrast with the calm GZ and the other person, facing the diving young bird. GZ, should we take action? The other peak member asked calmly. No rush. GZ's fiery red lips curled slightly, her hands crossed in front of her chest, squeezing the softness that was difficult to touch, and she said lazily, it's not time yet. Upon hearing GZ's words, the man did not say much. At this moment, Lin Ying, who had just rushed into the sky, finally reacted and realized that he had been played by this beast. He was immediately furious, and his golden wings pressed down forcefully on his back as he shot towards the ground below. Although he didn't care about Lu Chen's life or death, he had made a promise, and he had personally intervened to ensure the safety of everyone. Allowing everyone to enter here was already a violation, and if it led to loss of life, he would be punished. So he had to stop all of this. 
The flame-weaving bird was a terrifying presence at level 40, and even though its current target was Liu Ken, if it really crashed to the ground, it wouldn't just be Liu Ken who died. It would definitely cause widespread casualties, and many people would die on the spot. Although Lin Ying's speed was fast, it was clear that he was too late to stop the flame-weaving bird. Liu Ken below felt the oncoming red storm, his mind went blank, his body covered in goosebumps, feeling death so close for the first time. Swish. Just then, Long Kor appeared out of thin air in front of Liu Ken, looking solemnly at the flame-weaving bird. If my power were not restricted, I could easily kill such a being, but currently my power is bound to your level, and the situation is tricky. Without Long Kor's reminder, Liu Ken also knew that he was in danger this time. Although he had already killed many level 40 monsters in the prelude to the genocide of the fire element sprites, those creatures were only golden level bosses, and their level was purely 40. The current flame-weaving bird, on the other hand, was a diamond level boss, and the difference between diamond and gold was not insignificant. Moreover, the opponent was not just a simple level 40, but an evolved level 40. Even with Luchin's strong fire attribute damage reduction, it would be meaningless, as he would be instantly killed by the opponent's power. Liu Ken took a deep breath to force himself to calm down and shouted, System, analyze the boss. Analysis complete, flame weaving bird boss, level 40, tier, diamond, rarity 4 stars, attack power, 850, health, 10,000, skill 1, inferno, the flame weaving bird unleashes the power of the fire element, accumulating power for a long time before launching a ranged attack, causing a 50% continuous burning effect, skill 2, domain of flames. The flame weaving bird activates the bloodline power of the divine bird bifong creating a domain, within which its health recovery is increased by 50%, damage is increased by 50%, and agility is increased by 50%, skill 3, bloodline evolution, the flame weaving bird contains the power of the divine bird within its body, with an 80% chance of bloodline evolution at the moment of life and death, after evolution, it gains a trace of the power of the divine bird, with all attributes increasing by 30%, and possessing bloodline suppression, suppressing monsters with a level lower than the flame weaving bird, forcing them to submit, weakness, this flame-weaving bird has enormous potential, and cannot be defeated unless a much stronger individual intervenes, evaluation, this is a race originating from the fire dragon god realm, for some unknown reason it has descended upon the blue star, if encountered, one can experience a free cremation service, blue light flashed in Luchin's eyes, and after taking in all the information introduced by the system, Lucan rolled his eyes instantly, experience a free cremation service? Liu Kan never imagined that even the system couldn't find this creature's weakness. According to the system's introduction, this creature's attributes were quite terrifying, far surpassing those of level 40 monsters. That alone was bad enough, but on top of that, its skills were also off the charts. All attributes increased by 30%. Was this a skill that a human could come up with? System, the moon waxes and wanes, and yet a mere monster has no weakness. Are you trying to fool me? Liu Kan asked unwillingly. The flame weaving bird has locked onto the host, and the attack is about to land. Please enter the battle state as soon as possible, the mechanical voice of the system suddenly sounded. Luchin only felt that his heart, liver, spleen, lungs, and kidneys were about to explode. I don't need you to tell me, I already know that this thing's attack is imminent, but you tell me its weakness. Not knowing the weakness, and being in a state of being overwhelmed, no matter what Luchin does, it seems like he's just seeking death. Just as he was going crazy in his heart, a sudden burst of sound came from beside him. Lu Chen turned to look and saw Long Kor rushing towards the young firebird in the sky. Kor. Lu Chen saw the situation and his eyes instantly turned red, his voice almost hoarse. Long Kor's various attributes were naturally quite terrifying, even far surpassing this young firebird. But limited by the constraints of the contract, her current strength was only at level 20. Her taking the initiative now was tantamount to seeking death. You hide first, I'll hold on here for now. Although my strength is limited, at least this lady is the princess of the fire dragon god realm. Even if I can't take it down, it won't be able to kill me. Long Kor's voice suddenly rang in Lu Chen's head. After the two signed the engagement contract, they could communicate with each other's souls. Hearing Long Kor's words, Lu Chen felt even more bitter, and his fists involuntarily clenched. Wherever he didn't know, Long Kor didn't want to worry him, so she deliberately said that. No matter how noble Long Kor's previous identity was, her current strength was ultimately limited. Swish. Thinking of this, Lu Chen gritted his teeth and wanted to help, but unfortunately, he couldn't fly, so he could only stand in place anxiously. At this moment, Lu Chen had never so strongly desired a flying tool. If he had a flying tool, he could go up and help, and Long Kor wouldn't have to bear such a great danger alone. 
Although this girl was extravagant and sometimes jealous, Lu Chen had unconsciously become accustomed to her. If one day Long Kor suddenly disappeared from his world, Lu Chen didn't dare to imagine the consequences. I'm useless, I can't do anything at this time, I. Lu Chen half knelt on the ground, reaching out and pounding the ground with force. His nose was sore, and he felt very uncomfortable. He felt like he was useless. After finally becoming a dragon knight, in the end, he was just a dragon knight who could only hide behind the dragon lady when in danger. But at this moment, a crisp slap suddenly rang out. Along with the sound of this slap, the originally chaotic crowd also froze. After a moment of silence, Lu Chen quickly looked up at the sky. Then he saw the scene that would be unforgettable for the rest of his life. Long Kor also rushed to the front of the young firebird at lightning speed, and after the two locked eyes, Long Kor's delicate body trembled, and she released her own aura. Although her strength was limited by Lu Chen, her momentum was still quite terrifying in essence. When the terrifying aura of the fire dragon clan surged out, Long Kor's long skirt fluttered without wind, and her black hair turned into ashes under the high temperature, revealing her pair of white and smooth legs. The young firebird had already opened its sharp beak, ready to send a fireball to Long Kor, but after Long Kor released her aura, the young firebird's huge red pupil suddenly shrank, and then showed a look of fear, as if a humble mate had seen a noble empress. That kind of fear from the depths of the soul was impossible to hide. After the young firebird showed fear, its body, which was originally plummeting rapidly, suddenly stopped in mid-air, and even forgot to attack. Long Kor didn't notice the change in the other party's expression, she only knew that she had to hold on as much as possible. Absolutely cannot let Lu Chun get hurt. Hey, that kid has such good luck with women, and he has so many pursuers among his classmates and teachers. Now, facing danger, I'm actively standing in front of him. Why do I feel like this lady is just like a female dog licking her man? Long Kor suddenly thought of this and felt a little uncomfortable. With Lu Chen's popularity among women, even if he suddenly disappeared, he probably wouldn't be too sad, right? After all, losing one Long Kor would just be replaced by another woman. But soon, Long Kor smiled and said, as a marriage partner, it's only natural to protect the safety of the job changer. Lu Chen's current expression clearly shows that he truly cares about me. And, he has also brought me a lot of happiness, the kind of joy I have never experienced before. Thinking of this, Long Kor felt more at ease, abandoning the jumble of thoughts in her mind and raising her hand to slap the huge head of Zhi Yen, the young bird. In that instant, a flame ripple swept through the air. Crack! A crisp slap echoed, and then Lu Chen and the others saw the scene. Bang! Long Kor slapped Zhi Yen's head, and the tremendous force instantly made the giant bird dizzy, causing its body to uncontrollably plummet downward. Damn! Seeing this scene, Lu Chen snapped out of his melancholy and quickly dodged to the side with all his might. Bang! Just as Lu Chen dodged, a deep pit suddenly appeared where he had been standing, and Ji Yan's massive body fell. The entire ground trembled violently, dust filled the air, and the lingering fire elements rippled in the space. At the same time, Long Kor hurriedly came to Lu Chen's side and asked with concern, Are you okay? Lu Chen shook his head, I'm fine. Looking at Long Kor's caring expression, he felt warm inside and suddenly said, I didn't expect you to be so capable, and to care about me like this. Hearing this, Long Kor blushed slightly, then turned her head and said haughtily, I'm not caring about you. After all, you are this lady's man, and I'm going to marry you in the future, so you can't die now. Lu Chen twitched his mouth and said, shouldn't it be me marrying you? How dare you? Long Kor turned to look at Lu Chen, and flames flickered in her crimson eyes. I am the princess of the fire dragon god realm. With my noble status, it's only right for you to marry me, not the other way around, you know? Lu Chen smiled, knowing that this girl was stubborn even in the face of certain defeat. Seeing that Long Kor was fine, Lu Chen felt relieved. All right, all right, I'll marry you. Although Lu Chen's response was somewhat perfunctory, Long Kor was quite satisfied and nodded in approval. But at that moment, Lu Chen suddenly frowned. Wait a minute, the Fire Dragon God Realm? Long Kor is from the Fire Dragon Clan in this world, as he had heard her mention before. And according to the system's introduction just now, it seems that this Ji Yin young bird is also from this world. Does that mean both sides are from the same world? Lu Chen narrowed his eyes, seeming to have noticed a crucial clue. But before Lu Chen could speak, a figure suddenly rushed to the ground, it was Lin Ying. Seeing that Ji Yen had been slapped to the ground by Long Kor with just one slap, Lin Ying suddenly felt that he had overestimated this beast. He had also checked Lu Chen's information before coming, after all, he was a mythical level professional, and it was hard not to attract attention. So he wasn't surprised by the sudden appearance of Long Kor. But he was surprised that Long Kor could slap Ji Yen from the sky to the ground with just one slap. 
At this moment, everyone had come back to their senses from the previous shock and were all looking at Long Kor as if she were a monster. Lucian's marriage partner was quite fierce. She looked so pretty. I didn't expect her to be so terrifying. She slapped such a terrifying boss to the ground with just one slap. It seems that I overestimated you. This beast is nothing special. It just happened to have severely injured my battle pet earlier. Lu Chen was only at level 20 at the moment, so as his marriage partner, Long Kor could only display the strength of a level 20. So since even a level 20 dragon like Kor can slap the flame-weaving bird from the sky, if he also comes to slap, wouldn't he be able to kill this beast with one blow? Thinking of this, Lin Ning suddenly felt that it was time to show off, so he followed suit, raised his right hand and shouted at the flame-weaving bird that hadn't even crawled up from the ground yet. Boom! Lin Ning exerted all his strength with this slap, and unsurprisingly hit the flame-weaving bird successfully. Then a string of numbers jumped out. Minus 250. Damn! Lin Ning looked at the string of numbers and was dumbfounded. This guy had a total of 10,000 health points, and he only reduced 250 health points with one slap? Lin Ning suddenly looked at Long Kor, both of them using five fingers to slap. How could there be such a big difference? At this moment, many onlookers also fell into unprecedented silence. Lin Ning, the super strong man who they had high hopes for, could only reduce the opponent's health by 250 with a powerful slap. They were all at a loss. Damn. Run for your life. I don't know who suddenly shouted, and the rest of the people at the scene also started to run wildly, wanting to leave this place of trouble. It's not that they are cowardly, but Lin Ying's performance really made them feel very insecure. Seeing the crowd starting to panic again, Lin Ying also felt a little flustered. When he came, he had already planned the script. He originally wanted to crush this beast and then formally confess his love to Zhang Shushur in front of everyone. Show off in front of people. Win the beauty. Who would have thought that things would spiral out of control? If he didn't handle this matter well, he would definitely lose face and never be able to hold his head up again. A dignified level 60 strong man couldn't even deal with a level 40 boss. Wouldn't this be a laughing stock? Don't panic, everyone. Lin Ning wanted to stabilize the confidence of the crowd first and then take action against the flame-weaving bird. He was a level 60 professional, and he still had many tricks up his sleeve. Sure enough, when the crowd heard Lin Ying's words, the previously chaotic crowd calmed down a bit. Everyone looked at Lin Ying with full of expectations. Then they saw the flame-weaving bird that had fallen to the ground suddenly shaking its huge body and standing up, then opening its mouth and swallowing Lin Ying who was speaking. Flame-weaving bird, burp, onlookers. At this moment, everyone's expression was unprecedentedly horrified. Brother, Lin Xiao stood petrified on the spot, feeling like the sky had collapsed in an instant. Why did everything in front of him feel so unreal? Normally, with Lin Ying's level, shouldn't he easily deal with the flame-weaving bird? Why does it look like Lin Ying is just here for show? Not only did he fail to deal with the flame-weaving bird, he was also swallowed by the opponent. He was really at a loss. Ha! Huh? Lu Chen's mind was also a bit muddled and he even began to doubt whether the Lin Ning in front of him was the real person. In his impression, a level 40 professional could already be called a strong man. As for a level 60 professional, it completely deserved the title of awesome. Lu Chen had only come into contact with one level 60 strong man, Lin Ning, but the strength he displayed was clearly not commensurate with his level. If he didn't know better, he would have thought he was just a clown invited by the monkey. Boom! However, just as the crowd was shocked and at a loss, Lin Ning suddenly forced open the mouth of the flame-leaving bird. Lin Ning looked ferocious, and suddenly roared and struggled out of the bird's mouth. After all, he was a level 60 professional, and even though he was swallowed, he was able to break free with his own strength. But he was covered in a lot of mucus, and his originally neat suit became disheveled, making him look extremely embarrassed. Beast, you've angered me! Lin Ning gritted his teeth, feeling humiliated despite being a level 60 genius. Today, if this beast cannot be killed, he will be ashamed for life. Swish. Lin Ying's big hand stretched out, and a bow and arrow suddenly appeared in the palm of his hand. The bow and arrow were formed by the condensation of light, shining so brightly that it was almost impossible to look directly at. Holding the radiant bow and arrow, Lin Ying pulled the bow with his left hand and tightly gripped the bow and arrow with his right hand. Swish. At the moment he pulled the bow with his left hand, a flashing arrow also instantly condensed on the bow and arrow. Not only did the arrowhead emit light, but it also exuded a breathtaking killing intent. Lin Ying's profession is a radiant archer, an epic level profession. Radiant archers possess the power of light elements, which is a special elemental power that can hardly be countered by any other elemental power. Conversely, light attribute professionals cannot counter professionals and monsters of other attributes. This means that when facing a light attribute professional, 
none of your means can effectively counter them. In a sense, this profession has no weaknesses, which is quite terrifying, because every profession has its advantages and disadvantages, and the disadvantages are more important than the advantages. The death of a professional is often due to the exposure of weaknesses and being targeted. The weakness of attributes is a concern for all professions except for light attribute professionals. In addition, the awakening probability of light attribute professionals is less than 1 in 100,000, which means that out of 100,000 students, barely one can awaken as a light attribute professional. It is not difficult to see the rarity of light attribute professionals. Anyone who can awaken as a light attribute professional, even if only at the epic level, is quite terrifying and will be fiercely sought after by major schools. This is also the reason why Lin Ng, only at the epic level, can enter the top Magic Marshall University for two years of study. Lin Ng was unrestrained, under the radiance of light, his whole person underwent a transformation, as if a god had descended, the light made it impossible to open one's eyes, even his disheveled suit seemed to become much neater. At this moment, the light power of the western wheat began to rapidly converge towards the direction of the arrow, filling the entire space with this radiance. This kind of momentum shocked the onlookers. This is the standard for a level 60. Indeed, it's a light attribute profession. Even at the epic level, it's more terrifying than many legendary class transfer players. It seems that Lin Ng didn't go all out before, but now that he has made a move, this flame weave nestling will definitely be killed on the spot. Sensing Lin Ying's aura, everyone felt completely reassured and began to cheer him on. As for the strong members of the various major guilds who came to help, at this moment, they all stood still without any intention of stepping forward. Because with the strength that Lin Ng was currently displaying, dealing with the flame weave nestling was enough for him alone. Indeed, he is a level 60 genius, and this kind of strength is really not something we can compare to. Fei Bingru looked at Lin Ying's back and whispered softly, feeling indescribable. Light attribute professionals are indeed powerful. Chao Menglong also nodded in agreement. If he were to take this arrow from Lin Ying now, he might be killed on the spot. Members of other guilds were also discussing at this moment, unable to help but think, if they were standing in front of Lin Ying, could they withstand this arrow? The answer was obviously no. They couldn't withstand it. Not to mention the level of the profession, they were suppressed by Lin Ying by dozens of levels, and the two sides were completely in different leagues. At this moment, everyone breathed a sigh of relief, because they all felt that the life of the flame weave nestling was now on borrowed time. When Lin Ying's arrow fell, it would be the death knell for the flame weave nestling. It seems to be over. Although this guy's performance at the beginning was somewhat unsatisfactory, his true strength is ultimately here. Lu Chen also agreed with everyone's views. He had already learned about the skills of the flame weave nestling through the system. So Lu Chen could be sure that after Lin Ying's arrow fell, the flame weave nestling would be instantly killed, without even the chance for bloodline evolution. At this moment, the young Jian bird clearly felt the threat of this blow, and its whole body was burning with flames, ready for battle. Swish. The scene fell silent. The Jian bird was burning with flames all over its body, and every feather was burning wildly. This power gathered in the air, turning into a rain of flames. Countless red feathers fell from the sky, like numerous red butterflies dancing in the air. A real battle was about to begin. A single move would determine life or death. Seeing these red feathers falling from the sky, someone reached out to catch them and curiously examined them in their palm. Lucan also curiously reached out to catch a red feather. Although the feather was burning with flames and looked extremely red, it actually had no temperature and felt very comfortable to the touch, just like an ordinary feather. Lu Kan silently prayed in his heart, system, help me analyze. Jian bird feather, equipment, profession, all professions, attribute, permanently increases fire attribute damage by 0. 0.000012% evaluation. The feather dropped by the Jian bird when it exerted all its strength to unleash the raging flames. Kissing the feather can obtain a mission card. Love her and kiss her, and you will have unexpected gains. Seeing the system's prompt, Lu Chen's mouth twitched. He didn't expect that these casually floating feathers were also a kind of equipment. It was a pity that the enhancement was too low to be completely negligible. As for the mission card, when he soloed the Snow Wolf Lord before, he obtained a mission card, the Snow Wolf Lord's Last Wish. Completing the mission could obtain a mount pet. Because he had the top tier mount, Long Core, he still hadn't completed this mission until now, and he needed to find time to complete it. Lu Kan raised the Jian bird feather to his lips and kissed it. Long Kor saw Lu Chen's actions and was shocked in her heart. Lu Ken, what are you doing? Obtained, mission card, item Jian Bird's Redemption, times 1, mission card, item Jian Bird's Redemption, mission description, the Jian Bird inadvertently descended into this world, causing its original power to be restricted by the power of the world. 
Under the suppression of the world's power, the Xi'an bird lost consciousness and completely became a dungeon boss. Mission content, find the Xi'an bird, sign a contract with it, and make it the host's new mating partner. Mission reward, Xi'an bird's blessing, Lu Ken was dumbfounded. Was this damn system playing with him? What kind of damn mission was in this mission card? Infusion of light. Lin Ning suddenly let out a low roar, and the light on the arrow also shone to the extreme at this moment. This was one of the skills of a light archer. Although it didn't have a specific damage boost, the terrifying aspect of this skill was that it couldn't be dodged. This meant that the target locked by this arrow had only three possible outcomes. Either withstand this attack with brute force, or use powerful strength to resolve this strike. If neither of these could be achieved, then one could only die under this strike. In Lin Ying's view, the outcome for the Xi'an bird obviously belonged to the third option. It could only be shot down by his arrow. After the low drink, Lin Ying was about to release his arrow. Seeing this scene, the onlookers from the Western Zhou dynasty also held their breath and focused, anticipating the power of this strike. Many people were even excited, blushing, and imagining the scene of the Xi'an bird being shot down by an arrow, even though the arrow hadn't been shot yet. This was a level 60 expert skill, and many people were seeing this level of skill effect for the first time, so their surging emotions were a normal reaction. After all, at Lin Ying's level, perhaps this was the peak that many people could reach in their lifetime. At this critical moment, a figure suddenly stepped forward and stood in front of the Xi'an bird. This person was naturally Lu Ken. It wasn't that Lu Ken had a compassionate heart, but mainly to complete the mission. Damn system, if I die here, even as a ghost, I won't let you off. After standing out with a stiff scalp, Lu Ken crazily shouted in his heart. His current state can be completely described in one sentence. In a panic. Earlier, when he was outside the defense line, due to his agreement with Jiang Shushur, he had to come forward as Jiang Shushur's boyfriend in Mok Lin Ying. Although this guy didn't show any reaction at the time, it was obvious that he definitely wanted to kill him. At this moment, seeing the boss about to be killed, he suddenly stepped forward to stop it. Isn't this just giving someone a reason to kill him? He can only hope that this guy won't lose his mind and won't kill him in front of everyone. But Lu Chun underestimated his own talent. He is now a designated student of the Magic Martial University and a rare mythical level transfer student. Therefore, even if Lin Ying is unhappy with Lu Chen, he wouldn't act against him in front of so many people. When Lu Chen stood in front of Ji Yan's fledgling bird, Lin Ying was stunned. Does this person not know his place? He's relying on his mythical level talent and doesn't take himself seriously. Lin Ying's eyes darkened, clearly flashing with killing intent. He really wanted to kill this ignorant kid. What are you doing? Lin Ying asked in a deep voice. The others also looked at Lu Chen with puzzled faces. I. Lu Chen's throat rolled, and he was speechless for a moment. What should I say? If he said he wanted to stop Lin Ying from killing Ji Yan's fledgling bird, he would probably be torn apart by everyone. Because of the existence of Ji Yan's fledgling bird, almost no one dared to enter the Golden Sands defense line during this time which had already caused dissatisfaction among many people. Killing Ji Yan's fledgling bird and restoring order to the Golden Sands defense line was the general expectation, and now he was standing up against everyone. Just thinking about the consequences was stimulating. Lu Chen took a deep breath, forced himself to calm down, and thought about a strategy. You can't kill it, he finally said, his words causing a stir. Everyone was stunned to hear him say this, completely unaware of why Lu Chen was doing this. Lu Chen, what are you doing? Jiang Shushur, who was beside him, said anxiously, rushing up to try to pull Lu Chen away from there. She had seen people who were protective, but she had never seen anyone protect a monster, especially a diamond-level boss. In Jiang Shushur's eyes, Lu Chen was simply crazy. What is Lu Xin doing? Why is he standing on the boss's side? I don't know, Lu Xin's actions are really confusing. The people from Jin Sha know. One middle school also looked at each other, bewildered, completely unaware of what Lu Chen was doing. At this time, the students from No. 3 and No. 6 middle schools, who had been reprimanded by Lu Chen in the assessment dungeon, stepped forward and taunted, I think this guy is worried about being overshadowed by Lin Ying, so he's deliberately causing trouble at the last moment. I think that's really possible. He's a mythical level professional, so he must be proud of it. Before Lin Ying appeared, he was the focus of the entire Jinsha city. Now that he's been overshadowed by Lin Ying, he must be unhappy and jealous. Tsk TSK. I didn't expect the only mythical level transfer student in Jinsha City to have such a narrow-minded personality. It's really eye-opening. If someone like him can be designated by the Magic Martial University, I think I can too. These people's words were extremely malicious, full of ridicule and disdain. It's a classic case of kicking someone when they're down. 
They had suffered losses at the hands of Lu Chen and couldn't retaliate in terms of strength, so now they were kicking him when he was down. And these words actually had an effect, and many people believed them. After all, this was the only reason that could explain Lu Chen's behavior. Is Lu Xun really jealous? Lu Xun is also human, isn't it normal to be jealous? That's true. Even the people from Igao High School now thought that Lu Chen was jealous of Lin Ying. Thinking of this, the gazes of the crowd towards Lu Chen have changed somewhat. Originally, when Lu Chen distributed the points from the 3rd and 6th divisions to the crowd of the 1st division during the assessment in the instance, everyone was extremely grateful and respectful towards Lu Chen. Now, this respect has started to sour. After all, people don't like those who deliberately make things difficult out of jealousy. Long Kor stood beside Lu Chen without speaking. Although she hadn't spent much time with Lu Chen, she knew that he wasn't that kind of person. Just now, when she saw Lu Chen kissing the feathers with a look of intoxication, could it be that bird feathers triggered his special preference? She didn't explain, because even she wasn't sure why Lu Chen suddenly stepped forward to stop Lin Ying. Lu Chen, you're not that kind of person, right? Hearing the discussions of the crowd, Zhang Shushu became a little anxious and nervously asked while holding Lu Chen's hand tightly, Do you think I am? Lu Chen asked with a smile. I don't think you are. Zhang Shushu took a deep breath and spoke firmly. She had been saved by Lu Chen before and had a great deal of trust in him. This trust came from the depths of her soul, she couldn't explain it, but no matter what happened, she would unconditionally trust Lu Chen. You're right, I'm indeed not that kind of person. Lu Chen nodded, then looked at Lin Ying askance and said, in terms of looks, I completely surpass him, and in terms of talent, I also completely surpass him. If I grow up, Amir Lin Ying wouldn't even have the qualifications to shine my shoes. How could I be jealous of someone like him? Despite Lu Chen's casual demeanor, he had struggled internally for a long time before saying these words. Since he had to save the flame weave fledgling, he had to show strength first, so he would have enough capital to impress the crowd. Sure enough, the scene exploded after Lu Chen finished speaking. The crowd was amazed, and many people even felt like they were meeting Lu Chen for the first time. In the eyes of the crowd, the pre-awakening Lu Chen was very low-key and humble, but the current Lu Chen was showing dominance and arrogance. With Lu Chen's capital, he indeed had the qualifications to do so, but now he was facing Lin Ying, a level 60 student, not those who had not yet graduated. This inevitably made people somewhat puzzled about Lu Chen's thoughts. Kid, don't think that just because you're a mythical level transfer student, I won't dare to touch you. Lin Ying gritted his teeth and wished he could rush up and strangle Lu Chen right now. You want to protect this beast, right? Well, today I'll give you a chance. If you can't come up with a reasonable explanation, I guarantee you'll be in a sorry state. Openly sheltering a monster is extremely irrational behavior. Just then, Fei Bingru walked out from the crowd, her long legs under her mage robe still quite eye-catching. She sighed as she looked at Lu Chen and said softly, there have been people with an overabundance of saintly compassion who have done similar things before, which later caused great losses, leading to the tragic deaths of transfer students. Afterward, the monster was still killed, and the transfer student with an overabundance of saintly compassion was heavily punished and executed. Although Fei Bingru didn't say it explicitly, there was an underlying meaning in her words. It meant that Lu Chen must not suddenly have an overabundance of saintly compassion, after all, a monster is a monster, even though some monsters have intelligence, and their intelligence is not lower than that of humans. But a monster is still a monster, their nature is cruel, and this is ingrained in their genes. Unless they can be forcibly tamed as battle pets using special equipment, the threat of monsters will not be eliminated. Kid, your talent is good. You're already a designated student of the Magic Martial University, and your future is bright, don't do anything foolish. Chao Menglong also stepped forward to echo. He also knew about Lu Chen's situation. Although he had no relation to Lu Chen, both sides were from Jinsha City. He was also very happy to see a mythical level transfer student appear in Jinsha City. Jinsha City was a small place in Xia country, and there had never been a mythical level transfer student here before. Lu Chen's appearance also brought some glory to Jinsha City. He didn't want to see Lu Ken go astray. After Chao Menglong, Lin Xiao also spoke up, frowning and saying, Lu Ken, I don't know why you're doing this, but have you thought about the consequences? At this moment, Ji Zi and the others didn't speak, but looked calmly at Lu Ken. Lu Ken had become the target of public criticism, and they were curious about what he would do next. If it weren't for Long Course intervention earlier, he would have been crushed by the flame bird. Thank you all for your concern, Lu Ken expressed his gratitude to Fei Bingru and the others. He was somewhat surprised that he had such good relationships, and that they were willing to speak up for him at this time. After expressing his gratitude, Lu Ken changed the subject, saying, But please rest assured, I'm not standing up because of a saintly impulse, 
but because I have taken a liking to this flame bird and I want it to be my second mate. Swish. Luchin's words shocked the audience. Second mate. In fact, there is no limit to the number of mates one can have, and some powerful job changers can have multiple mates at the same time. Just like the 189th level national sword god, Akaji Sakurako, from the Sakura country. She has three mates at the same time. However, Akaji Sakurako's three mates were all chosen in the mate room. It has never been heard of anyone choosing a mate outside the mate room. Normally, even if we don't consider aesthetic and emotional issues, creatures from other worlds are unwilling to become human mates. This is because humans are too weak before awakening their professions, and secondly, the mate contract imposes too many restrictions on creatures from other worlds. Therefore, the mate contract can only be imposed on the other party by the power of the mate room. This kind of mate contract is a tyrannical contract, and the other party has no choice but to accept it. So everyone thought Liu Kan was talking nonsense and didn't believe him at all. Fei Bingru's eyes showed disappointment, and she also thought Liu Kan was joking. It seems that this guy is determined to protect this diamond level boss. Naturally, Liu Kan also saw that no one believed him, so he didn't say much. Only the facts can dispel everyone's concerns. So under everyone's gaze, Liu Kan came to the flame bird and asked nervously, are you willing to become my second mate? Liu Kan couldn't help but be nervous, because he didn't know if the other party would agree. Suddenly, roar. The flame bird let out a roar, and its huge red wings suddenly spread out, turning into a red lightning bolt that shot towards the sky. Seeing this, Liu Kan felt complicated. It seemed that the other party was not willing to become his mate. Today's events were not going to end well. Seeing this scene, the onlookers were gleeful. At this moment, a complex formation suddenly appeared under Luchin's feet. As the formation appeared, a terrifying flame power suddenly emerged. At the same time, a similar formation appeared above the flame bird. After the formation lingered around Lucan and the flame bird for a while, it suddenly turned into a scroll and appeared in front of the two. This is a mate contract. Damn. Lucan actually succeeded. This monster actually wants to become Luchin's second mate. How is this possible? This guy is just a monster. Could it be from another world? Everyone was completely shocked to see this scene, as if struck by lightning, they stood still. Not to mention Lin Ng, Fei Bingru, and the others, even the two who were usually calm and composed were stunned at this moment. They had never heard of such a thing before, it was the first time they had seen it. Their worldviews were shattered. How is this possible? Jeezy's flaming red lips slightly opened, and a strong look of shock appeared on her extremely mature and charming face. Phew! At the moment of shock, Lu Chen breathed a sigh of relief. He looked deeply at the flame-weaving nestling, then quickly wrote his own name on the scroll. At the same time, the flame-weaving nestling above also used its power to write its name on the scroll, Weaving Spirit. As their names appeared on the scroll, a special bond instantly locked the two of them. At that moment, Lu Chen felt a connection with the flame-weaving nestling, even sensing the flames flowing within its body. Although the flame power was not as strong as Long Cores, it was still quite terrifying. Lu Chen was amazed. He had only been trying it out, but it had actually worked. He was now a transcender with two marriage partners? It all felt like a dream, so unreal. As the contract ended, the formation surrounding the two gradually dissipated, and everything returned to normal. However, Lu Chen himself had not changed at all. Normally, after signing a new marriage contract, a transcender would have the opportunity to choose a new profession based on the special abilities of the new partner, known as the second profession. In simple terms, Lu Chen could have two professions at the same time, which was quite extraordinary. But the focus now was that after signing the contract with Weaving Spirit, Lu Chen did not get the chance to choose a new profession. Furthermore, he couldn't open Weaving Spirit's system panel to view its attributes. Despite signing the marriage contract and becoming partners, it seemed like nothing had happened, and everything remained unchanged. This left Lu Chen puzzled, not knowing what was going on. System, can you tell me what's going on? Lu Chen suddenly asked the system, does the host choose to analyze? The mechanical voice of the system replied. Upon hearing this, Lu Chen was overjoyed and decisively said, analyze, buzz. After a noisy mechanical sound, Lu Chen felt as if something was scanning inside him. If he could focus his mind, he would see a thin blue light slowly scanning his body. After a few seconds, the blue light disappeared, and the system's voice sounded. Second marriage partner, flame weaving nestling, weaving spirit, age? Combat power? Level? 40? Stamina? Strength? Agility? Spirit? Bloodline? Skill 1, Inferno, the flame-weaving nestling unleashes the power of fire elements, accumulating power for a long time before launching a range attack, causing 50% continuous burning effect. Skill 2, 
Domain of Flames, the flame weaving nestling activates the bloodline power of the mythical bird by Fong, creating a domain where its health recovery, damage, and agility are increased by 50%. Skill 3, Bloodline Evolution, the flame weaving nestling contains the power of the mythical bird. In life and death moments, there is an 80% chance of bloodline evolution, gaining a trace of the mythical bird's power, increasing all attributes by 30% and possessing bloodline suppression, causing monsters lower than the flame weaving nestlings level to submit actively, Lu Chen? When he saw the system interface that only he could see, Lu Chen was filled with question marks. What did it mean that all the attributes were followed by question marks? Could it be that even the system couldn't view weaving spirits' attributes? Just as Lu Chen was puzzled, a new section appeared before him, the mythical bond system. Current bond unlock progress, 0%, recommendation, host should quickly improve the soul compatibility with the second marriage partner. As marriage partners, only through complete integration of spirit and body can they unleash each other's strength, upon seeing the final recommendation, Lu Chen was left stunned in place. The bond unlocking degree is 0%, increase compatibility, complete communication between spirit and body. Lu Chen felt that his head was not enough. In order to obtain the bond skill, he must increase the bond unlocking degree with Xi Linger. And the method to increase the bond unlocking degree, like Long Kur, is also the fusion of soul and body. I didn't expect that now I need to do this to unlock the power of the second marriage partner. The main problem is, Xi Linger is a bird, how to fuse with a bird. System, how can I increase the bond degree for a bird? Lu Chen asked unhappily. There was a moment of silence in the air and the system did not reply. Are you serious? Not a word? Lu Chen asked again. The system remained silent. Sometimes I really wish you had a physical form. I bought a watch last year and really wanted to show it to you. Lu Chen gritted his teeth, feeling extremely unhappy. However, after saying this, Lu Chen was a little angry. Just as he was about to say something else, the system finally reacted. Shua. Lu Chen's pupils suddenly contracted, almost shouting, Zhua? Just this one word? However, this time the system did not respond to Lu Chen anymore, but Lu Chen already understood the meaning of the system. It seems that there is no other way. Lu Chen's mood was very complicated. The analysis came out, clearly said, but it seemed like nothing was said, Lu Chen couldn't help but feel frustrated. It seems that the second marriage partner cannot provide any help for the time being. Just as Lu Chen felt a headache, the young bird of Ji Yan in front of him was suddenly enveloped in flames. When the flames dissipated, the huge body also disappeared and a barefoot little lowly appeared in front of everyone. The little lowly was wearing a red shirt and a white mini skirt on the lower body, with bare pink feet stepping in mid-air. It was undoubtedly a top-grade ingredient. Not only were her jade feet of top-grade level, but the appearance of the little lowly also attracted the attention of many people. It was like the most perfect work of God, extremely cute, and her big red eyes were so clear that people couldn't help but want to hug and kiss her fiercely. And the little lowly's twin ponytails were the perfect steering wheel, making many people unable to help but imagine how pleasant it would be to drive in the mountains now. But for Lu Chen, having long core was already a bit unbearable, and now there was Ji Linger. Lu Chen felt that he might spend the rest of his life in a wheelchair. Moreover, long core was a jealous person. If he really did this, who knows what might happen. This made Lu Chen extremely distressed. Damn, is this Lu Chen's second marriage partner? Don't tell me this is the previous Ji Yin Yang bird, unexpectedly so cute, and also a barefoot little lowly. Damn, what kind of luck does Lu Chen have, he actually did it. Damn, people are really infuriating. Seeing Lu Chen successfully signing a contract with Ji Yin Young Bird, everyone was very shocked. After seeing the transformation of Ji Yin Young Bird into such a stunning beauty, everyone felt even more unbalanced, and their jealous eyes were almost bursting into flames. Most of their marriage partners were difficult to describe, and because of the different races, many activities were not very convenient to carry out. In fact, it's not unacceptable for the marriage partner to be a little ugly, as long as you have the courage, you can still use it. But some special marriage partners are really only for admiring from a distance and not for playing with. For example, Li Ji from Sanjong, his marriage partner is a fire spirit. Although the fire spirit also belongs to the elf race, the whole body is enveloped in flames, and the temperature all over the body has long exceeded 100 degrees. Wanting to drive with such a marriage partner is not just a matter of courage, you also need to have a body that can withstand high temperatures. In short, leaving aside the level of the marriage partner, just talking about looks and appearance, the appearance of Ji Linger is enough to make people jealous. Under the gaze of many male perverts, Ji Linger's slender Lolita Jade feet lightly stepped out, and the elements of fire intertwined under her feet, condensing into strands of flame feathers. 
Jilinger was like a flame princess, stepping on the stairs made of flame feathers, and walked step by step to Lu Chen's side. Then she put her hands in front of her and nervously looked at Long Kor, saying, Lord Long Kor. She was naturally nervous because she felt the unique aura of the Fire Dragon clan from Long Kor. Both women were from the Fire Dragon God realm, but their status and identity were vastly different. Jilinger came from the Phoenix Bird clan, and although the Phoenix Bird clan was also a top clan in the Fire Dragon God realm, Compared to the Fire Dragon Clan where Long Kor belonged, there was still a huge gap, after all, the Fire Dragon Clan was the overlord of this world. Previously, her consciousness was influenced by this world and she completely lost her sanity, turning into a monster and making the mistake of challenging Long Kor, her prospective marriage partner. Jilinger was somewhat worried that Long Kor would hold her accountable, but fortunately, Long Kor did not blame her for losing her mind. Why did you come here? Long Kor interrupted her and asked. She was able to come here because she was chosen by Lu Chen as his marriage partner in the marriage room. However, Ji Linger appeared here in the form of a monster. If she hadn't felt her fire dragon aura awakening her consciousness, she might still be seen as a diamond level boss by everyone. Her fate would undoubtedly be to be killed by a powerful transcender. I don't know either. Ji Linger shook her head, looking dazed. I was playing games in the clan at that time, and I hadn't been out for 300 years. I don't know why, but suddenly everything went black, and when I woke up again, I was here. Later, I felt my consciousness gradually becoming confused under the influence of the power of this world, and then I completely lost all knowledge. Thinking about this, Ji Linger still felt a chill. If Lu Chen hadn't stepped forward to protect her in time, she might have died at the hands of Lin Ying. She appeared here as a monster, and because she was not a creature of this world and did not have the assistance of a marriage partner, many of her powers and skills could not be displayed. Hearing the other's account, Lu Chen's mouth twitched. It seemed that Ji Linger was also a shut-in like Long Kor. She had actually stayed at home for 300 years. Could it be that she had been a shut-in for too long, suddenly died, and then crossed over to this world? If that was the case, Ji Linger should be a transmigrator and should have a system accompanying her. Lu Chen curiously asked, Do you have a system in your body? System? Ji Linger blinked her innocent and naive big eyes. What is that? Long Kor also looked at Lu Chen with a puzzled expression. Nothing. Lu Chen shook his head and didn't say much more. It seemed that Ji Linger did not have the so-called system in her body. As for how she came here, Lu Chen was also puzzled. While the few of them were talking, the hearts of the onlookers were extremely restless. Lin Ying was extremely uncomfortable, as if he had suddenly eaten three pounds of dead flies, his stomach was churning, and he was almost nauseous. This was supposed to be his stage, but in the end, it ended up helping Lu Chen. Instead, he had come all the way here to be a foil, and this huge disparity made Lin Ying somewhat unacceptable. He was so angry that he broke the light arrows in his hand and threw them on the ground. What the hell is going on here? Let's go, let's talk later. After saying that, Lu Chen was about to leave with the two women. There were too many people here, and publicly obtaining a second marriage partner was too high profile. Lu Chen felt that it was better to keep a low profile for the time being. You can't leave. But Lin Ying suddenly stepped forward and blocked Lu Chen pointing at Ji Linger with a dark face, you can't take her away. She is my marriage partner now, why can't I take her away? Lu Chen raised an eyebrow. You. This statement really left Lin Ying speechless. He struggled for a long time, feeling uncomfortable and unable to say a word. If Ji Linger was still a simple monster as before, they could naturally stop Lu Chen from taking her away. But now Ji Linger was already Lu Chen's second marriage partner. He really had no reason to stop Lu Chen from taking her away. It was so uncomfortable. Lin Ying felt like his heart, liver, spleen, and lungs were about to explode. Seeing Lin Ying remain silent, Lu Chen smiled and was about to leave. Please wait, but at that moment, two silent maids suddenly blocked Lu Chen's path. Lu Chen still had some fear of these two, but he remained calm and said, Do you have something to say? Can we talk further? One of the maids looked at Lu Chen and said with a complicated expression. They appeared here today to obtain something from Ji Yan's young bird. Originally, they wanted to take action. But now Ji Yan's young bird had become Lu Chen's marriage partner. Lu Chen blinked and remained silent. The maid suddenly said, Don't worry, we mean no harm. Lu Chen nodded, Okay. Half an hour later, the group appeared in a private room of a restaurant. Lu Chen ordered a large table of dishes, and the restaurant was very efficient. Soon, a table full of delicious food was served. Long Kor's eyes lit up, and she began to eat without hesitation, finishing three bowls of rice quickly. Lu Chen was used to this, Long Kor was always fierce when it came to eating, and she ate a lot. Perhaps that was why she had such a large scale. After all, the larger the scale, the more nutrients needed, and naturally, she ate more. But what surprised Lu Chen was that Ji Linger, who looked petite and cute, 
also ate without caring about her image. MMM. It's so delicious. Ji Linger picked up a piece of green pepper and pork and put it in her mouth. The juicy pork and the fragrance of the green pepper exploded in her mouth. Ji Linger's eyes sparkled, and she excitedly wiggled her little butt. Then she picked up a piece of braised pork, which had been stewed for three hours. It was fatty but not greasy, melting in her mouth. It was so delicious that Ji Linger couldn't help but moan. She didn't know how long she had been in this world, and during this long time, she had always appeared in the form of a monster, with a hazy consciousness. It had been a long time since she had eaten such delicious food. Seeing Ji Linger eating so elegantly, Long Cora couldn't help but feel close to this girl, and the two of them began to eat like there was no tomorrow. The scene was chaotic. Seeing this, Lu Chen's mouth twitched, and his hand holding the wallet began to tremble. He could barely afford to support Long Cora alone, and now there was Ji Linger, who could eat just as much. Lu Chen felt that he might have to tighten his belt in the future. Miss Ji, can I trouble you with something? Lu Chen suddenly looked at the maid in front of him and spoke. Hmm. The maid was stunned, then smiled, and said, Lu, if you have something to say, feel free. If we can help, we won't refuse. Although she didn't know what Lu Chen wanted her to do, being involved with such a genius was definitely a good thing with no harm, so she naturally wouldn't refuse to help. Lu Chen was immediately grateful and scratched his head, smiling shyly, I don't know if Miss Ji knows any wealthy big shots who can introduce me to some bricklaying work. Hearing this, the maid and another outstanding member were stunned on the spot. Lu Chen thought the other party was unwilling, so he became even more embarrassed and added, Miss Ji, rest assured, I'm very good at bricklaying, and besides, I'm a dragon knight now. I can definitely handle a stack of bricks at once. GZ. GZ's mouth twitched, not knowing what to say. The majestic mythical level dragon knight, a mythical level genius among millions, actually volunteered to go and do manual labor? Does this kid have some special hobby? Do you really like doing manual labor? GZ asked Lan Chen tentatively. Lan Chen turned his head to look at the two women who were eating and drinking, then forced a smile that was even uglier than crying and nodded, I like it. I like it a lot. GZ. In fact, Lan Chen was not exaggerating. Before awakening his profession, he lived quite frugally. At that time, he made a living by doing manual labor. In addition to doing manual labor, Lan Chen actually had a better choice, which was to work as a hostess in a nightclub, earning nearly 300 gold coins a day. Although Lan Chen was a bit poor at the time, he was quite good looking and was liked by many wealthy women. But Lan Chen was not a casual person, he knew very well that the nightclub was a deep place, and a slight mistake could ruin his innocence, so he refused. Originally, after awakening as a dragon knight, the school provided him with a villa and resources, so Lan Chen temporarily had no plans to do manual labor to supplement his family's expenses. But now, with the arrival of Ji Linger, Lan Chen felt that he had to make plans in advance. Lan student, you really know how to joke. Ji Z didn't take Lan Chen's joke seriously. After a pause, she changed the subject and said seriously, actually, I'll be honest with you, we came to Golden Sand City this time specifically for the flame weaving bird. Lan Chen glanced at Ji Linger, who was still eating seriously, completely unaware of the conversation. Because of her? Lan Chen frowned and his eyes became somewhat wary. Lan student, don't be nervous, we have no ill intentions towards her. We are just acting on someone else's behalf and need some of her flame power, which will not affect her. Ji Z didn't beat around the bush and stated the purpose of their visit. Can I know why? Lan Chen asked after a long silence. This is not a secret. I don't know if Lan student has heard of the celestial creation. Celestial creation? They want Qi Linger's flame power? Lan Chen's expression became somewhat strange. Lan Chen had heard of the celestial creation, a very powerful guild formed by the high-level members of the Xia Kingdom. The guild was widespread in the Xia Kingdom. In addition to the above, the members of the celestial creation guild generally had weak combat power. The main reason was that the members' professions were not combat-oriented but rather had strong expertise in crafting equipment or related professions. Although the combat power of the guild's members was weak, they were able to create many powerful and diverse equipment. For example, the capture-specific pet balls were created by the Celestial Creation. In addition to these auxiliary equipment, the Celestial Creation often created various powerful equipment. These equipment were the top-tier equipment that everyone longed for. Many strong individuals were willing to spend all their wealth to obtain equipment tailored by the Celestial Creation. Because of this, the Celestial Creation had a very good reputation among many guilds and almost no one dared to oppose them. The foundation of the Celestial Creation was extremely terrifying. Therefore, when Lan Chen learned that the Celestial Creation wanted Ji Linger's flame power, he was very surprised. 
The Celestial Creation is currently developing new equipment, which is a fire attribute equipment that requires the flame power of a powerful monster as a power source. When they learned about the situation of the flame weaving bird, they believed that the flame power within the flame weaving bird's body was completely compatible with the new equipment they were creating. So they specifically found us to obtain some flame power. Originally, GZ and the others were thinking that after the flame weaving bird was resolved, they would ask Lin Ying for some flame power to take back and complete the task. Who would have thought that Lu Chen would not play by the rules and would be the first to tame the young firebird? So now they can only ask Lu Chen for it. Hearing the other party's words, Lu Chen fell into contemplation. He was somewhat puzzled, as there were many powerful monsters with the power of flames, such as Long Kor's power of flames. Although Long Kor was not a monster, her power of flames was even more terrifying than Ji Ling'er's. So why were they interested in Ji Ling'er? After thinking for a while, Lu Chen thought of a possibility. Perhaps the power of flames like Long Kor's was too powerful, and it was just right for Ji Ling'er's power of flames. The power of flames can be given to you, but... Lu Chen looked up at Ji Z and the others and smiled without saying a word. Ji Z instantly understood Lu Chen's meaning, Lu, rest assured, we won't ask for your power of flames for nothing. We will give corresponding rewards, and in the future, if you need the Peak Guild's help, feel free to ask. This was also the statement Ji Z had prepared in advance. After speaking, Ji Z took out a special card and handed it to Lu Chen. The card had a special pattern on it. As long as Lu Chen took this card to seek help from the Peak Guild, he would definitely get a response. The Peak Guild was also one of the top guilds in the Xia country, and this thing was extremely precious. But Lu Chen did not reach out to take it, but instead smiled and said, I want gold coins. Ji Z was stunned. Gold coins? She was at a loss. The value of this card was inestimable, and it was priceless. It was a huge opportunity to make the Peak Guild owe a favor. And this guy actually first refused? In fact, Lu Chen also knew the value of this card, but he really needed gold coins now. Otherwise he couldn't support both Long Kor and Ji Ling'er. So, between favors and gold coins, Lu Chen chose gold coins without hesitation. After confirming that Lu Chen was not joking, Ji Z awkwardly took out a card from her pocket and handed it to Lu Chen. This is a card from the Flower Sea Bank, with 3,000 gold coins inside. I don't know if it's enough? It's enough, it's enough. Lu Chen hurriedly reached out and carefully took the bank card, his face beaming. 3,000 gold coins. He used to have to work on the construction site for almost a few months to earn this much. With these gold coins, his living expenses would be enough for the time being. Lu, you should still take this card, even if it's just a gift from us as friends. After handing over the bank card, Ji Z also handed the card to Lu Chen. Originally, they had planned to use this opportunity to make friends with Lu Chen, so this card had to be given away no matter what. At first, Lu Chen was a little embarrassed, after all, he had already taken the gold coins, and the two sides had already settled the matter. But unable to resist Ji Z's enthusiasm, Lu Chen finally took the card. After everything was done, Lu Chen straightforwardly first had Ji Ling'er separate some of the power of flames, and Ji Ling'er naturally obeyed Lu Chen's command. Holding a big chicken leg in his left hand, he took a bite, then gently pointed his right index finger forward, and a wisp of flame power instantly overflowed from his finger. Seeing this, Ji Z quickly took out a special device shaped like a box and carefully stored the wisp of flame power. After completing the task, the two of them were in a good mood and waved goodbye to Lu Chen and the others. Wait. At this moment, Lu Chen suddenly stopped the two of them, then scratched his head and said awkwardly, Can you pay for this meal first? I've been spending a lot of money recently, and I want to save some of these 3,000 gold coins. After saying this, Lu Chen's face turned as red as a monkey's but, not because he was stingy, but mainly because he had been through hard times for too long, and Long Kor was too spendthrift. And the restaurant they chose for dinner was not cheap especially since they chose a private room. His current idea was to save money wherever he could. Ji Z's mouth twitched, and her whole face turned dark. A few minutes later, after Ji Z and the others left, Lu Chen finally looked at Long Kor and Ji Ling'er. The table was full of food, and Lu Chen and Ji Z and others did not take a bite. Throughout the meal, the two women were eating heartily. Eight dishes and two soups, without exception, were almost completely eaten. After eating and drinking their fill, the two women finally leaned back comfortably in the leather seats, feeling that life was so rich and colorful. This kind of life was much more comfortable than their previous days of staying at home and playing games. Let's go back after eating our fill, Lu Chen felt like crying without tears, suddenly feeling that the 3,000 gold coins seemed to be spent in no time. He couldn't help but make a firm decision in his heart. In the future, if he could cook at home, he would definitely not go out to eat. It's too expensive. Leaving the restaurant, Lu Chen took the two women back to the villa where there were plenty of rooms. 
After quickly tidying up the bedroom on the second floor, Lu Chen brought Ji Ling'er over and said, Take a look and let me know if there's anything you're not satisfied with or anything you need. Ji Ling'er glanced at the room, the decoration was very simple but very warm, and Lu Chen even deliberately changed the bed sheets to pink, which Ji Ling'er was very satisfied with. She jumped onto the bed barefoot, feeling the softness of the bed, rolling around on it. Thank you, I really like it here. Ji Ling'er looked up at Lu Chen and sweetly smiled. As long as you like it, Lu Chen's face turned red, he coughed lightly to cover up his embarrassment, and told Ji Ling'er to find him if she needed anything, then left in a hurry. Thank you, master. Goodness. Being called master by a cute little girl, who could resist that? Leaning against the door, Lu Chen thought of the scene just now, couldn't help but feel hot all over, his heart beating faster, and it seemed like his blood was boiling. He touched his nose, thankfully his constitution had improved since he had long core, and he didn't have a nosebleed. Otherwise, it would be embarrassing. But if this continued every day, he really couldn't bear it. It seemed that he would have to prepare more blood supplements in the future, just in case. Lu Chen was afraid that he might die from excessive blood loss one day. He decided to let Ji Ling'er get familiar with the environment first, and as for increasing the bond unlocking level, that could be discussed later. As a marriage partner, Lu Chen had absolute control. Under the influence of the contract, he could command Long Kor and Ji Ling'er to serve him. The two women could not disobey Lu Chen's orders, so whatever Lu Chen asked them to do, they had to do. This was also one of the reasons why creatures from other worlds were unwilling to become marriage partners under normal circumstances. If they encountered a pervert, it would be better to die. Moreover, because marriage partners could not disobey their master's orders, many transmigrators would still find other partners after obtaining a marriage partner. As for marriage partners who walked out of the marriage room, they were mostly seen as accessories for awakening professions, subordinate to assist in combat. But Lu Chen was a transmigrator, and his views were different from those of this world, especially since Long Kor and Ji Ling'er were so cute in appearance and personality, he couldn't bring himself to do such a thing. At least for now, Lu Chen still respected Long Kor and Ji Ling'er very much and had never made any unreasonable demands. Well, no, there were some demands that should be excluded, these demands should not be considered unreasonable demands, right? Lu Chen had once asked Long Kor to wear clothes from different professions, to roleplay and simulate some interesting plots, and sometimes he would ask her to pose in unique ways. Well, that didn't count. After settling Ji Ling'er's affairs, Lu Chen went downstairs. Downstairs, Lu Chen found Long Kor barefoot, holding a game console, curled up on the sofa playing games. This game console was bought for Long Kor by Zhang Lan when they went out to eat last time. As a homebody, this kind of thing was very attractive to her. After hesitating for a while, Lu Chen sat down next to Long Kor. Long Kor, however, was still focused on playing games. Can you call me master? Looking at Long Kor, Lu Chen suddenly heard the voice that made his bones go soft, just like the one from Ji Ling'er. His mind went blank, and he blurted it out. Long Kor's hand paused in the middle of her game, she put down the game console, looked up at Lu Chen, and then her beautiful little face instantly turned crimson. Lu Chen was a bit confused, I just asked you to call me master. Why are you looking at me like that? Do you want me to call you master? Long Kor smirked and leaned in playfully, blowing gently into Lu Chen's ear, causing him to shiver involuntarily. Can. Can I? Lu Chen asked expectantly. Although Lu Chen often made sarcastic remarks, he was after all not from this world. As a single young man from the 21st century, Lu Chen had no experience in such matters. Of course you can. I am your marriage partner, bound by the marriage contract. You can do whatever you want to me without worrying about my feelings. A man should have his own opinions. Long Kor's voice grew softer, and she even extended her slender fingers to gently caress Lu Chen's face. Long Kor had a natural body fragrance, a faint scent that was pleasant, and her skin was soft and smooth. At this moment, Long Kor's crimson eyes shimmered with charm, yet her dragon-like aura gave off a rather domineering feeling. Alluring and aloof. Lu Chen felt ticklish from Long Kor's touch and was about to speak when Long Kor placed her fair fingers in front of Lu Chen's lips, gesturing for silence. I'll go take a bath first. Since you want me to call you master, I'll do so until you're satisfied. Long Kor smiled gently and then shyly ran to her room, changed into a bathrobe, and went to take a shower. Soon, the sound of running water could be heard from the bathroom. Meanwhile, Lu Chen, sitting on the sofa, was completely disoriented. His gaze gradually returned from its daze and began to panic. A homebody is really scary. For heaven's sake. I just wanted to hear Long Kor call me master. I didn't have any other thoughts. He felt that Long Kor had misunderstood something. Phew. Thinking this, Lu Chen shivered all over, anxiously pacing in place for a few turns. Suddenly, his eyes lit up as he thought of a solution. 
he quickly put on his shoes and ran out the door. He planned to spend the night at the internet cafe. The losses from last time had not been replenished, and this time, he felt that his body couldn't withstand such high-intensity battles. Three meters, two meters, one meter. Lu Chen reached for the doorknob, and his tense nerves finally relaxed. Just then, boom, a crimson flame suddenly surged from the semi-transparent frosted glass of the bathroom, and the bathroom door was forcefully pushed open by the power of the flames. A dragon claw made of condensed flames swiftly reached out from inside, firmly gripping Lu Chen at lightning speed. Then, it mercilessly dragged him into the bathroom. Lu Chen frantically struggled to grab the ground, leaving behind a long scratch, but ultimately, he despaired as the claw dragged him into the abyss. The power of the flames disappeared, and the bathroom door closed again. A very charming voice sounded from the bathroom, eight parts charming and three parts disdainful, please feel free to command me, my master. The next day, Lu Chen went to school alone. Long Kor was playing games in the marriage space, while Ji Linger was watching Long Kor play games in the marriage space. Dragging his exhausted body, every step Lu Chen took felt extremely difficult, and his legs trembled without any support. When Lu Chen finally reached the entrance of the school, it felt like a century had passed. Just then, an elderly man with a cane passed by Lu Chen, and suddenly, Lu Chen felt the need for a cane. Although last night's experience was appalling, the good news is that the bond between Lu Chen and Long Kor has reached 39%. In this situation, with a little more effort, they can reach 40% and gain a new skill. Lu Chen arrived at the school gate, rubbed his face, tidied his hair, and tried to look more energetic. He didn't want to be seen as haggard or be told that he couldn't do it. However, at that moment, a familiar figure suddenly ran out from the school. When she saw Lu Chen, she showed a big smile on her face. Lu Chen, you finally came. I was just about to look for you at your house. Zhao Qingsong came to Lu Chen, full of joy. Is your zombie mother about to give birth? Why are you so happy? Lu Chen asked curiously. It's not my zombie mother giving birth. It's too soon after the marriage, and with different races, it's uncertain whether she can conceive. My zombie mother has a special situation with her head. Oh, I'm off topic. How did we start talking about my matters? Lu Chen, you have a great opportunity. The news of you having a second marriage partner has spread to the school, and now Principal Lee and many high-level officials are waiting for you in the office. It must be to offer you better treatment, Zhao Qingsong said enviously. Lu Chen, as a mythical-level professional, was already outstanding, and now having a second marriage partner, who is also a lovely little girl. Such talent is truly extraordinary, and he couldn't imagine how terrifying Lu Chen's future growth would be. Mythical-level professionals are rare, but in the Xia country with a population of tens of billions, there have been 30 mythical-level professionals. Having a second marriage partner is also rare in the entire Xia country. Lu Chen not only is a mythical-level professional but also has a second marriage partner. The combination of these two buffs is truly amazing. Zhao Qingsong didn't know why the school was looking for Lu Chen, but he could imagine that it must be to offer him benefits. I understand, I'll go now. Lu Chen nodded, surprised that the news had reached the school leaders so quickly. Lu Chen arrived at the principal's office and found many high-level officials present. They had been arguing, but when they saw Lu Chen, they stopped and looked at him with shining eyes, as if they had seen a priceless treasure. Being stared at so fervently by so many old men made Lu Chen feel uneasy. Although he was handsome, his interests were normal, so please don't look at me like that. I'm nervous. At that moment, Li Zhang suddenly stood up from the front seat and came to Lu Chen, taking his hand and said enthusiastically, Lu, you have brought glory to our school again. Glory? Lu Chen asked in confusion. Li Zhang patted Lu Chen's shoulder excitedly and said, of course. Not only have you become a mythical level transfer professional, but now you have also become the owner of a second marriage partner. I have already reported this. You can't imagine how excited the higher-ups were when they heard this news. Li Zhang felt like his heart was about to give out, but he suppressed his excitement and stared at Lu Chen with fiery eyes, continuing, we have received news from the Magic Martial University. If you are willing, you can start studying there now. The Magic Martial University is one of the top institutions in the Xia country. Even if it had been pre-arranged, there would still be a probationary period. During this period, the university would closely monitor the situation of the probationary students, and those who did not perform well might lose their guaranteed admission. But now it was different. When the Magic Martial University learned that Lu Chen had a second marriage partner, his talent could no longer be measured by the usual standards. So they decided to invite Lu Chen out of the ordinary. As long as Lu Chen was willing, he could report to the Magic Martial University at any time. This was an unprecedented event and a great honor. But Lu Chen was not too happy about this. The Magic Martial University was originally a guaranteed admission, 
and there wasn't much difference between going early or late. Moreover, suddenly having to switch to a new environment, he still felt somewhat reluctant. In addition, the villa provided by the second middle school, Lu Chen hadn't lived there enough. Everyone has their own comfort zone, and Jinsha City is Lu Chen's comfort zone. Lu Chen had only recently changed careers to become a dragon knight and hadn't fully adapted yet, so he wasn't ready to leave Jinsha City temporarily. I don't have this plan for now. I'll stay in Jinsha City for now and graduate normally, Lu Chen said after thinking for a moment. Okay, Li Zhang nodded, understanding Lu Chen's current thoughts and not insisting. But then, Li Zhang eagerly asked, You have already obtained a second marriage partner. You should be a dual career changer now. I wonder what level your second career is and what profession it is. Dual career changers are rare talents, and there aren't many in the entire Xia country. However, without exception, any dual career changer, as long as they can grow, will become extremely powerful. Just like Chimuying Shizi, she has already become a powerful figure at the national level. I haven't awakened yet. The bond with my second marriage partner is too low, so I haven't unlocked a new career yet, Lu Chen said somewhat awkwardly, scratching his head. I see, Li Zhang wasn't too disappointed, but instead patted Lu Chen's shoulder and encouraged him, since that's the case, try to improve the bond as soon as possible. If you can unlock the second career before going to the Magic Marshall University, you will also be at the forefront. Their own outstanding students, even in a place like the Magic Marshall University, can surpass those geniuses. Jinsha City has never produced a mythical level career changer, so they have been ridiculed by people from other places. This time, Lu Chen fought for their honor. This is all thanks to me, Li Zhang, huh? Just thinking about it, Li Zhang was very excited. Improve the bond? I want to as well. But his way of improving the bond is to enter the bridal chamber, which makes Lu Chen feel very embarrassed. After all, with Long Kor as the main wife, Lu Chen is really afraid of upsetting her, and he is also worried that Jilinger will not agree. If the other party is not willing to discuss physiological knowledge with him, Lu Chen will not force it. Wait a minute. Half-heartedness doesn't count as coercion. Alas, I can only take it step by step, Lu Chen sighed in his heart and also complained about this absurd way of improvement. Half a day later, Lu Chen looked at Li Zhang and asked again, Is there anything else the principal wants to discuss with me? In addition, there is indeed a major matter that needs to be discussed with you. A major matter? Hearing this, Lu Chen also became serious. Because of your status as a dual career changer, the higher-ups are paying close attention to our second middle school and have given us many resources. So, in order to reward you, we have decided to fulfill one of your wishes. Wish? Any wish? Lu Chen's Adam's apple rolled, excited. In principle, as long as it's not too outrageous, we can fulfill it for you, Li Zhang showed a kind smile. The more he looked at Lu Chen, the more he liked him. Upon hearing this, Lu Chen's first thought was to ask the school to find him a fire elemental crystal core. Lu Chen had been using the fire dragon clan skills from Long Core, but he was still a mortal body and did not have the physique of the fire dragon clan. The terrifying power of the flames wandering in his body day and night had already caused some problems. If he couldn't find a fire elemental crystal core to eliminate this influence, it would have a very big impact on Lu Chen's strength. But then Lu Chen thought, if he asked the school for this, they would definitely ask why he needed the fire elemental crystal core. If he told the school about his situation, his weaknesses would be exposed. Now that he is a public figure, he might be used by someone with ill intentions. In addition, the fire elemental crystal core is very precious, and he will leave Jinsha City soon. The school may not be able to obtain it during this time. When the fire elemental crystal core was not obtained, his own weakness was exposed, so Lu Chen dispelled the idea. For the sake of safety, he decided to handle the matter of the fire elemental crystal core himself. Lu's previous life was very tight, so why not give him gold coins as a reward? At this time, a senior school official spoke up. Lu Chen looked at the senior official, his eyes filled with gratitude. This person really understands me. These words went straight to Lu Chen's heart. But Li Zheng quickly rejected the proposal, saying angrily, Lu Chen is a genius of extraordinary talent. He is a mythical level job changer, with two marriage partners as a dual job changer, a genius among geniuses. Anyone can have gold coins, and giving a few gold coins will make us look down upon. Besides, for Lu Chen in the future, gold coins are just numbers, and this reward is meaningless to him. The other senior officials nodded in agreement after some thought. No, I just want gold coins. I am a simple person, I don't pick and choose. Lu Chen was on the verge of collapse, even with his talent, he was truly penniless now and he couldn't even support his two wives at home. He really needed gold coins to survive. Actually, I think. Lu Chen reached out his hand, wanting to tell everyone in the room that he needed gold coins now. Lu, you don't need to speak, 
I know what you want to say. Li Zhang looked at Lu Chen confidently, interrupting him. Lu Chen was stunned, did this old man suddenly understand his thoughts? Then Lu Chen eagerly awaited Li Zhang's next words. However, Li Zhang's next words made Lu Chen want to vomit blood. I think Lu should be given the title of honorary mentor, Li Zhang said. Hearing this, many senior officials nodded in agreement. I agree, someone said. I also agree, this is not only a huge honor, but it also lets people know that Lu Chen comes from our first high school of Jinsha. Many senior officials did not object to this. A mentor is different from a teacher, it is a higher level title, often responsible for supervising students' training. For example, Zhang Lan is not only Lu Chen's class teacher, but also a mentor. In a world where strength is the main focus, a mentor in a high school that specializes in training professionals is very respected. On the surface, they may enjoy some privileges in Jinsha, but more are hidden privileges, because no one knows how many professionals a mentor has trained. An honorary mentor only enjoys the convenience of the mentor's status without being responsible for the students. Honorary mentor? What is that? Can it be exchanged for money? Lu Chen's face turned gray, he was not interested in the title of honorary mentor, he just wanted money. At this moment, Lu Chen suddenly realized the meaning of the phrase a tall building rises from the ground, everything still depends on oneself. Since you won't say it, then I'll say it myself. Taking a deep breath, Lu Chen raised his hand and weakly said, actually, I want. Lu, with your performance, the later training assessment at school is not very meaningful to you. This position of honorary mentor is quite suitable for you. From now on, you are the only student in Jinsha City First High School with the title of honorary mentor. As an honorary mentor, you now have the qualification to establish your own guild. Looking at Lu Chen's hesitant appearance, Li Zheng smiled gently, you don't need to feel embarrassed, your talent deserves this title. If anyone disagrees, bring them to me, the principal will stand up for you. Lu Chen's mouth twitched. Thank you. In the end, Lu Chen still didn't have the courage to say that he wanted gold coins. He could only leave with a heavy heart. Right now, he just wanted to find the fire elemental crystal core as soon as possible, and as for creating a guild, he had no such plans at all. Maybe the school was planning to reward me with gold coins last time, perhaps it was because this old man interrupted that I was ultimately rewarded with a villa, Lu Chen thought as he walked, getting angrier the more he thought about it. He felt an urge to dig up Li Zhang's ancestors' graves. This old man was too despicable. As the principal of Ijong, his conscience was truly rotten. How could such cold and piercing words come out of a 37-degree mouth? At the same time, at the Jinsha Third Middle School playground, many students were training when a black Pamela suddenly appeared, causing a commotion. Damn! Isn't this car expensive? Pamela, it's the first time I've seen this car in real life. The person who can afford to drive this kind of car must be rich or noble. Does our school have a hidden rich kid? As many students were discussing, a young girl suddenly touched Zhang Shershir's elbow, enviously saying, Shershir, look at this car, it's so cool. I wonder what it feels like to sit inside and take a spin. Zhang Shershir looked up and then continued training. Coming from the Zhang family, she had been used to seeing luxury cars since she was young, so she naturally didn't have much interest. But the next moment, a cry of surprise rang out as Pamela stopped and a man in a suit got out. It was Lin Ying. Seeing Lin Ying, the girl's screams rose from the bushes, and many girls' eyes were filled with hearts. Lin Ying had also come out of Jinsha City, and his deeds were still being talked about. Although his performance in the Jinsha defense line was a bit lacking last time, Lin Ying's deeds had influenced Jinsha City for several years. This small mistake couldn't change the admiration of the people for Lin Ying. In the eyes of the students in Jinsha City, Lin Ying was synonymous with genius. It's actually Lin Ying, and he's actually come to our third middle school. Sure sure, is he here to find you? The young girl said enviously. Zhang Shershir looked at Lin Ying and frowned slightly. She prayed that he wasn't here for her. She really didn't want to have much interaction with him. But the next moment, swish. Under the heated gaze of many students, Lin Ying walked towards Zhang Shershir. Seeing this, Zhang Shershir's training paused, and her face became extremely unpleasant. It was like inviting trouble. Sure sure. Lin Ying walked quickly towards Jiang Shershir, with a self-proclaimed handsome smile on his face, reaching out to greet her. But Jiang Shershir ignored him and kept her head down. Seeing this, Lin Ying's smile froze, and his hand hung awkwardly in the air. He wasn't a fool, and he could see that Jiang Shershir was deliberately ignoring him, clearly not wanting to have any contact with him. Who was he? He was Lin Ying, a genius who had studied at the Magic Marshall University for two years. A level 60 super strong. During his time at the Magic Marshall University, countless women dreamed of climbing into his bed, and he changed partners every few days. He had never encountered such a situation before, where a woman would reject him. 
Sure, sure, I've come to see you. Lin Ying took a deep breath, forcing himself to maintain a smile and continued, You don't need to come find me in the future. I have no relationship with you, and I don't want to have any involvement with you. Jiang Shershir's eyes were cold as she spoke softly. Her words were like a thousand needles, piercing Lin Ying's heart fiercely. It wasn't because he was rejected by someone he liked that he felt heartache. On the contrary, he didn't have any feelings for Jiang Shershir. After all, apart from the time in Kyoto, they had only met twice. It was mainly because he was rejected by a woman, which made Lin Ying, who was used to being adored by everyone, feel ashamed. Is it because of that guy surnamed Lu? Lin Ying asked. I advise you not to go looking for trouble with him. Upon hearing Lin Ying mention Lu Chen, Zhang Shishir's eyebrows furrowed slightly, and she threatened, This is between us, it has nothing to do with him. She had made Lu Chen her shield, but now, for some reason, she didn't want him to be affected. Zhang Shishir had no doubt about Lu Chen's talent and potential. However, compared to Lin Ying now, Lu Chen was still too weak. If the other party went to trouble Lu Chen, it was not what Jiang Shishir hoped to see. What Jiang Shishir did not know was that her reaction only fueled Lin Ying's resentment towards Lu Chen. Lu Chen. It's always about Lu Chen. Last time at the Golden Sands defense line, Lu Chen had come forward as Jiang Shishir's partner. At that time, Lin Ying did not get angry, partly because of the different circumstances, and partly because he could see that the two were just acting. But now, it seemed that he had been mistaken. Regardless of whether the two were acting or not, at least Zhang Shishir's concern for Lu Chen was genuinely felt. In Lin Ying's eyes, this was no different from putting a green hat on him. Shishir, what do you take me for? I, Lin Ying, am not a narrow-minded person, but I won't give up. I will continue to pursue you until you agree to marry me. Lin Ying smiled faintly and then turned and left. He never expressed his true feelings, but always appeared quite affable and refined. Although this disguise did not win Jiang Shishir's favor, it captivated many female students. Senior Lin Ying is so gentle. If I could marry such a man, I would definitely be happy in the future. Ah, it's a pity that Senior Lin Ying is not interested in me. Many female students were very regretful, and at the same time, they could not understand Jiang Shishir's behavior at all. They simply could not understand why she would reject such an outstanding man. Only Jiang Shishir herself knew that Lin Ying was a typical hypocrite, and she would rather remain unmarried for life than entrust her future to such a person. With the episode involving Lin Ying, Zhang Shishir was not in the mood for training. She found a reason to leave the training ground and then called her younger brother, Zhang Wendian. Sis, that guy actually came to look for you just now? Zhang Wendian was surprised to hear Zhang Shishir's account. Yes, he just left. Although I warned him not to cause trouble for Lu Chen, given his vengeful nature, he probably won't listen. Zhang Shishir rubbed her temples, feeling a headache coming on, and then said, You have many friends, right? Ask them to keep an eye on the situation at Ijong. If anything happens, let me know immediately. Zhang Wendian nodded and said, I understand, sis. I'll take care of this. But I'm curious, why can't that guy named Lin find a woman? Why does he have to cling to you? Could it be that he really has feelings for you? He has probably had more women than you've had meals. He's probably clinging to me to leverage the power of the Zhang family. I see. After hearing Jiang Shishir's words, Jiang Wendian did not say anything more, but assured her that he would keep an eye on the situation at Ijong. After hanging up the phone, Jiang Shishir breathed a sigh of relief and then clenched her fist, saying, It seems that if I want to completely get rid of this guy, I need to improve my strength as soon as possible. I must take charge of my own life. Golden Sands Beach Defense Line After leaving the office, Lu Chen arrived at the Golden Sands Beach Defense Line. Since the issue with Ji Ling'er had been resolved, the place had returned to its former bustling state, with people everywhere coming to challenge the dungeons. After all, challenging the dungeons could yield rich rewards. And these people who came to challenge the dungeons formed small teams, as the dungeons were quite dangerous, and each class had different characteristics. Some have strong defense but weak attack, while others have strong attack but low defense. Therefore, only by uniting can people unleash the greatest effect and ensure greater safety. Teaming up is quite common, but Lu Chen is an exception. He has almost always soloed every instance from start to finish. Lu Chen's purpose in coming to the Golden Sand Beach defense line is simple. To complete the mission card task, the last wish of the Snow Wolf Lord. After completing the redemption of the Flame Weaving Nestling last time, Lu Chen received the blessing of the Flame Weaving Nestling as a reward. This so-called blessing is actually the spirit of Weaving Ling. And after completing the system card task this time, he will be able to obtain the Snow Wolf Young Master, and in the future, Lu Chen will also have a mount for travel. Although the Snow Wolf does not have the imposing presence of the Forest Shadow's giant dragon, it is still better than nothing. 
Long Cora can also transform into a fire dragon form for Lu Chen to ride, but this girl is very shy and only wants to be ridden in private, so finding a mount is imperative. After wandering around the entrance of the instance for a few laps, Lu Chen successfully found the instance required for the mission card and immediately entered. Buzz. Upon entering the instance, a white world appeared before Lu Chen's eyes. Everything that could be seen in the Western Zhou Dynasty was covered in snow white. If one were to look down from the sky, they would see the entire world covered in snowflakes. Snowflakes continuously fell from the sky, and the temperature inside the instance was extremely low. As soon as Lu Chen entered, he felt a chill, and even the air he exhaled instantly froze into ice mist. It's really cold here. Lu Chen rubbed his hands and exhaled, but the hot air he had just exhaled froze into a mist in the air. Fortunately, Lu Chen had the power of flames within him, which counteracted the cold. Just as Lu Chen was about to set off to find the Iron Arm Ape Lord, a ripple suddenly appeared behind him, and then a six-person team appeared simultaneously. The six people had different professions, but their levels were generally around level 15, indicating that they had also come to explore the instance as a team. Lu Shun? Seeing Lu Chen ahead, the six people were all somewhat surprised. Lu Chen, with the profession of Dragon Knight, had become a legendary figure in the Golden Sand Middle School. It was said that he had now become a dual-class player, with both light and dark auras, making him a godlike figure. The six-person team was extremely excited, and one of the girls was even blushing because she had written a love letter to Lu Chen through Xiaoqing Song. During the time the love letter was sent, the girl couldn't sleep at night, eagerly awaiting Lu Chen's reply. Unfortunately, after waiting for several days, she did not receive a reply from Lu Chen. Then the girl realized she had not shown enough sincerity. In order to show her sincerity to Lu Chen, she decided to write three love letters to him every day, asking Zhao Qingsong to help deliver them. Are you students from Golden Sand Middle School? Are you here to run instances too? Lu Chen greeted the group and casually asked. Lu Chen, the bosses here are very powerful, and the monsters are all ice attribute with mostly control type skills. A little carelessness could lead to a big loss. Many students have suffered losses here. How can you come alone? One member of the six-person team couldn't help but ask curiously, but before he could finish, he was knocked on the back of the head by the girl. Lu Xin is a mythical level profession and a dual-class player. The danger here is just a small problem for him. Someone like him doesn't need to team up at all. Hearing the girl's words, the rest of the six-person team also nodded in agreement. With Lu Chen's terrifying strength, there was really no need for him to team up in a place like this. After all, this was the guy who had blocked the spring water. You guys take care, I won't disturb you. Lu Chen smiled faintly, waved to the group, and prepared to go about his own business. But the elementary school girl stopped Lu Chen and said, Lu Chen, you are so powerful, can you escort us for a while? Our target is the Lord of the White Bear, not far ahead. Can you help us deal with it? The others also showed hopeful expressions upon hearing this. Although there were six of them, they were not very confident. If Lu Chen could join them, the situation would be very different. Well, I can help, but I still have something to take care of, Lu Chen said with a troubled expression. Lu Chen, don't worry, we won't let you help for nothing. If you are willing to help, we can give you a thousand gold coins. The elementary school girl said eagerly, staring at Lu Chen. A thousand gold coins? Lu Chen, although still pondering on the surface, smiled inwardly. He had originally intended to decline, but he didn't expect such an unexpected gain. A thousand gold coins was not a small amount, especially for the current Lu Chen, who had two wives to support and was in great need of money. Whether it's gold coins or not is not the issue. Since we are all classmates, and I am an honorary mentor, if you need help, I naturally cannot refuse, Lu Chen pretended to ponder for a while and nodded in agreement. The six-person team was instantly excited. With Lu Chen joining them, they felt that their chances of success in the dungeon were greatly increased. Just as the six-person team was excited, Lu Chen cleared his throat and held out his hand. Everyone was immediately stunned. Lu Chen smiled warmly and said, Let's start with the thousand gold coins. I originally didn't plan to take money, but since it's your intention, I can't refuse. The others were speechless. Wasn't it agreed that money was not the issue? Thinking about Lu Chen joining them, which would greatly increase their chances of success in the dungeon, the six-person team quickly scraped together a thousand gold coins. Lu Chen took the heavy gold coins and put them in his marriage space, then grinned and said, It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. If there's anything similar in the future, you can always find me. I am always willing to help. It's like having ants crawling all over me if I don't do a good deed in a day. The others. After taking the money, Lu Chen naturally had to do his job, so he immediately followed the six-person team to besiege the Lord of the White Bear. As for the matter of the mission card, it was temporarily thrown to the back of Lu Chen's mind. 
In his opinion, what was more important than the gold coins? Without gold coins, he couldn't support his two wives, and the tasks on the mission card could be done at any time, but making money was not something that could be encountered randomly, and it was just a means of transportation. There was no rush. As the group continued on their way, they did not encounter any monsters on the road, and it was unclear whether it was because of Lu Chen's title as a monster slayer. Before long, they arrived at a very special place, where the western region was filled with huge icebergs. These icebergs were not originally frozen mountain peaks, but were formed from frozen water. Lu Xin, we did our homework before coming here. According to the information, the Lord of the White Bear should be nearby. Let's be careful, the elementary schoolgirl reminded in a soft voice. Perhaps out of fear, she unexpectedly approached Lu Chen and even reached out to grab his clothes. Lu Chen had originally wanted to ask her to let go, after all, he was now a man with two wives. But seeing the pitiful look on her face, Lu Chen held back his refusal. Helping others is a traditional virtue of the Chinese nation. As long as he could help the other party relieve their fear, what was a little sacrifice for a man? Even if Long Cure were here, he would do the same, and Long Cure must understand him. Long Cure and Ji Linger were playing games in the marriage space at this time, so they definitely wouldn't notice what was happening here. Lu Chen felt very pleased with himself. The group began to explore the western area, searching for the traces of the Lord of the White Bear. But after searching for a long time, they still found no trace. Could the information be wrong? Is the Lord of the White Bear really here? Some people scratched their heads in confusion and complained. Lu Chen stepped on the small snow slope in front of him and glanced at Shi Zhou. He didn't find anything. Ha! Huh? But the next moment, Lu Chen's brow suddenly furrowed. Lu Chen, did you find something? The junior sister noticed Lu Chen's reaction and asked nervously. The others also leaned in, waiting for Lu Chen's answer. Lu Chen ignored everyone and instead looked down at the small snow slope under his feet, exerting more force. Ha! Huh? Feeling the feedback from under his feet, Lu Chen's brow furrowed even deeper. The six members of the team also looked at Lu Chen's feet, but there was nothing on the small snow slope. What's wrong, Lu Chen? The junior sister asked nervously again. Something's not right, very wrong. Lu Chen said in a deep voice. How can this thing be soft? Soft? The six members of the team were all confused. The temperature here is extremely low, and even the snow is frozen hard. How could this small snow slope be soft? Just as everyone was puzzled, Lu Chen suddenly exerted more force and kicked the small snow slope. At the same time, a roar suddenly came from below. Roar! Then everyone saw the small snow slope suddenly move. A huge polar bear nearly three meters tall slowly stood up from the ground, opened its huge mouth, and charged towards Lu Chen. The six members of the team were all stunned. Lu Chen was also momentarily dazed. Damn! So this small snow slope is the lord of the polar bears. With the natural white fur camouflage, it's no wonder that Lu Chen and the others couldn't find its whereabouts. Roar! After standing up, the polar bear lord snarled and a strong stench gushed out. The six-member team was shocked by this scene. Lu Chen was also not in a good state. The sudden appearance of this creature had already startled him, and the sudden stench made him dizzy. In a critical moment, Lu Chen instinctively slapped out. Seeing this, the polar bear lord stood with its hands on its hips, showing a disdainful look on its bare face. How much force could a slap from a mere human have? However, after this slap landed, the polar bear lord was immediately dumbfounded. Smack! Critical hit minus 555. The blood red numbers jumped out, and the polar bear lord's health was reduced by one-fifth. The polar bear lord was dumbfounded, wondering what was going on with the human in front of it. At this moment, the six-member team also reacted, staring as if they had seen a monster. Lucian is so fierce. A slap took away 555 health points? Don't forget, Lucian's Dragon Knight is a fire elemental class, naturally restraining ice attribute monsters. Right, how could we forget about this? Lu Chen, who was still in place, suddenly came to his senses. Right. His Dragon Knight is also a fire elemental class. He should be walking sideways in this place, right? Not to mention that the opponent is also level 20. Even if the opponent's level is higher, Lu Chen can still suppress it. After all, level suppression is an unsolvable matter. It's like fire being extinguished by water, and wood being ignited by fire. Understanding this, Lu Chen stopped pretending and rolled up his sleeves, ready to take action. However, the polar bear lord had already noticed this and wouldn't give Lu Chen a chance. It turned around without hesitation and ran. Run. It ran? The six-member team was stunned again. In their impression, most of the bosses in the instance were fierce representatives, and many bosses, when threatened, would even fight to the death. But how could this guy just run away? Is this guy so cowardly? 
If the polar bear lord heard the thoughts of the people, it would definitely be infuriated. How can you call me cowardly? This is called being wise and courageous. Knowing that the opponent's attributes restrain himself, he is indeed a monster, but that doesn't mean he is stupid. Want to run? Have I let you go? Lu Chen's lips curled up, suddenly said, System, analyze the boss. To prevent accidents, Lu Chen decided to first investigate the specific information of the opponent. Analysis completed. White Bear Lord Boss, Level, 20, Rank, Silver, Rarity, 2 Stars, Attack Power, 358, Health, 5890, Skill 1, Wrath of the White Bear, the White Bear Lord Roars, Forming a Domain of Frost Power, Reducing the Movement Speed of Enemies Within the Domain by 30%, Increasing the White Bear Lord's Movement Speed by 30%, and Increasing Ice Elemental Damage by 25%, Skill 2, Lord Summon, the White Bear Lord summons White Bear Puppets, each puppet has 50% of the main body's health and damage. Currently summoning up to 20 white bear puppets, weakness, the white bear lord fears the power of fire and earth elements, its main skills need to be activated through roaring, if it cannot be restrained by elements, it can start with the bear's mouth, evaluation, this is a monster perfectly integrated with the snowy environment, due to its love of eating fish, it has unparalleled bad breath, if you have a sensitive sense of smell, please prepare a gas mask, after reading the system's analysis, Luchen finally understood why this guy's mouth was so stinky, is the mouth the key? Lu Chen took a deep breath, suddenly stretched out his index finger, and a small red flame slowly jumped on the fingertip. Immediately, Lu Chen pointed gently ahead. Flame Dragon's Breath Slash. Buzz. A red flame column burst out from Lu Chen's fingertip, but the target of this attack was not the White Bear Lord. It sealed off the White Bear Lord's retreat with a flame ripple. Because Lu Chen knew that the power of this attack was not enough to kill this White Bear in one blow. Boom. After the retreat was cut off, the white bear lord could only be forced to stop in place, and then turned around to look fiercely at Lu Chen. Stupid human, do you really want to exterminate us all? If that's the case, then we can only fight to the death. The white bear lord turned to Lu Chen, his voice hoarse. Fight to the death? Are you even qualified? Lu Chen sneered. As a boss of the instance, this guy had been severely injured by countless humans, so Lu Chen naturally wouldn't waste words with him. He immediately turned into a flame shadow and rushed towards the white bear lord. Seeing this, the White Bear Lord could only prepare for battle with a grimace. It opened its huge mouth, ready to use the Lord's summon skill, but just as it opened its mouth, Luchin suddenly appeared in front of him, then stretched out his right hand, a vortex of flames condensed in the palm of his hand, and he stuffed it into the White Bear Lord's mouth. Bang! The vortex of flames exploded violently in the White Bear Lord's mouth, instantly blowing it to pieces, almost completely destroying its mouth. If the power of this attack had been a little stronger, its head would have exploded along with it. Woo woo woo. The white bear lord groaned in pain, unable to even scream due to the explosion in its mouth, which was extremely miserable. Seeing this scene, the six-person team in the distance shuddered. Lu Chen's methods were too ruthless. He didn't give the other party a chance to fight back at all. Your mouth is already ruined, let's see how you can use your skills. After disabling the bear's mouth, Lu Chen relaxed and walked up to the white bear lord. The white bear lord rolled on the ground in pain, completely losing its fighting ability. The battle was much easier than Lu Chen had imagined. Of course, this was also thanks to the system's analysis function. If he hadn't known the opponent's weakness in advance, a big battle would have been inevitable. Then Lu Chen stepped forward and stomped on the white bear lord's head, ending its short life. Lu Chen had no psychological burden in killing these monsters. These monsters were inherently opposed to humans. If it weren't for the barrier in the instance, they would have left here and gone to harass the humans long ago. And just after solving the White Bear Lord, a faint light suddenly surged from the White Bear Lord's body into Lu Chen's body. Obtained a moderate amount of experience points. The system prompt sounded, and then Lu Chen felt that his overall attributes had been greatly improved. His level had already reached level 21. Seeing this, Lu Chen quickly brought up the system interface bar. Lu Chen, LV21, Stamina, 315, Health, 6500, Strength, 201, Agility, 150, Spiritual Power, 160, Skills, Flame Dragon Breath Slash, Long Spear Mastery, Dragon Scale Protection, Life Regeneration, Righteous Taunt. Lu Chen's attributes in all aspects were far superior to before, and Lu Chen's free points had already accumulated to 51 points. Free points are similar to attribute bonuses in online games. Some veteran players often like to max out their defense by putting their free points into defense, making them truly sturdy and durable. There are also some who like to maximize their output, choosing to max out their output. In short, free points can be freely allocated, and each veteran player's choices are different. 
Lu Chen's original plan was actually to allocate all the free points to health, so as to have a higher margin of error. But after some thought, Lu Chen decided to temporarily assess the situation and not rush to use the free points. After closing the system interface, Lu Chen noticed a piece of fur in front of the White Bear Lord. This was the equipment dropped by the White Bear Lord after being killed by Lu Chen. Lu Chen used the system to analyze it. White Bear Lord's fur, material can resist extreme cold, belongs to the auxiliary material of wearable equipment. After reading the analysis, Lu Chen lost interest in this thing. Although it had some warmth, it wouldn't fetch much money if taken out, so its overall value was not very high. But just then, the six-person team gradually came to their senses from their shock and ran to Lu Chen. Seeing this group of people staring at the White Bear Lord's fur on the ground, Lu Chen looked at them strangely and said, Do you want this thing? The six-person team nodded vigorously, and the junior sister nervously blushed, pointing at the fur and saying softly, Lu God, I won't hide it from you, we came for this fur. This is the task we accepted. Many students enter instances to level up, and some also do so because of tasks issued by the school. For example, if the school needs a certain material, it will issue similar tasks for students to accept. After accepting the task, as long as they can successfully complete it, they can earn corresponding points and use them to exchange for the resources they need. This way, the school not only obtains what it needs, but the students also thoroughly train themselves, earn points, and it's a win-win situation. I see, then you guys take it. Lu Chen nodded and said. The six-person team did not refuse, and a young man immediately put the fur into his marriage space. After doing all this, everyone felt relaxed and expressed their gratitude to Lu Chen. Lu Chen just waved his hand and turned to leave, leaving behind a majestic figure. You can come find me anytime if there's a similar situation next time. Lu Chen waved his hand and gradually walked away. It was a profitable venture for him this time, not only did he gain the experience of the White Bear Lord, but he also received over a thousand gold coins. What a windfall! Watching Lu Chen leave, the six-person team felt even more grateful. The junior sister, thinking of Lu Chen's previous heroic figure, blushed even more, and couldn't help but clench her legs, feeling extremely agile all over. With a warm current passing through, she felt incredibly comfortable all over. Just imagining it brought her to a climax, it's really hard to imagine how wonderful it would be if she could really have a showdown with Lu God. Lu God is a dragon knight, and knight-type professions often have terrifying stamina. If you were to go to the battlefield with Lu Chen, it would be a fight to the death for both of us. Junior sister, why are you blushing? Someone noticed the junior sister's reaction and couldn't help but worry. No, I'm fine. The mission is completed, let's go report back quickly. The junior sister said, enduring the feeling of shame. Everyone nodded in agreement. Fortunately, they encountered Lu Chen this time, and the entire mission process was much easier than they had imagined. They didn't even have to take action themselves, as Lu Chen took care of everything for them. The over a thousand gold coins spent were truly worth it. Shortly after the group left, on the other side, Lu Chen began to search for the trace of the Iron Arm Ape Lord. Along the way, he encountered some monsters, all of which were below level 20 and were easily killed by Lu Chen due to his advantage in attributes. Although the experience gained from killing these monsters was minimal and almost negligible. After walking for a while, Lu Chen suddenly arrived at a huge ice and snow plain. The plain was vast and empty, but in the center of the plain stood dozens of statues. These statues were all coiled snakes, different from ordinary snakes, with sharp edges all over their bodies as if they were chiseled out by an axe. In the center of these statues stood a huge ice snake statue, estimated to be a terrifying 3 meters in height. The appearance of this statue was vivid and lifelike. Although Lu Chen did not sense any life force, he still felt as if there were invisible eyes watching him, giving him a chilling and uncomfortable feeling. There's something strange here. Lu Chen squinted his eyes, feeling that something was very wrong. System, analyze the statues here. Lu Chen suddenly said experimentally. He felt that there was something strange about these ice sculptures, but he couldn't pinpoint exactly what was wrong. This was where the advantage of the system came into play. Analysis complete. Glacial Snake, Level, 13, Rank, Silver, Rarity, 1 Star, Attack, 158, Health, 1300, Skill, Glacial Amplification, Increases Own Ice Element Damage by 30% and Gains 20% Life Recovery, Weakness, Glacial Snakes are Agile but Fear Devastating Damage, Evaluation, This is a monster with full attack but almost zero defense. Its destructive attack is its disaster. Analysis complete. Glacial Python Boss, Level, 20, Rank, Silver, Rarity, 2 Stars, Attack, 388, Health, 3000, Skill 1, Glacial Amplification, Increases Own Ice Element Damage by 35% and Gains 35% Life Recovery, Skill 2, 
glacial beast, instantly merges into the glacier, then suddenly appears to launch a fierce attack on the enemy, with a built-in killing effect. The first enemy with less than 10% health will be killed, weakness, the glacial python recently had a fierce battle with the iron arm ape lord, and, its abdomen suffered heavy injuries, its strength is only half of its peak period, evaluation, this is a fierce beast in the snow, capable of launching a sudden attack on the enemy in disguise. If you enter its territory, you must be extremely careful, after reading the introduction, Luchin suddenly realized, no wonder he always felt something was off about these statues, turns out they were all disguised. Luchin glanced at the ice snake statue in the center of the plane, his lips curled up, and suddenly took out the dragon fortress and smashed it towards one of the glacial snake statues in front of him. Bang! In fact, the glacial python had already targeted Lu Chen as soon as he entered this place. Originally, it was planning to wait for a perfect opportunity to launch a sudden attack on Lu Chen, but it never expected Lu Chen to make such a move. Bang! In an instant, the statue of the glacial snake turned into debris under the immense force, and a level 13 glacial snake was killed in an instant. Seeing his little brother being killed, the glacial python became furious. Its huge body began to tremble violently, and the frost on its surface instantly fell off, revealing its original skin. The original skin of this creature was a pale blue color, and it appeared semi-transparent overall, with many small blood vessels visible inside. Surprisingly, the blood flowing through these vessels was also a cold, pale blue liquid. Foolish humans, you will pay for your actions. The glacier python spoke, its words sending a chill down the listener's spine as if they had suddenly fallen into an icy purgatory. As the words fell, the massive body of the glacier python leaped high, preparing to unleash the glacier amplification skill. Wait! At the critical moment, Luchin suddenly interrupted the opponent's spellcasting, saying, I don't like fighting. We are both civilized serpents. I think we can discuss things properly, don't you think? You don't like fighting? You killed my brothers and now you say you don't like fighting. Don't play tricks with me. You will die today. The indifferent voice of the glacier python echoed from its blood-filled mouth full of fangs. Luchin sighed lightly, realizing that reasoning was not going to work. Buzz. At the moment when the glacier python was about to reach Lu Chen, a burst of fire surged from Lu Chen's body, instantly raising the temperature of the surrounding area. At the same time, a shadow of a fire dragon appeared behind Lu Chen, roaring towards the sky. Boom. Suddenly, the entire icy world trembled violently, and the glacier in the West Zhou region began to melt. Then the shadow of the giant dragon re-entered Lu Chen's body, but his power had been amplified. With the activation of the flame dragon's affinity skill, Lu Chen's fire magic and combat skills received immediate enhancements in immunity and damage. When the glacier python noticed Lu Chen's change in momentum, its expression immediately changed. It wanted to call for help, this human was cheating in public. But it wasn't over yet. After the flame dragon's affinity ended, Lu Chen spread his legs, clenched his fists in front of his chest, as if he had been constipated for three days. Suddenly, Lu Chen furrowed his brows and roared, Boiling Blood. Boom! Boiling Blood was a legendary night skill that activated the life magnetic field buried within the body, increasing the maximum health by 150% for a full 10 minutes. This was the first time Lu Chen had used it, and his health skyrocketed to a terrifying 8,250. After using Boiling Blood, Lu Chen felt extremely hot, as if flames were flowing within him, and his blood was truly starting to burn. Sizzle. The glacier beneath Lu Chen's feet began to melt, and he appeared like a god of fire, leaving flaming footprints with every step. With his full firepower, Lu Chen's momentum alone was enough to intimidate the glacier python. However, it wasn't over yet. Lu Chen suddenly wielded the dragon fortress, and with the immense power of the flames, the fortress instantly ignited. Boom. The front of the dragon fortress was originally a fierce dragon head. At this moment, the eyes in the dragon head sockets also ignited with red flames, as if the entire dragon had come to life. Holding the dragon fortress, Luchin swung it forcefully towards the plane ahead. Boom! A terrifying ripple of flames soared into the sky, instantly melting the glacier within a few meters, and a giant dragon figure condensed in the air, ultimately crashing onto the plane ahead. After a deafening roar, a massive crater appeared in the glacier, and the ice within the crater was instantly melted, evaporating into steam. In the West Zhou region of the crater, some residual red flames were slowly burning, releasing an extreme power of flames. Seeing this scene, the glacier python and its many minions were stunned in place, as if they had lost their souls. Bang! 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 Suddenly, a violent heartbeat sounded, the heartbeat of the glacier python. It had been so frightened that its blue blood was almost frozen. Was this really the strength that humans should have? Just before this attack by Lu Chen, the glacier python couldn't help but wonder what the outcome would be if this attack hit itself. Could it withstand this attack? 
fire elements naturally restrain ice elements? Obviously, the answer is yes. It definitely couldn't withstand this attack, and might even be completely destroyed by it. After thinking this through, the glacier python changed its previous arrogance and forced a strained smile, saying, Excuse me. After speaking, the glacier python didn't even care about its henchmen, and began to prepare to escape. The more ruthless, the more afraid. And Lu Chen was the one who was more ruthless. He was no longer just ruthless, he was a werewolf. The glacier python knew it was no match for Lu Chen and didn't want to stay here for even a second longer. Am I letting you go? Seeing that his methods had achieved the desired effect, Lu Chen smirked. But when he saw the creature preparing to escape, his expression turned cold again. Upon hearing Lu Chen's words, the glacier python didn't even have the courage to escape, stiffening in place, then slowly twisting its huge snake head. Big brother, you are so mighty, you shouldn't be lacking the experience of dealing with a monster like me, right? There are so many monsters here, you can go find someone else. Please spare me. Seeing that it couldn't escape, the glacier python began to plead for mercy. I have an 80-year-old mother and a 3-year-old child. Stop. Lu Chen frowned and interrupted its performance. I can spare your life, but you have to lead the way. Lead the way? The glacier python's huge eyes filled with a million questions. I want to find the lord of the iron arm apes, Lu Chen said indifferently. Upon hearing the name, the glacier python suddenly realized that the target was not him at all, but the lord of the iron arm apes. Does big brother have a grudge against that guy? The glacier python asked tentatively. Sort of, Lu Chen nodded. The mission card required him to kill the lord of the iron arm apes, so in a sense, the two of them were in a life and death struggle. After hearing Lu Chen's answer, the glacier python fell silent briefly, then its eyes lit up, and in the next moment, it dashed to Lu Chen's side. Ha! Huh? Lu Chen was puzzled. Big brother, please get on, I'll take you to that idiot's territory. That guy dared to provoke big brother, he's asking for death. The glacier python said excitedly. Just a few days ago, he had suffered at the hands of the lord of the iron arm apes, who had come with his henchmen to seize his territory. Although he had ultimately managed to defend his territory, he had suffered heavy injuries in the process. He had been planning to recuperate and find an opportunity to strike back, but he hadn't expected Lu Chen to suddenly appear. If he had known that Lu Chen was going to cause trouble for the other party, he would have taken Lu Chen there without hesitation. Lu Chen hadn't expected the other party to be so excited, but thinking about the analysis from the system earlier, he understood. After all, the injuries on this guy were also caused by the Lord of the Iron Arm Apes. Lu Chen flashed to the ladder's back. The glacier python's eyes sparkled with excitement. Big brother, sit tight, we're hitting the road. Swish. In the next moment, the glacier python's body began to wriggle, instantly transforming into a snowmobile and speeding rapidly across the glacier. Wherever it went, snowflakes flew, leaving a long trail on the glacier. This instance was very large, and besides Lu Chen and the previous six-person team, there were many others hunting monsters here. At this moment, another six-person team was hunting nearby monsters, and their overall strength was not as good as the six-person team Lu Chen had encountered earlier. But their goal was not to hunt bosses, just to kill some low-level monsters for experience. So their strength was sufficient. At this moment, under the joint efforts of the six people, a group of low-level monsters was crushed. The six of them felt refreshed and began to prepare to find the next target. But at this moment, the entire glacier began to shake violently. Ha! Huh? What happened? Can there be an earthquake here too? One of them scratched his head in confusion. Quick, look at what that is. Suddenly, someone with sharp eyes noticed something unusual and tremblingly pointed ahead in fear. The others all looked over and then simultaneously froze in shock. They saw the snow on the glacier ahead being rapidly squeezed to the sides, and a huge creature was charging towards them with bared teeth. Although they were far apart, the six of them could feel the terrifying power of that huge creature. Level 20. The six of them panicked instantly, and the leader anxiously paced in place. This is a level 20 silver boss, the Glacier Python. How did it come here outside its territory? Is it specifically targeting us? The leader's face turned pale with fear as he spoke incoherently. Hearing this, the other five felt even worse. Have they violated some kind of taboo? Can't they just hunt some low-level monsters to level up? What's wrong with that? In the assessment instance, there are special items that can be crushed to safely teleport away in case of danger. But this is a normal instance, there are no similar items here. If they really encounter danger, they're basically done for. As they saw the glacier python getting closer and closer, the six of them were in a panic like ants on a hot pan. They only had the strength of around level 13, and facing a level 20 glacier python was like hitting a stone with an egg. Put. Under this immense fear, the leader suddenly went weak in the knees and knelt on the ground in fear. 
Seeing this, the others also knelt one by one. Please spare us, we didn't mean to come here. We know we were wrong, we'll leave now. Please don't hold us accountable, we're just insignificant ants. The leader cut out desperately, hoping to beg for mercy and make the other party spare them. Although monsters are cruel and bloodthirsty, some of them have some intelligence, so this might have some effect. But what made everyone despair was that even though they had started begging, the glacier python showed no intention of stopping. As the distance between the two sides closed, the six of them could clearly feel the ground shaking. Just when they thought they were about to be crushed into mincemeat, the glacier python suddenly stopped less than three meters in front of them. The six of them looked up at the glacier python, their hearts almost stopping. And at that moment, a figure suddenly emerged from the glacier python. It was Lu Chen. Lu Shun? Seeing Lu Chen, these guys were once again stunned, feeling like they were seeing things. How could Lu Shen appear here? How could he be on this boss? Aren't you Zhou Yun, the classmate who married the pig-headed man? Lu Chen looked at the leader Zhou Yun with some surprise. This guy had married a pig-headed man in the marriage room. The pig-headed man had exceptionally developed biceps and a strong male hormone, with thick sideburns, a true incarnation of a muscle man. So Lu Chen still had some impression of Zhou Yun. However, just as the six of them were bewildered, Lu Chen reached out his hand and smiled brightly, we're all classmates, there's no need to be so polite. Even though I'm an honorary mentor, you don't need to bow to me like this. Now it's a society under the rule of law, and we are all equal, my dear friends. My dear friends? The six of them. Ignoring the strange looks from the six of them, Lu Chen patted the head of the glacier python and said, let's continue on our way. Okay, big brother. The glacier python hoarsely responded, then swiftly carried Lu Chen away from there. As the figure of the man and the snake gradually disappeared, the six-person team finally reacted. This glacier python actually called Lu Chen big brother? Damn! This terrifying boss actually became Lu Chen's little brother? The six of them were completely bewildered. On the other side, not long after parting ways with the six-person team, Lu Chen encountered another six-person team. This team was even more outrageous. When they saw the glacier python charging towards them, they ran for their lives, one of them even awakening an unknown profession. He didn't need any flying props, a pair of huge wings grew on his back, and when he saw the glacier python, his wings flapped wildly like they were powered by engines. Then he broke his bones, falling from a height of 30 meters, although his strong physique as a job changer prevented him from being killed, he still suffered serious injuries. It was only after seeing Lu Chen that the emotions of these people gradually stabilized. The guy who fell from a height of 30 meters and suffered serious injuries even buried his head in the snow and refused to move until he found a three-bedroom apartment in his boots with his toes. After these few incidents, the glacier python finally brought Lu Chen to the territory of the Iron Arm Ape Lord. It was a huge fortress made of ice, with impressive defensive capabilities. Outside the fortress, two apes with white fur all over their bodies stood guard with spears, just like gatekeepers. The spears they held were also carved from ice. Glacier Python? You already suffered a loss in the hands of our boss last time, and you dare to come here and act recklessly. You have some nerve. When they saw the Glacier Python suddenly appear, the two Iron Arm Apes immediately became angry and shouted, Brother, this is the territory of the Iron Arm Ape Lord. The Glacier Python ignored the two guys and respectfully addressed Lu Chen on his back. Lu Chen nodded, glanced at Zhou, and then smiled. Tell your boss that someone is here to drink and write poetry with him, and ask him to come out and greet us. You think you're worthy of seeing our boss. The two Iron Arm Apes were about to mock Lu Chen, but his bright smile suddenly changed. There was a muffled sound. And even the glacier python didn't have time to react before one of the iron arm apes had his head smashed in by Lu Chen. Lu Chen held the dragon fortress and smashed the ape's head into a pulp from top to bottom. Hot blood spurted out, and the other iron arm ape wiped his face and looked down. His hands were already covered in bright red blood. The ape was dumbfounded, trembling all over. I, I'll go inform our boss. The guy now realized that Lu Chen was not to be trifled with and was about to run off to report the situation. Too late. Lu Chen said with a faint smile. The Iron Arm Ape ran towards the fortress, but before he could take a few steps, a huge shield flew towards him. Swish! The shield pierced through the ape's chest. The Glacier Python witnessed the whole process and looked at Lu Chen with admiration. This guy was so cool. Since the last time he was bullied by the Iron Arm Ape Lord, he had dreamed of this scene. In reality, he could never be like Lu Chen, as he was no match for the Iron Arm Ape Lord. But now, seeing Lu Chen being so domineering, as if he had killed the two iron arm apes, he was constantly excited. He rolled on the ground like a big maggot, shouting, Brother is mighty. Brother is awesome. Brother is forever a god. These words came from the bottom of his heart. The glacier python truly admired Lu Chen now. 
he wished he could grow two hands immediately and cheer for Lu Chen. Although he was a human, his attitude towards enemies was no worse than that of these monsters. The monsters indeed had stronger attack capabilities, and because of this, their standards for judging strong individuals were different from humans. They revered the strong. And now Lu Chen has shown his strength. After dealing with the two iron arm vapes, Lu Chen calmly clapped his hands, as if he had just crushed two ants. Just as Lu Chen was about to lead the glacier python to charge into the fortress, a roar suddenly erupted from inside the fortress. You have some nerve, daring to act recklessly in my territory. Boom! The roar was deafening, and then a giant ape, standing five meters tall, charged out from the fortress. This ape was muscular, like a walking mount and it had white armor instead of the fur of the iron-armed apes. Behind it were more than ten iron-armed apes, clearly its followers. Boss, that's the iron-armed ape lord. The glacier python cautiously reminded. Although Lu Chen had felt great satisfaction in killing the two iron-armed apes earlier, he also knew that this one was not to be trifled with. In fact, even without the reminder from the glacier python, Lu Chen could have guessed that this was the iron-armed ape lord. System, analyze the boss. To be safe, Lu Chen used the system's power to analyze the opponent's data. Analysis complete. Iron Armed Ape Lord Boss, Level, 21, Rank, Silver, Rarity, 2 Stars, Attack, 400, Health, 4000, Skill 1, Iron Arm Enhancement, Increases Defense by 25%, Next Attack is Guaranteed to be a Critical Hit, Skill 2, Ape Roar, The Iron Armed Ape Lord Roars, Creating a Sonic Wave Attack that Temporarily Affects the Enemy's Mobility and Greatly Increases Movement Speed, Weakness, the iron-armed ape lord had a battle with the glacier python and has not fully recovered, evaluation, the iron-armed ape. Lord possesses intelligence comparable to humans and is one of the few monsters in the current instance that can build structures. After reading the system's introduction, Lu Chen was no longer flustered. Although the iron-armed ape lord was level 21, one level higher than the glacier python, it was no wonder that the python couldn't defeat it. But Lu Chen was different. Although he was also level 21 and not at an advantage in terms of level, he was a fire element professional. Fire elements naturally counter ice elements. Where is the snow wolf lord's cub? Lu Chen asked the iron armed ape lord with a calm gaze. Foolish human, did you come to my territory to cause trouble for this reason? The iron armed ape lord smiled indifferently, revealing a mouthful of sharp teeth. The little wolf cub has already been eaten by me. Do you have a problem with that, Eden? Hearing this, Lu Chen was at a loss. If the snow wolf cub had really been eaten, then he would not be able to complete the task on the card. Not completing the task and not receiving the reward was secondary, Lu Chen was mainly worried about whether there would be any punishment for not completing the task. System, if I can't complete the task on the card, will there be any punishment? Lu Chen asked with some trepidation. System, this guy chose to remain silent. Lu Chen was so angry that his face turned black, wishing he could drag the system out and give it a good slap. You think you're so great, system? If you have the guts, transform and see if I won't beat you, system? Lu Chen gritted his teeth and called out again with a sense of frustration. But the system still did not respond, as if it had suddenly become mute. Swish. At that moment, a nameless anger began to burn in Lu Chen's chest, making it difficult for him to breathe. Lu Chen was truly on the verge of exploding. Just then, seeing Lu Chen's silence, the iron-armed ape lord began to provoke him again. The taste of that little wolf cub is really good, TSK TSK. Bang! Before it could finish speaking, it felt something flash before its eyes. Then he was hit by a huge force and flew backwards. Bang! Immediately, a series of explosions rang out, and under this huge impact, the Lord of the Iron Arm Ape's body was like a human cannonball. It completely shattered the entire fortress. Seeing this scene, the Lord of the Iron Arm Ape was stunned. I finally built this place to live in. Is it going to be destroyed by you like this? The glacier python shivered as it watched from the side, and this time, it completely infuriated the other party. Sure enough, swish, human, I will make you pay. The lord of the iron arm ape was indeed extremely angry, and his blood and energy instantly surged, and his defense power increased multiple times. He used the skill iron arm strengthening. At this moment, he had entered a state of anger, and now he only wanted to dismantle Lu Chen to relieve his hatred. But what he never dreamed of was that Lu Chen was even angrier than him now. Boom! Lu Chen spread his feet apart, and suddenly a flame rose from his body. As the flame burned, the temperature of the Western Zhou Dynasty began to rise rapidly. The glaciers of the Western Zhou Dynasty also began to melt rapidly under the roasting of this flame. A flame ignited in Lu Chen's deep eyes as he slowly raised his right hand towards the Lord of the Iron Arm Ape in front of him. Boiling blood, activate. Boom! Lu Chen's blood instantly boiled, and a red mist rose from his body, endless flames dancing around him. 
In the glow of the flames, Lu Chin appeared invincible like a flame war god. Sensing this flame aura, the glacier python immediately shrank its snake head. He had personally experienced this move before. He still had lingering fears. The lord of the iron arm ape also frowned, feeling a great threat. This kid turned out to be a fire elemental type professional. Fire restrains ice. The situation was a bit tricky, but the lord of the iron arm ape did not waver because of this. The strengths of both sides were already equal, even if the other party restrained him, this was still his territory. With all his cards on the table, he believed he could still contend with Lu Chen. What he didn't know was that this was far from over. Suddenly, Lu Chen, whose entire body was boiling with flames, raised his palm again. Under the cover of the flames, his roar became extremely majestic and heavy. The intimacy of the flame dragon was triggered. Boom! A huge dragon shadow suddenly appeared behind Lu Chen, and the shadow roared, releasing the might of the dragon god. Then, red flames danced in the air, and a terrifying dragon totem condensed behind Lu Chen. As the totem emerged, countless runes intertwined on Lu Chen's body. Flame damage amplification 70%. Flame damage immunity amplification 70%. A series of words flashed over Lu Chen's head. The lord of the iron arm ape who saw this was dumbfounded. If Lu Chen had only used boiling blood, he still had a chance to defeat Lu Chen. But when the intimacy of the flame dragon came out, he was completely dumbfounded. Increased flame damage, flame damage reduction. This was simply outrageous. How the hell was this even possible? Increased damage and damage reduction. What do you want me to do? This guy is blatantly cheating. The Lord of the Iron Arm Ape suddenly felt an urge to call the police. Now he was almost certain that if the two sides really went to war, he would definitely not be a match for Lu Chen. Wait. Just as Lu Chen was about to go berserk, the Lord of the Iron Arm Ape waved his hand, wanting to make peace. But Lu Chen couldn't hear anything now. Swish. With the blessing of many skills, Lu Chen turned into a stream of light and rushed out. He pressed the Lord of the Iron Arm Ape to the ground and rubbed him frantically. Boom! Critical hit 888. With one punch, the Lord of the Iron Arm Apes had twisted on the spot. Bang! Critical hit 666, another punch, and three of the Lord of the Iron Arm Apes' front teeth were shattered. Bang! Critical hit 999, another punch, and the Lord of the Iron Arm Ape was already a little dazed. His health was also almost depleted, and several of his ribs were shattered by this huge force. Stop! The wolf cub did not die. The lord of the iron arm ape hoarsely shouted. But Lu Ken, who had already killed the red-eyed, couldn't hear his words. He continued to punch fiercely. The lord of the iron arm ape's blood volume dropped wildly, and his heart was filled with despair. He shouted with all his strength, Stop! The wolf cub is still alive, still alive. But Lu Ken still didn't listen, instead finding his voice annoying. He reached into the ape's mouth and pulled out its tongue, then squeezed it hard. The Lord of the Iron Arm Ape's tongue was instantly crushed into minced meat by Lu Ken. The intense pain made the Lord of the Iron Arm Ape unable to bear it any longer, and he immediately closed his eyes forever. A majestic silver-level boss, possessing intelligence comparable to humans, met his end in this way. Gulu. Seeing this cruel scene, even the Glacier Python couldn't help but take a few steps back, feeling extremely fortunate. It was a good thing that it had softened in time and not confronted this big shot head-on, otherwise its fate would probably have been similar to that of the Lord of the Iron Arm Ape. This guy is really ruthless. If one didn't know, they would definitely think he was a monster, because when Lu Ken got angry, he was truly more terrifying than a monster. After the Lord of the Iron Arm Ape was beaten to death, Lu Ken still didn't stop. He whipped the corpse for a while until the anger in his heart gradually subsided. Only then did he gradually regain his composure. Ha! Huh? How did this guy die? When he came to his senses, the flames in Luchin's eyes faded, and he was stunned when he saw the bloody lord of the iron arm ape. The nearby glacier python was even more afraid, realizing that this big shot had truly gone berserk earlier. You, how did your boss die? Lucan suddenly looked at a dozen iron arm apes in front of him and asked. Those dozen iron arm apes had long been frightened out of their wits. When they saw Lucan looking at them, a few of the timid ones immediately passed away in fear. They were scared to death. The rest screamed and ran away using all four limbs. Lu Ken twitched his mouth, then looked at the glacier python. Am I that scary? The glacier python. He didn't want to answer, he wanted to remain silent. Because he was truly afraid that if Lu Ken got upset, he would come and tear him apart too. He was now worried that there might be some punishment for not completing the tasks on the mission card. However, just then, a wolf howl suddenly came from the ruins of the fortress ahead, and a pile of broken ice in front gently shook, and a pure white little wolf trotted out. This is, a snow wolf cub? 
Liu Kan was delighted and quickly went forward to hold the little wolf in his arms. The little wolf seemed to be very spiritual and knew that Liu Kan had come to save it. Therefore, it did not resist, but instead affectionately rubbed its furry little head against Liu Chen's palm. Rubbing the little wolf's head, Liu Kan felt that all of this was somewhat unreal, so he deliberately used the system to analyze it just to be safe. Finally, he confirmed that this little wolf was indeed the Snow Wolf Cub Lord. Congratulations to the host for fulfilling the Snow Wolf Lord's wish and obtaining the Mount Snow Wolf Cub Lord, the system's voice rang out. Then Liu Kan felt that, inexplicably, he seemed to have established an invisible connection with this little wolf, and it had recognized him as its master. Since you have recognized me as your master, then I should give you a name as well, Liu Kan murmured softly as he stroked the little wolf's docile head. As if understanding Lu Chen's words, the little wolf stuck out its tongue, its face full of anticipation. Liu Kan pondered for a moment, then said, from now on, I'll call you little wolf. The little wolf. The glacier python was also stunned. His big brother was truly a master at naming. This name was as good as no name at all. After taming the little wolf, Liu Kan brought her into the mating space. This little guy is still too weak, only at level 3, and very small in size. It's currently impossible to ride on it for travel. We can only wait for this little guy to level up before considering it as a mount. In fact, whether it's a mount or a battle pet, it's the same thing. Normally, special items are needed to assist in taming battle pets or mounts. However, Lu Chen's situation is different. After completing the task card, the loyalty of the little wolf to Lu Chen has reached its maximum. So there is no need for special items, and a connection has been established between the two. It is said that some monsters become quite domineering after reaching a certain level, and some monsters with strong bloodlines can even transform into human forms. I wonder how domineering the little wolf will become after leveling up. Lu Chen said softly, with some anticipation in his heart. After all, although Long Cora is domineering, she cannot be ridden outside. The little wolf is Lu Chen's true mount. If it looks more domineering, Lu Chen will also have some face. After completing the task, Lu Chen is ready to leave. He needs too much experience to level up, and killing all the monsters in the instance is not enough. So for now, Lu Chen is preparing to conserve his strength and will only start to exert himself when he reaches the Magic Martial University. Master, I can't bear to leave you. Otherwise, I can also be your mount and take me away from here. The Glacier Python said somewhat despondently. Although he has only known Lu Chen for a short time, he already admires Lu Chen completely. Naturally, he is reluctant to see Lu Chen leave. As a monster, he can see the end of his life almost at a glance. Ultimately, he cannot escape the fate of being killed by a transfer. After being killed, the monster cube will refresh a new glacier python. However, the new glacier python is another new life, not him. But if he can follow Lu Chen and become Lu Chen's mount, the result will be very different. You are too ugly, so forget about being a mount. Lu Chen immediately rejected the proposal. If there were people here, they would definitely give Lu Chen the middle finger. It is very rare for monsters in the instance to voluntarily submit to the transfer. If the Glacier Python voluntarily submits to another transfer, these transfers will definitely be excited and show off. But Lu Chen immediately rejected the Glacier Python's proposal. Ah, this. Upon hearing Lu Chen's words, the Glacier Python felt quite hurt and silently went to a corner to draw circles with its tail. Is he really that ugly? He always thought he looked quite domineering. First, accompany me for a stroll nearby. Lu Chen sighed and said. Upon hearing this, the Glacier Python became excited and then carried Lu Chen to gallop in the instance. Along the way, Lu Chen looked at the scenery of the Western Zhou Dynasty rapidly retreating, feeling quite complicated. It's not that he despises this creature. The main reason is that he already has Long Kor and Shi Linger, and now he has a Snow Wolf Cub. If there were another Glacier Python, he really couldn't afford it. This creature is so big, it looks like it can eat a lot. Lu Chen is worried about being eaten bankrupt by it. So, the two of them started shuttling in the instance. Soon, Lu Chen encountered a team fighting monsters. However, this team was unlucky and encountered the polar mad bees. Although these monsters are only about level 8 in the size of fists, they appear in large groups, often in the hundreds or thousands. Moreover, these creatures have highly toxic stingers. Once the poison invades the body, it will cause paralysis, and the poison person will eventually die painlessly as the poison takes effect. Therefore, the polar mad bees are a nightmare for many transfers. The reason why this team has been able to hold on until now is mainly because there is a mage in the team who has temporarily blocked the attacks of these polar mad bees by releasing a barrier. But as the polar mad bees continue to attack, the mage's face becomes increasingly pale, obviously unable to hold on for much longer. I can't hold on much longer. The mage suddenly gritted his teeth and said. 
The rest of the people immediately looked despairing when they heard this. Two girls in the team even started crying in fear. Sob, sob, are we going to die here? I don't want to die, I haven't even had a boyfriend in my life, I want to go out and experience sweet love. As these two girls started crying, the rest of the people also felt surrounded by despair and couldn't breathe. Do you need help? However, just then, a faint voice suddenly sounded. Lucian? The team turned around and saw Lucan standing on the glacier python, and they were immediately confused. 1000 gold coins, I can help you solve the current problem, how about it? Lucan extended a finger and smiled. Good. The people looked at each other and nodded frantically. If 1000 gold coins could help them get out of the current crisis, it was definitely worth it. Seeing everyone's agreement, Lucan didn't hesitate either. He immediately extended his index finger and started drawing circles in the air. Buzz. Then a flame gushed out from Luchin's fingertip, instantly surrounding the polar frenzy bees. Critical hit minus 999. Critical hit minus 999. Critical hit minus 999. With a series of numbers jumping out, these hundreds of polar frenzy bees were instantly killed by Lucan. These guys were not high level, their health and defense were already very low, and Lucan also had the advantage of being a fire element to counter them. So it was really just a matter of moving his finger. The crisis was averted, and the mage who had weakened the barrier also collapsed weakly on the ground. He had held on for too long and had reached the limit of his body. Thank you, Lucian. After the team members reacted, they all came to thank Lucan and handed over 1000 gold coins. Lucan put the coins into his marriage space and then smiled brightly. It's a great event, it's a great event. After finishing up, Lucan rode away on the glacier python, leaving the six-member team with astonished faces. Next, Lucan wandered around in the instance, and encountered many teams in danger, but each time he only charged 1000 gold coins. In the end, he successfully helped these teams out of danger. After a busy day, Lucan successfully earned over 10,000 gold coins, instantly becoming rich overnight and becoming a millionaire. After earning enough gold coins, today's instance trip should also come to an end. Parting is always sad, Lucan sat on the back of the glacier python and suddenly said, if you want to avoid being killed by the job changers, I have a way. The glacier python immediately became interested and excitedly asked, boss, what do I need to do? He was willing to follow Lucan because he didn't want to be killed as a monster. Compared to most of the monsters in the instance who only knew about killing, he had his own thoughts and intelligence, and he didn't want to end up like that. After being rejected by Lucan, he had already given up hope. But Luchin's words suddenly reignited his hope. A few minutes later, at the exit of the instance, many job changers returned here to prepare to leave the instance through the teleportation gate. However, just then, the ground suddenly shook violently. What's going on? Is there a monster coming over? There are so many of us here, the other side shouldn't be so stupid, right? Many job changers became nervous. However, just then, as the shaking became more frequent, a huge figure appeared in front of them. Oh my god. Glacier Python. Seeing the Glacier Python, many people became nervous and summoned their marriage partners to prepare to attack. It's Lucian. But more people completely relaxed. After Lucan fulfilled the wish of the Snow Wolf Lord, he wandered around the instance with the Glacier Python, and many people had already seen the Glacier Python. Therefore, they were not afraid. Sure enough, when the Glacier Python approached, Lucan also appeared on the head of the Glacier Python. Everyone, I am here to announce something to you. In the future, if you encounter danger in the instance, you can ask this guy for help. Luching jumped down from the glacier python and pointed at it, saying, he will help you as much as he can, but from now on, you must not treat him as a monster, understand? The information in Luching's words was too much for everyone to process at once, but when they reacted, they all nodded in agreement. The glacier python was also a level 20 existence, and to be honest, many people didn't even have the ability to lay a hand on it. On the contrary, if they encountered danger in this instance and could seek help from it, it would indeed greatly facilitate them. They had no reason to refuse. At this moment, the Glacier Python was also extremely happy, as he finally knew what Luching meant by his method. Big brother, I really don't know how to thank you. The Glacier Python's eyes were filled with tears of gratitude. Are you a male or female? Stop being so coy, Luching said disdainfully, then added, just stay here and work well, I guarantee you'll be comfortable. After that, Luching turned and walked into the teleportation gate without looking back. To be honest, Luching was not the kind of person who was compassionate, but he got along with this creature, and besides, it had helped him find the Iron Arm Ape Lord. Especially since this creature was not like other monsters that only knew how to kill. So if he could help Luching a little, he naturally would. 
After leaving the teleportation gate, Luching first arrived at the restaurant outside the school, where he ordered a table full of food. Then he called Long Kor and Jilinger out. When the two women came out of the marriage space, they saw a table full of delicious food and immediately stopped playing the game to start eating. Long Kor, needless to say, had a hearty appetite. But what surprised Luching was that Jilinger, who looked so cute, also ate quite vigorously. However, a good appearance was an advantage, and no matter how hearty her eating was, she still looked quite cute. While eating, Luching didn't forget about the little wolf, and brought it out of the marriage space as well. Then he picked up a piece of steak with chopsticks and threw it to the wolf. However, the wolf only sniffed the steak with its nose, took a few bites, and then stopped eating, instead curiously looking at the white wine in Luching's cup. Do you want to drink? Luching asked, lifting the white wine. Oh whoa! The little wolf let out a howl its tail wagging like a propeller, showing its excitement. Seeing this, Luching handed the wine glass over. It was rare for a mount to like drinking. The little wolf sniffed the wine glass, then stuck out its little tongue and licked it, but after just a few licks, the little wolf started swaying from side to side. Then with a thud, it fell to the ground. Is it drunk already? Luching couldn't help but laugh. It seemed that this little guy couldn't hold its liquor. After putting the little wolf back into the marriage space, the two wives had finished eating, and after paying the bill, Luching left the restaurant with the two women. Where did all this gold come from, did you rob a bank? Full from the meal, Long Kor suddenly asked, her hands behind her head. She had been to this world more than once and had her own understanding of some things. What's a bank, Kor? Jilingo asked curiously. It's like a guild or something, Long Kor thought for a moment and said. Ah, Jilinger's mouth opened slightly in surprise, Master, did you really rob a bank? Luching rolled his eyes and said impatiently, Do I seem like that kind of person to you? I just took the opportunity to make some extra money in the instance. After saying this, Luching added, We don't lack gold for the time being, so to celebrate, I'll take you to buy some clothes later. Hearing that she could buy clothes, Long Kor's eyes lit up with excitement. She had seen many nice clothes on her phone last time, something called cosplay outfits. She had wanted to try a few sets for a long time, because it was said that boys liked this kind of thing. Although Jilinger didn't understand as much, like all girls, she also liked pretty clothes. So I'm very happy. Soon the three of them arrived at a large shopping mall, and Long Kor first went to a special cost store and bought several sets of clothes. One set is for my Shiranui. One set is for 2B. One set is for Rem. Although these three sets of clothes cost nearly 500 gold coins in total, Lu Chen felt it was worth it. I wonder what it would be like to see Long Kor wearing these three sets of clothes. Just imagining it made Lu Chen a little unable to bear it. At that time, he quietly took out his phone and ordered a box of six flavor replenishing pills to prepare to replenish his body. As for Ji Linger, she didn't have such fancy thoughts, and the clothes she bought were relatively normal. After leaving the mall, the group did not immediately return to the villa, but instead wandered around in the nearby alley. Lu Chen was quite happy to have earned 10,000 gold coins in the instance today, and it was rare for him to splurge, preparing to celebrate. There were a lot of people in the alley, and there were various food stalls from the Western Zhou Dynasty. After walking for a while, Long Kor and Ji Linger each had a string of sugar-coated haws in their hands. With the company of beautiful women and the lively atmosphere, Lu Chen suddenly felt a sense of peace and contentment. It seemed nice to continue living such a plain and peaceful life. However, at that moment, a suspicious man suddenly came up to Lu Chen and whispered, Friend, do you need special services? Special services? Lu Chen realized and pointed to the two women beside him with some annoyance, Do you think I need special services? The man had actually noticed the two women long ago, and it was no exaggeration to say that both of them were not inferior to top-tier celebrities in terms of looks and temperament. These two are indeed outstanding, rare beauties in the mortal world, but as the saying goes, the grass is always greener on the other side, my friend. Lu Chen's mouth twitched, and he said calmly, get lost. All right. Sensing that Lu Chen was not to be messed with, the man immediately nodded and bowed before turning and running away. Lu Chen rubbed his head, feeling a bit of a headache. The originally good atmosphere had now been completely ruined. Ji Linger tugged at Lu Chen's sleeve, her bright eyes exceptionally clear and lively under the moonlight. Master, what does the man mean by special services? Lu Chen cleared his throat and didn't know how to answer. Long Kor then pulled Ji Linger aside and whispered to her for a while. Lu Chen didn't know what Long Kor had said to Ji Linger, but the delicate little face of Ji Linger visibly blushed at a rapid speed. The levels of marriage partners range from low to high, ordinary, rare, outstanding, epic, legendary, and mythical. Although the level does not represent everything, there is actually another level before ordinary. That is, not up to standard. 
For the transcenders who sign contracts with such marriage partners, it is basically very difficult for them to achieve anything significant, and even reaching level 10 is quite challenging for them. In this situation, some transcenders with relatively attractive marriage partners, due to the pressure of life or resources, often choose to let their marriage partners engage in some special industries. This is all very normal. Lu Chen speculated that the special service mentioned by the man just now should be the personal service of these types of marriage partners. However, with Long Kor and Ji Ling around, Lu Chen didn't have much interest in such matters. After all, who would leave two seemingly beautiful wives and go out to have fun? The group continued to wander outside for a while before returning to the villa to sleep. After freshening up, Ji Linger returned to her room to rest early. As for Lu Chen, he naturally slept in the same room as Long Kor. After coming out of the bathroom, Lu Chen covered himself with the blanket and lay on the bed, pretending to be asleep. At the same time, he silently recited, Namo Amitba, evil retreat, evil retreat. However, what was meant to happen eventually happened. With a creak, the door was gently pushed open. Darling. Then Lu Chen heard a seductive voice. When Lu Chen opened his eyes, he saw Long Kor, dressed in a Mai Shiranui cosplay outfit, had somehow climbed onto the bed. Her left hand was placed in front of her pink lips, while her right hand was propped up on the bed, smiling at him. Lu Chen's heart tightened instantly, knowing that he was in for a tough night, so he decided not to avoid it. As the ancients said, since he couldn't escape, he might as well enjoy it. With this in mind, Lu Chen slowly closed his eyes after pulling back the covers and lying on the bed. Come on, start your performance, don't pity me because I'm delicate. A sleepless night. The next morning, Lu Chen still unsurprisingly stared at the dark circles under his eyes. But what surprised him was the scent he smelled as soon as he got up. After getting dressed and going to the living room, Lu Chen saw a bowl of noodles already placed on the table. Are you hungry? Eat something quickly, Long Kor said sweetly as she walked out of the kitchen wearing an apron. Lu Chen rubbed his eyes, suspecting that he was dreaming. This girl used to be irresponsible after finishing things. This time, she actually made breakfast for him? Lu Chen suddenly went to the window and looked outside. Long Kor asked in confusion, What's wrong with you? Lu Chen replied, I'm checking if the sun is rising from the west. Long Kor rolled her eyes and said, Eat breakfast quickly, don't be late again later. Lu Chen nodded, picked up the bowl and chopsticks, and took a bite, finding the taste really good. He didn't expect this little dragon girl to be such a good cook. I used to stay at home playing games a lot, so I can cook, Long Kor said, her hands squeezing two puddings in front of her. Is it delicious? Long Kor asked. Delicious, Lu Chen nodded. Long Kor smiled and said, if it's delicious, eat more. After finishing the meal, Lu Chen put Long Kor and Ji Linger into the marriage space, then went to school. However, when Lu Chen arrived outside the school, he noticed something unusual. It was almost time for class, but many students were gathered at the school gate, whispering to each other. Lu Chen guessed it was another student confessing their love, or a partner discovering a transferer's infidelity and causing a scene, or someone recently obtaining a treasure. Lu Chen wasn't interested in such commotion and walked into the school as if no one else was around. However, at that moment, a familiar voice suddenly sounded from the crowd. Lu Chen, dare to challenge me one-on-one? -on -one? Swish. After this statement, the crowd in front voluntarily made way, and Lin Ying walked out with a cold smile on his face. Seeing Lin Ying, Lu Chen was a little dazed and didn't come to his senses. The matter with Ji Yan's young bird had already ended, and he thought this guy had left Jinsha City. He didn't expect him to still be here. Lu Chen also didn't expect the other party to challenge him actively. Without thinking, it must be because of Jiang Shushur. Upon hearing Lin Ying's words, many students who were watching the commotion also looked at Lu Chen, expecting his reaction. Lin Ying was a level 60 powerhouse, and being challenged by such an opponent, anyone would normally panic, right? But to everyone's surprise, Lu Chen remained quite calm at the words, even showing a mocking smile. What's with that expression? Do you look down on me? Lin Ying frowned and questioned. I'm just laughing at how shameless you are. You're level 60, and I'm only level 21. I really don't know where you get the nerve to challenge me, Lu Chen shrugged, and his words resonated with the crowd. The gap in levels between Lu Chen and Lin Ying was too significant, and their strengths were severely mismatched. In this situation, Lin Ying's challenge to Lu Chen seemed very disrespectful. Most people present knew the reasons behind the conflict between Lin Ying and Lu Chen, and those who didn't had learned about it through recent rumors. For a moment, everyone's impression of Lin Ying changed slightly. To publicly challenge someone with a much lower level for the sake of snatching someone else's girlfriend was quite a move. This kind of person, no matter how talented or high level, with such a narrow mind, is disgraceful. It sounds good to call it a challenge, but in harsher terms, Lin Ying's behavior is bullying. 
Hearing the discussions of the crowd, Lin Ying's expression gradually became ugly, gritting his teeth as he looked towards Lu Chen. I can suppress my strength to the same level as yours. But Lu Chen completely ignored this guy, waving his hand as if it didn't matter, saying, I know you're challenging me to humiliate me. I admit I'm not your match. You're better than me. I'll just admit defeat, okay? Lu Chen's indifferent attitude made Lin Ying so angry that he almost spat blood. Level 60 job changers are not common in the entire Xia country, and being able to challenge oneself is the highest honor. He never expected that when he voluntarily challenged Lu Chen, Lu Chen would refuse so decisively. Originally, he had planned to defeat Lu Chen and prove himself, making Jiang Shishir feel the difference between them. But now, because of Lu Chen's actions, he had become a laughingstock. This huge gap was unbearable for Lin Ying. When he was in the capital, he was a prominent figure wherever he went, and he was also a hero in the Tianlu Forbidden Land. Since coming to Jinsha City, everything had changed. First, his limelight was stolen by Lu Chen, then the woman he had his eye on, Jiang Shishir, was taken away by Lu Chen. And now, he was being completely ignored by Lu Chen. He was clearly a level 60 powerhouse, so how did he end up in this sorry state? Lu Chen, as a mythical level professional and a dual job changer, do you not even have the courage to fight me? Lin Ning gritted his teeth, trying to provoke Lu Chen. Although he knew his behavior was embarrassing, he couldn't just leave like this, or it would be even more humiliating. Lu Chen furrowed his brow, thinking that this guy was really persistent, but before he could say anything, a figure suddenly appeared. That's enough. When the newcomer appeared, the noise in the scene quieted down a lot, because the newcomer was Principal Li Zhang. Seeing Li Zhang, Lin Ning also restrained himself a lot. Since the other party was capable of being the principal, his level must not be lower than his. Lin Ning, Lu Chen is my student at Yijong. Although he is a mythical level professional and a dual job changer, he is only level 21 now. Even if you suppress your strength, he is still not your match. For the sake of my face, let's drop this matter, okay? Li Zhang looked at Lin Ying's wrinkled face and showed a warm smile. Since Principal Li has spoken, I naturally have to give face. Lin Ying forced a smile. Although he was a million times unwilling, Li Zhang had already spoken, and if he didn't give face to the other party, he would really be underestimating him. Kid, you're lucky this time, but this matter is not over. Dare to snatch a woman from me, Lin Ning, and you won't have it easy. Lin Ning suddenly looked at Lu Chen and transmitted his voice secretly, if you have the guts, stay in Jinsha City. Once you leave, I have ways to deal with you. After saying this, Lin Ning snorted and turned to leave. Lu Chen completely ignored this guy. A level 60 powerhouse actually held a grudge against a level 21 student, which showed what kind of person Lin Ning was. Last time at the Jinsha defense line, Jiang Shishir clearly expressed her dislike for this guy, but he still wouldn't let go. Lu Chen was somewhat glad that he was a boy. If he were a girl, he would undoubtedly be a beauty with the power to overthrow cities and nations. If he had the misfortune to encounter a pursuer like Lin Ying, who was almost a pervert, it would be really uncomfortable. After sending Lin Ying away, everyone knew there was no more good show to watch and left, heading to the academy to prepare for class. As for Lu Chen, he had originally planned to leave, but was stopped by Li Zhang. Lu, come to my office, I have something to discuss with you. Ying as career changers had to go to universities outside, such as the Magic Martial Arts University, which had many training methods tailored to different professions. There were also many specialized training equipment. As for a place like Yijong, career changers could only experience simple basic training here. If they wanted to truly learn something, they had to go to the Magic Martial Arts University. After leaving the school, Lu Chen suddenly felt a bit empty in his heart, and then he suddenly remembered that he hadn't seen Zhang Lan for some time. Lu Chen took out his phone, intending to send a message to Zhang Lan, inviting her to dinner at his place tonight. Last time, Zhang Lan treated him, and now that he had money, he also intended to return the favor. But after some thought, Lu Chen decided not to send the message. Because he didn't know what Zhang Lan was doing, after all, she was his teacher, and the relationship was a bit awkward. He was afraid of affecting her. Anyway, this beautiful class teacher would also go to the Magic Martial Arts University to teach in the future, so there was no need to worry about not seeing her again. After wandering around for a few minutes, Lu Chen arrived at the entrance of Ijong. He looked back at the school gate, and in the front of the gate stood a statue of a large one. After this departure, it might not be long before he would set off for Kyoto to go to the Magic Martial Arts University, and he didn't know when he would come back next time. Life is often like this, often starting a new life without having time to say goodbye. Lu Chen still felt a bit reluctant to leave a place where he had lived for so long. Wait until September 8th when autumn comes, after my flowers bloom, I, Lu Chen, will be the strongest career changer in the world. Lu Chen clenched his fists and said to himself in his heart, 
The reason he wanted to become stronger was not because of any great ambition, on the contrary, Lu Chen didn't have any lofty aspirations, he just felt that the world was too dangerous, and only strong strength could bring a sense of security. Of course, there was another reason now, if he had strength, he could rely on his own power to obtain the fire elemental crystal core, so he could solve the outbreak of fire elements in his body. Just as Lu Chen was preparing to leave here and return to his villa, he suddenly received a call from Jiang Shushur. Lu, thank you for the last time, if it weren't for you, Lin Ning would definitely have pestered me. As soon as the call was connected, Jiang Shushur's gentle voice came through. It's nothing, I didn't really help you much. Lu Chen shook his head. There was a moment of silence on the other end of the phone, and Jiang Shushur asked cautiously, Lin Ning came to me a while ago, and she might come to you later. I asked my brother to help pay attention to the situation here, are you okay now? Although he knew that the other party's concern for him might be because of his identity as her fake boyfriend, Lu Chen still enjoyed being cared for by a beautiful woman. I'm fine. Lu Chen smiled. That's good, um, I already have some information about the fire elemental crystal core you wanted. I originally wanted to use the power of my family to buy this fire elemental crystal core, but the other party refused to sell it. Not for sale? Lu Chen frowned, it seemed that it would be difficult to obtain the fire elemental crystal core from Jiang Shushur. It seemed that this fire elemental crystal core was indeed hard to come by, even Jiang Shushur couldn't get it using the Jiang family's connections. However, Lu Chen was not too disappointed, he knew that this matter was very tricky, and he didn't pin all his hopes on Jiang Shushur. But at this moment, Jiang Shushur's tone changed again, although the other party is not selling, they have also set their own conditions. They can give away this fire elemental crystal core unconditionally, but the condition is that you must personally negotiate with them. I have to negotiate with them in person? Lu Chen was somewhat puzzled by the other party's meaning. If the fire elemental crystal core were taken out for sale, it would definitely make a big profit. Instead of selling it, the other party wanted to give it to him for free, with the condition that he had to negotiate in person. What kind of operation is this? Who is the one offering the fire elemental crystal core? Lu Chen asked after thinking for a moment. Supreme Peak, Jiang Shushur said in a deep voice. Supreme Peak. When he heard these two words, the image of GZ's iconic headlights involuntarily appeared in Lu Chen's mind. Last time, GZ had just taken some of the flame power of Zhilinger from him, saying that she wanted to use it for forging equipment. Now, the condition of meeting with him was probably for this matter. Supreme Peak's influence covers the entire Xia country. Their words are quite reliable, but whether you go or not is up to you, Jiang Shushur said softly. I'll go, Lu Chen said. At the moment, the fire elemental power in Lu Chen's body was showing signs of being somewhat out of control, and he didn't have much time to delay. I'm sorry, I promised to help you get the fire elemental crystal core by pretending to be my boyfriend, but I broke my promise. Jiang Shushur said with deep remorse. It's okay, this matter itself is very tricky. I know you did your best. Give me their contact information later. I don't have much to do recently, so I can go and take a look, Lu Chen said softly. Hearing Lu Chen's nonchalant tone, Jiang Shushur felt even more guilty, thinking that Lu Chen didn't want her to feel guilty, so he deliberately said that. Unconsciously, she was moved, and she didn't even realize that she had developed feelings for Lu Chen. In fact, Jiang Shushur was overthinking it. Lu Chen himself was a very optimistic person, and besides, there was a chance to obtain the fire elemental crystal core. Shortly after hanging up the phone, Jiang Shushur recommended a contact person to Lu Chen. The contact person's name was written prominently on it. GZ. TSK TSK. Unexpectedly, the contact person recommended by Jiang Shushur turned out to be this red-haired mature woman. Lu Chen first saved the number and then dialed it. Hmm. As soon as the call was connected, a mature and charming voice came through. I'm Lu Chen. Miss G, we met last time. You shouldn't have forgotten me, right? Lu Chen teased. So it's Lu student. Since you took the initiative to call me, it seems that that girl from the Jung family has already told you the truth, right? GZ giggled, and even over the phone, Lu Chen could imagine the trembling headlights. I know everything, Lu Chen said, dispelling the jumbled thoughts in his head. Tonight at 9 o'clock, VIP room 888 in the Heavenly Palace in Kyoto. Let's not be late, GZ said with a smile. Ah, tonight? Lu Chen was somewhat surprised. I'll send a plane to pick you up later. It will arrive in Jinsha City in about an hour. Lu student, you can start preparing now. Lu Chen was somewhat surprised. He didn't expect this red-haired mature woman to be so decisive. According to the agreement, Lu Chen needed to wait at the airport in Jinsha City, but it would take an hour for the plane to arrive here. 
So, during this time, Luchin planned to do something he had been thinking about for a long time but hadn't had time to do. That is, to save money. Last time, Jeezy took away a strand of Zhilinger's flame power and gave Lu Chen 3,000 gold coins and a bank card from the Flower Sea Bank as a reward. Later, in the instance dungeon, Lu Chen earned 10,000 gold coins. Lu Chen still hadn't saved these gold coins. They were all stored in the marriage space, and every time he went out to spend money, he had to take it out of the marriage space and settle the bill in cash. This was a bit troublesome, so this time, Lu Chen planned to deposit all the gold coins into the Flower Sea Bank. The Flower Sea Bank is spread throughout the Xia Kingdom and is one of the few major banks. This bank is not open to everyone. To do business here, one needs to have a net worth of over a hundred million. This is a height that ordinary people find difficult to reach in their lifetime. In a sense, just having this card is a status symbol. When Lu Chen arrived at the Flower Sea Bank with his bank card, he received VIP treatment. Despite wearing ordinary and cheap clothes, the service was still very good. This shows that the Flower Sea Bank, which is spread throughout the entire Xia Kingdom, indeed has something special. At least they don't judge people by their appearance. When Lu Chen took out his bank card to deposit money, he was personally received by the manager. People who can come to the Flower Sea Bank to deposit money must have at least several million gold coins. But when Lu Chen took out over 9,000 gold coins to deposit into his account, the smile on the manager's face froze. Bringing a Flower Sea Bank card to deposit money at the Flower Sea Bank, and only depositing over 9,000 gold coins? It's as rare as a multi-millionaire not going to a five-star restaurant and instead begging for food on the street. However, the manager didn't say much, but instead gave Lu Chen a meaningful look and personally handled his business. The Flower Sea Bank's services are very well in place, and the efficiency is very fast, with the business being completed in just a few minutes. After completing everything, Lu Chen went to the airport to wait. There is only one airport in the center of Jinsha City, which is actually two airports connected together. One is a normal airport and the other is a private airport. Sir, if you want to go to the private airport, you need to buy a ticket for a hundred gold coins each, the receptionist said enthusiastically, even throwing a flirtatious look at Lu Chen. With Lu Chen's looks, he definitely has the qualifications to live off others. If he hadn't stuck to his principles, he wouldn't have had to go and do odd jobs before, but could have gone straight to the bed of a rich woman. Okay, Lu Chen nodded and handed over his Flower Sea Bank card. After seeing the Flower Sea Bank card, the receptionist became even more enthusiastic. It seems that the handsome young man in front of her is definitely a hidden second-generation rich person. After swiping the card, Lu Chen received a notification on his phone for a hundred gold coins. Lu Chen felt extremely distressed. GZ didn't say anything about having to buy the ticket to the private airport himself. He also didn't know if he could get reimbursed for the hundred gold coins. Hey handsome, do you want to exchange contact information? Don't look at me as the receptionist here, my ancestors were actually in the massage industry. If you're not feeling well, you can call me, and I can come to your place to relieve your worries, the receptionist handed back the bank card to Lu Chen, and then blinked shyly. Lu Chen's mouth twitched, and he quickly declined and left. Although the appearance of this person is not bad, the fact that she can casually say such things makes it easy to guess that she has a low status. Lu Chen hasn't reached the point of being so desperate. The private airport has a dedicated lounge that provides free snacks and tea, which slightly comforted Lu Chen's aching heart. Lu Chen went to the lounge and ate voraciously, even calling Long Kor and Ji Ling'er to join him. Of course, Lu Chen didn't forget Little Wolf and called him out to give him a piece of imported snowflake beef. Since everything here is free, why not take advantage of it? It's not that Lu Chen lacks class, but after living in poverty for so long, he has developed a mentality of not wasting anything. The sight of the three people and a wolf eating together stunned the other people in the lounge. Where did these guys come from? It seems like they came here specifically to eat at the buffet. After a two and a half hour eating session, Lu Chen sat on the sofa, resting with a round belly and a toothpick in his mouth. Long Kor and Ji Ling'er went back to the marriage space to continue playing games. The little wolf also went back to sleep, leaving Lu Chen feeling a little bored here. Fortunately, the plane came quickly. When Lu Chen boarded the plane, Although he was mentally prepared, he was still quite shocked. The plane was not big, but it had everything one could need. It was not only luxurious but also extravagant. There were leather seats, a kitchen with a star chef, an indoor swimming pool, and even a special bedroom. If it weren't for the airplane windows, Lu Chen would have thought he was in a five-star hotel. Surprisingly, there was also free food, and it was all top-notch. Imported caviar, three limited-edition bottles of red wine. Exquisite appearance. Top-notch taste and most importantly, all free. After eating and drinking their fill, the plane was almost at its destination. Lu Chen had to support himself on the armrest as he got off the plane. 
Because he was too full, he had to lean against the wall. After getting off the plane, Lu Chen suddenly realized the difference between Jinsha City and Kyoto. Although both were cities, Kyoto, as the capital of Dixia, was naturally more prosperous than Jinsha City. Just the size of the airport alone was several streets ahead of Jinsha City. Lu Chen casually walked to a corner, about to call GZ. A figure with red hair suddenly walked towards him from a distance, and with each step, a certain part of her body would tremble violently. With such iconic headlights, Lu Chen didn't need to see her face to know who it was. GZ came to Lu Chen with a smile, still as mature and charming as when they first met. I came all this way, I should give you a welcome, shall we go eat first? GZ blinked at Lu Chen. Lu Chen had eaten so much on the way that he felt like he was about to burst, and when he heard GZ's words, his stomach started to churn uncontrollably. Then, ugh, Lu Chen also wanted to vomit out a three-story villa with his toes. It was just because he had eaten too much just now, and now he felt physically uncomfortable at the mention of eating. But fortunately, Lu Chen didn't actually vomit, it was a false alarm. Jeezy looked at Lu Chen in surprise, unsure of what to do, hesitating for a long time, and not knowing what to say. Lu Chen scratched his head and coughed lightly, smiling, let's skip the meal, I'm quite practical, let's focus on the main business. Practical? Jeezy's mouth twitched. She agreed that Lu Chen was a money lover, but she was the first to disagree that this guy was practical. But since Lu Chen was so straightforward, GZ didn't beat around the bush and said, we can give you the fire element crystal core for free, but the condition is that you need to help us with something. Okay, Lu Chen agreed. Aren't you going to ask what we need you to do? GZ was a little surprised. Lu Chen smiled brightly, as long as Miss GZ doesn't force anyone into prostitution, and it's not something too excessive, I won't refuse. Force anyone into prostitution? Hmm. GZ glanced at Lu Chen and thought that he indeed had the capital to be forced into prostitution. If she were a madam of a certain establishment, this handsome guy would definitely be her first choice. If she packaged Lu Chen a little, specifically to provide services for various wealthy women, the business would definitely be booming. She calmly withdrew her gaze and smiled, don't worry, the task we want you to do won't put you in a difficult position. Lu Chen nodded, that's good. Immediately, the two of them left the airport. As soon as they arrived outside the airport, Lu Chen saw a Rolls Royce Phantom parked by the roadside. The extended body of the car was quite eye catching under the streetlights, even though there were many other cars parked there, all with four wheels and a steering wheel. Only this car stood out. It was indeed expensive. Get in, GZ said, opening the rear door. Lu Chen didn't hesitate and got in, making room for GZ. To his surprise, GZ didn't get in. Instead, after Lu Chen got in, she closed the door. Ha! Huh? Lu Chen blinked and asked, Miss GZ, aren't you getting in? I don't need to. My task tonight is to escort you here, GZ said, smiling at Lu Chen. Ha! Huh? Lu Chen was a bit puzzled. Just then, an excited voice came from the driver's seat. Hello, Lu, it's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Lu Chen looked up and saw a girl in a combat jacket sitting in the driver's seat. Her lively eyes were full of excitement as she stared at him intently. Although she had a delicate appearance, she looked at him as if he were prey. When Lu Chen got into the car, he noticed someone in the driver's seat, but he didn't pay much attention at the time, thinking it was the driver. But now, it was clear that she was not a driver. What driver dresses like that? Who are you? It's my fault. I was so excited to see you, Lu, that I forgot to introduce myself, the girl said with a wry smile, extending her fair hand and showing her white teeth. I'm Duan Xiaoqiao, a black gold level artisan of the celestial creation. Lu Chen shook her hand symbolically. It was soft and smooth, very comfortable. It was hard to imagine that she was an artisan of the celestial creation. In Lu Chen's impression, artisans mostly did physical work, and it was not worthy of the profession if their hands didn't have calluses. But this girl was not only an artisan but also a black gold level artisan, which surprised Lu Chen. Although he didn't understand the levels of the celestial creation, he had heard that a black gold level artisan was the highest level. However, what Lu Chen was more concerned about was why someone from the celestial creation was here. He looked at GZ outside with a puzzled expression. GZ smiled and said, actually, the fire elemental crystal core this time was provided by the celestial creation. They also asked for you. We, as the peak, are just acting as a bridge. Lu Chen nodded. After all, he had never had any contact with the celestial creation, so they asked the peak to build a bridge between them. But whether it was the celestial creation or the peak, as long as he could get the fire elemental crystal core, it didn't make much difference. Moreover, the celestial creation was a large organization, and it was also an organization backed by the Xia kingdom, so they wouldn't do anything harmful to him. So Lu Chen wasn't too nervous. 
Now that you've been brought here, I'll take my leave. If you ever feel lonely and need company, you can call me anytime, Jeezy said, winking at Lu Chen before leaving. Lu Chen twitched his mouth. He was sure this woman was definitely a strange one. Let's go, Duan Xiaoqiao in the driver's seat said, driving away. Where are we going? Lu Chen asked curiously. To the hotel, Duan Xiaoqiao replied. Hotel? Lu Chen's mind went blank. It was dark and windy, and a man and a woman were going to a hotel? Lu Chen suddenly felt a chill. Could this woman have ulterior motives? It wasn't that Lu Chen was narcissistic, but such things had happened before. At that time, Lu Chen had not yet awakened to his profession and was still working part-time at the construction site. After working overtime at the construction site, it was already 10 o'clock at night. In order to save money, Lu Chen rode a shared bike home, and because his clothes were wet with sweat from working at the construction site, he took off his shirt to cool down. The distinct muscle lines were more three-dimensional under the moonlight. At that time, he caught the attention of three wealthy women driving a Porsche. The three women followed Lu Chen all the way, constantly asking for his contact information and making indecent proposals. Eventually, Lu Chen managed to shake off these female thugs by using a small alley. Don't worry, going to the hotel is just to find a secluded place to study the power of the flames inside you, Duan Xiaoqiao said with a smile, holding the steering wheel without looking back. Hearing this, Lu Chen relaxed a bit. A few minutes later, the Rolls Royce stopped outside a five-star hotel. Get out of the car, Duan Xiaoqiao said after parking the car. Lu Chen nodded and followed Duan Xiaoqiao out of the car. However, as soon as he got out of the car, Lu Chen was stunned in place. Because after getting out of the car, Lu Chen discovered that this woman was actually wearing a pair of white stockings on her lower body. Although white stockings were not as mysterious and enticing as black stockings, they had their own charm. If black stockings represented mature allure, then white stockings represented cleanliness and purity. Combat boots with white stockings. Hmm. Should he mention that this woman was quite good at dressing? However, it was quite regrettable that although this woman's long legs were even longer than Zhang Lan's, her slender jade feet were wrapped in white stockings, exuding a sense of sensuality, and could even rival Long Kor, but the scale of the car lights was still slightly lacking compared to Long Kor. However, Lu Chen had seen too many beautiful women, so he was just nitpicking. In fact, Duan Xiaoqiao was quite impressive overall. What's wrong? Duan Xiaoqiao noticed that Lu Chen was standing still after getting out of the car and didn't understand. Then she noticed that he was staring at her white stockings. Immediately, a blush rose on her pretty face, but she quickly suppressed it. Do they look good? Duan Xiaoqiao teased. They look good, Lu Chen instinctively nodded in response, but in the next moment, his pupils suddenly shrank. He had just realized that Duan Xiaoqiao was smiling at him. With Lu Chen's thick skin, his face didn't just turn red. This was their first meeting, and he was staring at the woman's legs. It was really bad and seriously damaged his image as a gentleman. However, despite this, Lu Chen still didn't look away. Who was Lu Chen? He wasn't afraid of such a small scene. Instead, he looked at Duan Xiaoqiao and said seriously, Miss Duan, why are you staring at me? They do look good. White stockings suit your temperament. Originally, Lu Chen was expected to look away or change the subject, but unexpectedly, he maintained eye contact with Duan Xiaoqiao and made a straightforward comment, leaving her at a loss. She had met many people over the years, but she had never met someone like Lu Chen, who was so straightforward and openly complimented her. However, she didn't mind Lu Chen's behavior because she could tell that he was simply admiring her, and he didn't try to hide it after being discovered. This kind of genuine person was much better than those fake gentlemen. Let's go, I'll show you around the hotel when we get there, Duan Xiaoqiao said, leaving behind a suggestive remark and leading the way to the hotel. Show him around the hotel? Lu Chen's throat rolled, and he felt his blood boiling. Was this woman going to seduce him like a concubine with wine later? Lu Chen immediately dismissed these messy thoughts and shook his head. He wasn't just anyone. Was she testing him as a cadre? What kind of cadre would not be able to withstand such a test? Immediately, he followed with firm steps. After the two arrived at the hotel and completed a simple registration, they only opened one room. When they checked in, the receptionist gave Lu Chen a meaningful look, with extreme envy in her eyes. Such a handsome young man, his physical strength should be quite good, right? A few minutes later, the two arrived in the room. Duan Xiaoqiao cautiously locked the door, then took off her high boots and white stockings. After removing the white stockings, her fair, long legs appeared in front of Lu Chen without reservation. White and black stockings can have unexpected effects at times, but bare feet also have their own unique charm. You go take a shower first, Duan Xiaoqiao said to Lu Chen as she lay on the bed. Ha! Huh? Lu Chen was stunned, feeling a bit at a loss. Wasn't it agreed that she wouldn't take advantage of his body? 
Did she reveal her true nature as soon as they arrived at the hotel? I asked you to take a shower just to make it more convenient for research. You are a man and I am a woman. You shouldn't be worried that I will take advantage of you, right? Looking at Lu Chen's incredulous expression, Duan Xiaoqiao said with a hint of amusement. You're right, Lu Chen nodded seriously after some thought. If this woman is not worried, what is there for a big man like himself to worry about? After realizing this, Lu Chen felt relieved and went to take a shower. As for Duan Xiaoqiao on the bed, her mouth twitched and her face turned dark. What kind of expression is this? Is she really afraid that I will take advantage of her? This person is quite interesting. The craftsmen in the Celestial Forge are a bunch of wooden heads, but this guy is fun, Duan Xiaoqiao murmured to herself, her lips curling into a smile. Soon, Lu Chen finished showering and came out in a bathrobe. What should we do next? Lu Chen asked nervously. Duan Xiaoqiao, however, answered with a question. If I ask you why you need the fire elemental crystal core, you probably won't tell me, right? Lu Chen smiled and did not speak. For most people, the fire elemental crystal core has limited use, mainly for crafting equipment. Since Lu Chen is neither a blacksmith nor has connections in this area, his urgent need for the fire elemental crystal core naturally attracts attention. Seeing that Lu Chen did not speak, Duan Xiaoqiao did not ask further. I understand that everyone has their own secrets, so if you don't want to tell me, I won't press you for answers. After saying this, Duan Xiaoqiao continued, We have already taken back the flame power of the weaving flame nestling for experimentation. The forging of the equipment was very successful. Do you want to take a look? It's already successful? Hasn't it only been a few days since then? Can I see it? Lu Chen hesitated. He was actually quite curious about what kind of equipment the Celestial Forge had created using this strand of flame power. Of course, Duan Xiaoqiao said lightly, then took out a pair of gloves from the marriage space. The overall design of the gloves was very gentle, and the gloves were a deep red color, with a faint totem visible on them. Upon closer inspection, it was indeed the weaving flame nestling. The main power core of these gloves is the flame power of the weaving flame nestling. Surprisingly, this set of equipment is quite compatible with the power of the weaving flame nestling and belongs to the platinum level equipment. Lu Chen was secretly shocked. Platinum level equipment, it's already on par with his dragon fortress. When the gloves were taken out, Lu Chen could feel the temperature of the entire room rapidly rising, indicating that it was indeed a good item. But just as Lu Chen was about to use the system to analyze and examine more information, Duan Xiaoqiao put the gloves away. Since you've seen the results, let's get down to business, Duan Xiaoqiao said seriously. What do you need me to do? I will try to cooperate as much as possible, Lu Chen also became serious. Duan Xiaoqiao glanced at Lu Chen, and with a smile that was not a smile, she said, take off your pants. Lu Chen's mouth twitched, finding it hard to believe. Take off my pants? Duan Xiaoqiao nodded, in fact, we have been paying attention to you since you became a dragon knight. Your fire elemental profession and your marriage partner being a mythical creature make the flame power within you extremely valuable to us. Shouldn't the flame power of my marriage partner be stronger? Why didn't you choose her last time? Lu Chen asked in confusion. The flame power of mythical creatures is naturally terrifying, but we are currently unable to control such terrifying power. We can only start with you, Duan Xiaoqiao explained. Then why do I need to take off my pants? Because I need to start the hardware softening process. We first need to test the strength of the flame power within you. Theoretically, every part of your body has been filled with flame power since the moment you established a connection with your marriage partner, Duan Xiaoqiao explained as she squatted down and took out a bottle of special essential oil for hardware softening from somewhere, rubbing it in her hands. What I need to do now is to extract the relatively gentle flame power from your body in a relatively simple way and send it for testing. Duan Xiaoqiao spoke earnestly, but Lu Chen looked at her actions with a lot of questions. Is this extraction method legitimate? Hardware softening process? Is this woman really here to do this? Is this what they call research? If the police were to come in at this moment, even if Lu Chen were to repeat these words verbatim, it would be hard for them to believe. Lu Chen could understand the need to test his flame power, but why did it have to be extracted in this way? Are you serious? Lu Chen asked after taking a deep breath to calm his emotions. I couldn't be more serious, Duan Xiaoqiao nodded. Seeing the eager expression on her face, Lu Chen's blood pressure instantly rose. If what you say is true, then there should also be flame power in my blood. Why not start with drawing blood? Lu Chen found it hard to accept what was about to happen. We have considered this, but considering that you are a mythical profession, the concentration of flame power in your blood should be higher. Sending this kind of flame power for testing might cause the instruments to go off the charts. You should understand what I mean, Duan Xiaoqiao explained. I don't know if the instruments will go off the charts, 
but I'm about to go off the charts. Although he wanted to argue, the other party's reasoning was sound, and he didn't know how to refute it. Seeing Lu Chen still hesitating, Duan Chao Chao couldn't help but urge, hurry up and take off your pants. If the police come to search later, we're done for. Lu Chen's mouth twitched again. You know this too. He was clearly brought here to assist in research, but now he felt a sense of excitement as if he were doing something illicit. It was fortunate that Long Kor and the other woman were probably already asleep at this time, otherwise, if Long Kor saw a woman telling Lu Chen to take off his pants in such a vulgar manner, she would definitely explode on the spot. You go out first, I'll do it myself, Lu Chen finally said after a long silence. But Duan Xiao Xiao firmly refused as soon as he spoke. First of all, this is the first time I've met you, Lu, and I don't particularly trust you. I can only trust the materials I collect myself. Secondly, if you were to do it yourself, you would definitely need to use tools like a camera. Watching movies privately is illegal, and if you do something illegal, I will definitely report you. She spoke so righteously, but isn't what she's doing now also illegal? Looking at Duan Xiaoqiao's earnest expression, Lu Chen really didn't know how to comment. Did this woman really want to conduct hardware softening on herself? In fact, Lu Chen was overthinking it. Duan Xiaoqiao must have her reasons for being a black gold level blacksmith. She really just wanted to quickly obtain Lu Chen's flame power for analysis and research. Of course, with Lu Chen's high looks and great figure. Being able to personally carry out hardware softening engineering is actually a kind of enjoyment for the talented and single genius Duan Xiaoqiao. Seeing that Lu Chen was still hesitating, Duan Xiaoqiao anxiously stomped her foot and said, After the matter is done, not only will I give you a fire elemental crystal core, but I will also tailor make an equipment for you. How about that? Zero. Zero one seconds later, Lu Chen's body, which was not bound by worldly clothes, lay on the bed, looking as if he could be picked at will. Duan Xiaoqiao's mouth fell open, and she was at a loss. Do you have to be so quick? He was hesitant just a moment ago, and now he's so proactive just because he can have an equipment tailored for him for free? Let's get started. Since you are here to assist in the research, I will naturally cooperate as much as possible. But I want you to know that I am not doing this just because you are going to tailor make equipment for me. It is mainly because of a sense of responsibility, the responsibility of being a man. Duan Xiaoqiao. I don't believe you. Three hours later, Duan Xiaoqiao finally succeeded in obtaining the power of the flame she desired and carefully placed it in a special container. Then she summoned her marriage partner, and the marriage gate opened, revealing a figure in front of Lu Chen. It was a robot similar to a computer, with many components and emitting a blue light all over its body. Is this your marriage partner? Asked the exhausted Lu Chen weakly. Yes, my marriage partner is quite special. It is not an organic life form, but an artificial intelligence. Although it has no combat power, it can assist me in various equipment research, Duan Xiaoqiao said proudly. She herself did not like fighting, but rather enjoyed the fun of forging equipment. Her ability to become a black gold level blacksmith was largely due to this marriage partner. Little Blue, collect the materials and start analyzing them when you return, Duan Xiaoqiao handed over the container, and Little Blue carefully collected it with its component tentacles. Then it emitted a cold mechanical sound, materials collected. Duan Xiaoqiao waved her hand and retracted Little Blue back into the marriage space, then looked at Lu Chen with a hint of complaint, although I know that knights have good physical strength, yours is too much, you are so powerful, which woman would dare to marry you? Lu Chen blushed, he didn't want to be so powerful either, but his physical strength was just extraordinary. However, Lu Chen had to emphasize one thing, no matter how good his physical condition was, he could never satisfy the little female dragon, Long Kor, this is my business card. If you encounter any problems in the future, you can always find me. I can help you as much as I can. Although all members of Tianxiang Zeo War blacksmiths, there are still some differences in abilities. Duan Xiaoqiao handed the sore armed business card to Lu Chen, and then took out a specially made box from the marriage space and handed it to Lu Chen. This contains the fire elemental crystal core. No matter what you want to do with it, I advise you to find a safe place to open the box. The power of the flame in it is too strong and can easily affect the Western weak. As for the promise to tailor make equipment for you, I will not go back on my word, but I need to study your flame power first. After reminding him of these things, the talented blacksmith with white hair endured the pain in her arms and left the hotel. After leaving the hotel, Duan Xiaoqiao made a call, and soon a twin tailed lowly appeared in the driver's seat. Senior sister Xiaoqiao, what's wrong with you? Why do you look so exhausted? The one driving was also from Tianxiang Zhao Wu, Duan Xiaoqiao's junior sister. Don't mention it. I encountered a wild bull and just fought it for 300 rounds, but in the end, I was still superior in skill, Duan Xiaoqiao said with a smile. Wow, senior sister Xiaoqiao is so amazing. 
As a blacksmith, you actually have such strong combat power, the twin-tailed lowly was full of admiration, unaware that the word combat could cover many scenarios. Hurry and drive back. The materials have been obtained. This time, I will create diamond-grade equipment and become the first blacksmith in the entire Blue Star to forge artificial diamond-grade equipment. Wow! Sister Chow Chow is really amazing. If only I could be half as good as her. Be modest. We artisans should know how to be modest, understand? Everything is just a passing cloud until it's accomplished. I understand, I understand. After Duan Chow Chow left, Lu Chen originally wanted to open the box and absorb the fire elemental crystal core. He needed the power of the flames within the fire elemental crystal core to collide with the power of the flames within his body to achieve the effect of using poison to fight poison. Although this was just a temporary measure, it could only temporarily delay the problem rather than solve it completely. But it was already the most perfect solution for now. However, thinking of Duan Chao Chao's instructions when she left, Lu Chen dispelled the idea. The monsters that could condense the fire elemental crystal core were very powerful, and theoretically, their fire elemental crystal cores were also quite terrifying. It would be better to find a spacious place to open it another day. With this in mind, Lu Chen took a quick shower in the bathroom and then lay down on the bed, falling into a deep sleep. Lu Chen was also exhausted from assisting Duan Chao Chao in obtaining the materials, but fortunately, Long Kor did not drag him into a small meeting tonight. The next morning, Lu Chen woke up early, stretched, and felt refreshed. Without Long Kor's torment, he felt energetic every day. After dressing, he came to the mirror for a self-admiration session. Lu Chen nodded in satisfaction. Yes, he still radiated charm today, so handsome that he couldn't bear to look away. Breakfast was provided for free by the hotel, and it consisted of various star-rated delicacies. Naturally, Lu Chen did not hesitate to enjoy it and called Long Kor and the two girls out for a meal before leaving. After finishing the meal, he left with a satisfied pat on his stomach. At this time, my classmates should have already started their final assessments, right? Lu Chen murmured softly, thinking that many of his classmates were already nervous about the assessments, while he was strolling around in Kyoto and enjoying star-rated meals. Even though he was Lu Chen, he still felt a bit floaty. Hmm. I should find a place with fewer people to absorb the fire elemental crystal core. Lu Chen regained his thoughts and took out his phone to open the map app to find a suitable place. At the same time, unbeknownst to Lu Chen, he had already been secretly targeted since he arrived in Kyoto. Found it. After searching on his phone for a while, Lu Chen finally found a good place. Tianshan Park. This place was originally a famous tourist attraction in Kyoto, but later, due to the sudden failure of the barrier in a certain instance in Kyoto, monsters rushed out. At that time, it was the peak tourist season, and over a hundred thousand people were here to relax and enjoy their holidays. Since there were no powerful professionals guarding this tourist attraction, this led to the deaths of almost half of the people. The casualties were quite heavy, and it was said that the blood flowed like a river and the bodies piled up like mountains. Even those who were lucky enough to escape had psychological problems. Many people suffered mental breakdowns and were sent to mental hospitals. Although the major guilds in Kyoto later took action to deal with the escaped monsters and cleaned up the bodies, almost no one dared to come here afterwards. It was rumored that even in broad daylight, one could feel the chilling wind and even faintly hear the cries of misery upon entering this place. Of course, there were some daring live streamers and the like who chose to come here for exploration. However, many of those who entered this place inexplicably disappeared, and even those who managed to come out safely lost their sanity. Many people said that there were too many tragic deaths here, leading to lingering spirits and strange occurrences. Over time, this place became a taboo for everyone in Kyoto. The reason Lu Chen chose this place was mainly because of the sparse population, so he didn't have to worry about harming nearby people when opening the box. Secondly, Lu Chen didn't believe that there was anything so sinister about this place. Even if there is something strange here, I am at least a mythical level dragon knight, so I don't need to be afraid. After arriving at Tianshan Park, Lu Chen discovered that the facilities here were quite complete, with many natural hot springs and many unique statues and buildings. However, these buildings and statues all appeared somewhat dilapidated, and the area was overgrown with weeds, as if it had been abandoned for a long time. When Lu Chen arrived, he did feel a chilling sensation, even though it was the middle of a scorching day. It shouldn't be this cold in theory. But Lu Chen didn't mind, thinking that it was just because no one had been here for a long time and the air had become slightly cooler due to the proximity to the deep mountains and old forests. Finding a vacant spot, Lu Chen sat down and took out the box given to him by Duan Xiao Xiao, taking a deep breath before opening it. Buzz! As the box opened, a rune flashed, indicating that the seal on the box, specifically designed to contain the power of the fire elemental crystal, had been broken. 
Inside the box, Lu Chen found a red crystal surrounded by a faint flame. It was a fire elemental crystal. Judging from its aura, Lu Chen determined that it was the fire elemental crystal of a level 50 fire attribute monster. Only monsters of level 50 or higher have a chance to condense such crystals, and those that can are usually boss level and quite difficult to deal with. This is why elemental crystals, not just fire ones, are so precious. After absorbing this crystal, my power should be temporarily stabilized, Lu Chen said with a smile. The flame power within him was showing signs of instability, and if it weren't for this fire elemental crystal, Lu Chen would have been hesitant to continue leveling up, but now that he had the crystal, he had no worries and began to absorb it. As the flame power within the crystal gradually entered Lu Chen's body, he felt his entire body boiling. This feeling was indescribably comfortable. As Lu Chen absorbed the power of the fire elemental crystal, a ripple of flames spread out from him, causing the plants and trees in the area to visibly wither at an alarming rate. Meanwhile, in Kyoto, all the prestigious universities were in an uproar. At Xianling University, the president of the university, along with a dozen or so high-level officials, sat with heavy expressions. At this moment, they were all at a loss and quite nervous, as if they were discussing something important. President, that kid is already in Kyoto. This is our perfect opportunity. I suggest we send someone to snatch him over. A hot-tempered high-level official suddenly slammed the table and stood up, speaking loudly. I don't think that's appropriate. Although our Xianling University may not be as good as the Magic Marshall University, we are still a legitimate university. We can't just snatch people in broad daylight. A middle-aged man with gold-rimmed glasses stood up, pushed his glasses, and shook his head in a gentle and scholarly manner. Upon hearing his words, the other high-level officials also nodded in agreement. However, the next moment, the gentle middle-aged man said something that shattered everyone's expectations. I think we should use his family to threaten him, forcing him to come to our Xianling University. If he refuses, we'll tell him that we'll have his family killed. Upon hearing this, everyone's mouths twitched. This approach was no different from snatching him over. This is just like a gangster's behavior. This is the behavior of a gangster, plain and simple. Upon hearing the words of this middle-aged man, the president of Xianling University, who was sitting at the top, also began to ponder with his chin resting on his hand. Seeing this, many high-level executives breathed a sigh of relief. They were really afraid that the president would agree to this guy's idea. Now it seems that they were overly worried. After all, their president was appointed as the first in Xia country. How could he agree to such absurd things? However, at this moment, the president of Xianling University suddenly shook his head and said, No, this kid's parents are both deceased, and there are no relatives we can threaten. Many high-level executives were dumbfounded at his words. It turned out that the reason why their president was pondering was not because the proposal was too absurd but rather he was considering the feasibility of the proposal. Listening to the tone of their president, if that kid's parents were still alive, would they really use them as a threat? Many high-level executives found it hard to believe. Although Xianling University was not as good as the Magic Marshall University, it was still one of the prestigious universities in Kyoto. Countless geniuses come to study here every year. Now they actually want to bring a guy to their side through such means? This is too far-fetched. However, thinking about the talent of that guy, many high-level executives understood. After all, that kid named Lu Chen is a mythical level professional, and not long ago, he became a dual professional. As long as he doesn't die prematurely, he will definitely become a super strong individual in the future. If they could bring him to Xianling University, it would naturally be a great thing. Regarding the situation of that kid, do you have any good ideas? The president of Xianling University asked in a deep voice, tapping his fingers on the table. I think we can use the beauty trap, as they say, heroes are vulnerable to the charms of a beautiful woman. I think what you said is inappropriate. We should be more practical and offer various top treatments and gold coins. I think. Many high-level executives began to discuss, but after discussing for a long time, they still didn't have a practical solution. Alright. After a long time, the president of Xianling University finally waved his hand to interrupt the discussion and said in a deep voice, Magic Marshall University already has so many mythical level professionals, while other universities have hardly any, and even if they do, it's no more than two or three. My Xianling University doesn't even have one mythical level professional. Here, the president of Xianling University slammed the table in anger and said, Why should all the resources lean towards Magic Marshall University? Why should all the mythical level talents go to their side to study? Hearing these two whys, many high-level executives also became angry. They had asked this question countless times in their hearts. Why is Magic Marshall University so awesome? Why should all mythical-level talents go to their side to study? President, what should we do? 
We believe you have made a judgment, so please tell us what to do, and we will definitely cooperate fully. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. This kid named Lu must come to my Xianling University. Whether my Xianling University can rise or not depends on him. That's right, this guy is a dual professional. If we can train him, what are those geniuses at Magic Marshall University? By then, we can also prove ourselves. President, please make the decision. Looking at the many indignant high-level executives, the president of Xianling University took a deep breath and finally made his decision. All high-level executives, follow me. Let's find that kid first, persuade him with reason and emotion. It's a good thing if we can persuade him to come to my Xianling University voluntarily. If we can't, then we'll forcibly bring him over. This mythical level talent is a must for my Xianling University. Swish. As soon as these words were spoken, the entire high-level executives were instantly stirred up. They raised their arms and shouted in excitement. A must for us. A must for us. A must for us. At the same time, in the conference room of Jolong University, the scene was similar to that of Xianling University. Jolong University was also one of the prestigious universities in Kyoto, but they only had one mythical level professional, and this person was also the nephew of their president. The president of Jolong University had to plead with his own sister for a long time before successfully persuading her to bring this genius to their university. When they learned that Lu Chen had arrived in Kyoto, they were all very excited. Their performance was even more enthusiastic than that of Xianling University. Brothers, we are all members of Jolong University, and we should contribute to Jolong University. There is an opportunity in front of us, and whether we can seize it depends on your determination. The president of Jolong University was indignant, his eyes slightly red, and he clenched his fists as if he were about to launch a rebellion. Now follow me, find that guy named Lu, forcibly bring him to Jolong University, and from now on he will be a member of our Jolong University. If anyone dares to stop us, they are our enemies, and you should know how to deal with enemies. Many high-level officials raised their arms and shouted loudly, No mercy! No mercy! No mercy! There are many universities like this, and they are all doing the same thing at this time. But there are always exceptions. In the conference room of Yaochi University, many high-level officials had strange expressions and a hesitant look on their faces. Sitting at the top was a stunning woman in professional attire, but her proud figure could not be concealed. Her exquisite features and 3,000 green silk strands falling casually over her shoulders were not enough to describe her temperament. Because she not only had a stunning appearance, but also wore frameless glasses, and her every expression and smile exuded the gentleness of a Japanese teacher. She was a fairy who could ignite desire with just one glance. What do you think about Lu Chen? Suddenly asked the president of Yaochi University, glancing at the many high-level officials. Lu Chen is indeed a rare genius, a mythical level professional, and he is not only a mythical level professional, but also a dual class changer. Such a genius is rare in the entire Xia country, many high level officials responded. How many mythical level geniuses does Yao Qi University have? The president of Yao Qi University asked again. The scene fell silent. After a while, a high level official finally stood up with an embarrassed look and said, In the 30 years since the founding of Yao Qi University, we only have one mythical level genius, and this mythical level genius is also an auxiliary professional. Just by hearing the name, one could tell that Yao Qi University was a women's university, specifically for recruiting talented female class changers. Like most universities, any mythical level professionals in Xia country, whether male or female, preferred to go to the Magic and Martial Arts University, because the status of the Magic and Martial Arts University was unshakable in Xia country, and it was the top university in Xia country. If Lu Chen could join Yao Qi University, what would Yao Qi University do? The president of Yao Qi University asked again. If he could join Yao Qi University, with the support of the dual class changer, perhaps Yao Qi University could cultivate future super strong individuals, and his strength would probably exceed that of the Dragon Knight from back then, said one high level official. Upon hearing this, the other high level officials also realized the intention of their president. He actually wanted a man to enter their women's university. President, that kid is a man, and this is a women's university, said one high-level official incredulously. Allowing men to enroll in a women's university was like inviting a wolf into a sheepfold asking for trouble. Before the president of Yao Qi University could respond, she was met with disdainful glances from the other high-level officials. It was not the feudal era, and they had long since moved on. Even if Lu Chen were to come, if he had the ability, he could sweep away all the beauties here. Don't underestimate the beauties here. Whether they are wolves among sheep or sheep among wolves, who is the sheep and who is the wolf is still uncertain. 
If Lu Chen could be brought in, Yaoqi University would definitely benefit greatly. The benefits would outweigh the drawbacks. They were all high-level officials of the university, and their way of looking at things naturally differed from that of ordinary people. They valued the interests and development of the university more. And Lu Chen happened to satisfy both of them, so they naturally had no need to refuse. Seeing the expressions of many high-level executives, the high-level executive who had objected also fell silent. In fact, she had just said it casually. If Lu Chen really wanted to come to them, she would naturally be welcome. We have no problem. If Lu Chen really wants to come to us, we naturally can't ask for more. After the unanimous opinion of many high-level executives, they all said in unison. The president of Yaoqi University also saw the situation and didn't waste any words, standing up and saying, immediately gather all the students with good looks at Yaoqi University and go find Lu Chen with us. Hearing this, many high-level executives understood the president's intention. A beauty trap. After saying this, the president added, bring Shen Yu too. Shen Yu is the only mythical level professional at Yaoqi University, not only with extraordinary talent, but also with outstanding looks in a women's university like Yaoqi University. Many high-level executives did not expect the president to also bring Shen Yu, willing to go to great lengths for Lu Chen. On this day, there was a hidden undercurrent in the capital, and the focus of the undercurrent, Lu Chen, was still unaware of this matter. At this moment, the MO Wu University also received the news, but did not take it seriously. As the top university in Xia country, they had their own pride, and they believed that Lu Chen would definitely make the right choice. Mo Wu University was backed by Xia Country and had the most abundant resources, and it was also the university in Xia Country that cultivated the most mythical level talents, with the most experience. Tian Shan Park. After absorbing for a long two and a half hours, Lu Chen finally absorbed all the power of the flames. The fire elemental crystal in his hand also lost its original luster, and with a light pinch, it turned into fragments. Phew. Lu Chen took a deep breath, feeling completely refreshed, all his fatigue disappeared. He even felt that he could now battle Long Core 300 times without feeling any backache or fatigue. However, Lu Chen knew that this situation would not last long, and if he wanted to continue to maintain it, he would have to constantly search for new fire elemental crystals. I must quickly improve my strength, Lu Chen said softly. However, just at that moment, Lu Chen suddenly heard a crying voice. Lu Chen looked to the west and suddenly saw a woman sitting in a pavilion not far ahead. Although he couldn't see the woman's face clearly, just by looking at her back, he knew that she must be a woman with good looks. But Lu Chen was a little puzzled. How could there be other people in this desolate place? Before absorbing the fire elemental crystal, Lu Chen had observed the area, and he was the only one here to start absorbing the fire elemental crystal. When did this woman come over? Lu Chen was about to go forward to ask what was going on, when the system prompt suddenly sounded. Strong aura detected, do you want to analyze it? Ha! Huh? A strong aura? Rarely did this strong aura refer to the woman crying in the pavilion, but Lu Chen did not feel any power fluctuations from the woman. And wasn't the system only able to analyze information about monsters? Could it also analyze information about career changers? However, Lu Chen chose to believe the system and said, Analyze. Analysis complete. Hawkeye, LV50, Identity, Dark Professional, Career, Dual Face Ninja, Career Level, Epic, Career Characteristics, Dual faced ninjas belong to the assassin class, able to change into two forms. The female form enhances agility but reduces defense, while the male form increases damage but decreases agility. Evaluation Dark professionals and professionals are in opposition. Dual faced ninjas have extremely strong burst and fault tolerance. If encountered, the host should stay as far away as possible. When Lu Chen saw the system's introduction, he was stunned. He only knew about professionals, but what did this dark professional mean? But since the system said that this dark professional was in opposition to professionals, it seemed that the other party should be hostile. And according to the system's analysis of this person's profession, this person is a hermaphrodite, who can transform into both a man and a woman. Lu Chen couldn't believe that there was such a perverted profession in the world. Doesn't this mean that this person can experience two kinds of happiness? Oh, it seems like something strange has intruded. What am I thinking? Dismissing the jumble of thoughts in his mind, Lu Chen took a glance at the woman crying in the pavilion, stopped in his tracks, and turned to walk away. Since he knew that the other party was not good, and their level was higher than his own, Lu Chen naturally could not be foolish enough to continue walking over. Just as Lu Chen turned around, he suddenly found that the woman who had been in the pavilion had appeared in front of him. This person can teleport too? This is bad. The woman still cried with her back to Lu Chen, but the crying sounded more and more anxious. 
At this moment, Lu Chen's back felt cold, and his whole body's hair stood on end. It seemed that he had been targeted and couldn't escape. Confrontation was definitely not an option, after all, the other party's level was as high as 50. He could only run, but how could he escape? Just as Lu Chen's brain was spinning rapidly to find a way to escape, the woman suddenly stopped crying and said softly with her head down, It seems that you have discovered my identity. Since that's the case, I will come clean. I serve the great dark king, and you will gain greater power. Lu Chen's mouth twitched, and he weakly said, Can I refuse? You can, the woman let out a chilling laugh, If you refuse, next year today will be your death day. Hearing the woman's response, Lu Chen was at a loss. Indeed, the visitor was not good. My patience is limited. You have only one minute to consider, the woman said as she saw Lu Chen hesitating to speak. Lu Chen deliberately pretended to look like he was pondering, but in fact, he had already made his choice. He would not submit to some nonsense dark king. Just from the name, it was clear that this was definitely a major villain. If he submitted to such a person, his future would definitely not be good. Since ancient times, evil cannot triumph over good, and such major villains and their lackeys would eventually pay the price. Moreover, many familiar people to Lu Chen were in the camp of the transmigrators. Betrayal would be equivalent to making him an enemy of the world, so he might as well take the initiative to kill him. As time passed, Eagle Eye looked at Lu Chen, who was still lost in thought, and said lightly, three seconds left. And then began the countdown. Three, two, I agree to submit. Just as the other party was about to finish the countdown, Lu Chen hurriedly said. Hearing this, a faint smile appeared on Eagle Eye's lips. A wise man submits to the situation, Lu Chen rolled his eyes in his mind and asked, What should I do now? Eagle Eye did not answer Lu Chen, but instead reached out and waved his hand in the air, and a black teleportation gate appeared in front of them. The world inside the teleportation gate was pitch black, and nothing could be seen, but as soon as the gate opened, an extremely terrifying aura was released. This aura made Lu Chen very uncomfortable. Follow me into the presence of the great dark king, Eagle Eye said to Lu Chen. Okay, Lu Chen nodded, showing a very cooperative attitude, as if he had really decided to submit to the Dark King. Seeing Lu Chen being so cooperative, Eagle Eye relaxed his guard and took the lead. Lu Chen followed closely behind, but just as the two were about to enter the teleportation gate, Lu Chen suddenly took out a red inscribed tablet and threw it at Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye instantly noticed Lu Chen's little movement and immediately dodged, and the red inscribed tablet fell to the ground and began to flash violently. The next moment, it exploded. In an instant, the terrifying power of the flames spread out from Eagle Eye as the center to the surroundings. Lu Chen had swept through many instances in the Golden Sands Beach Defense Line instance, and this red inscribed tablet was one of the equipment dropped when killing monsters. But Lu Chen is not very interested in these equipment, so he stored them in the marriage space, ready to find an opportunity to sell them, but he didn't expect them to come in handy now. Among these equipment, although most of them have level and occupation restrictions, there are also many equipment that can be used immediately. This red inscription is called Flame Ranking, it is a disposable equipment, which can erupt a full force blow comparable to an 18th level fire elemental monster when used. But Lu Chen knows very well that this level of attack cannot cause any harm to this guy, after all, the other party is a powerful existence at level 50. So just as the explosion ripple appeared, Lu Chen turned around and ran away. He wanted to take advantage of the chaos to leave here. However, just as Lu Chen turned around, a sinister laughter suddenly came from the explosion ripple. Kid, you have completely angered me. Swish. As soon as the words fell, Lu Chen felt a blur in front of him, and the hawk-eyed figure appeared in front of Lu Chen. Lu Chen was able to see the appearance of the hawk-eyed. This hawk-eyed turned out to be a female. Just disheveled, with dry and dull skin all over, as if a zombie had just crawled out of a coffin. Extremely terrifying. Gulp. It is indeed a level 50 existence. The speed is simply terrifying. We are all civilized people of the new century. I think we can sit down and have a good chat. Lu Chen's throat rolled, and a forced smile appeared on his face. I see you have chosen the path of death. Since you are unwilling to submit to the Dark King, then die. The Hawkeye obviously didn't want to waste time with Lu Chen, and was ready to eradicate him. The reason she appeared here was naturally because she was interested in Lu Chen's talent. If she could pull such a person into the camp of the Dark Transmogrifiers, it would be a great thing. But if the other party is unwilling to join, then she has no choice but to exterminate him. The Hawkeye extended her right hand, and a terrifying power continuously gathered in the palm of her hand, obviously accumulating power to release a skill. Even though the skill has not been activated yet, Lu Chen has already felt the terrifying power, and once it is unleashed, he feels that he will not survive. However, at this moment, buzz, a marriage gate behind Lu Chen opened instantly, and a red fireball shot out from it and rushed towards the Hawkeye. 
The Hawkeye frowned instantly and was forced to stop casting the skill and instead punched forward. Boom! This punch actually blasted the red fireball away. Critical hit, 3000. 3000 health points. The Hawkeye punched and blasted 3000 health points. Normally, an assassin's frontal attack cannot be so powerful, mainly because the opponent's level is too strong, which is an absolute suppression of strength. The fireball rolled beside Lu Chen, and as the red flames dissipated, Ji Ling'er's figure also appeared in front of Lu Chen. Ling'er, are you okay? Lu Chen stepped forward to support Ji Ling'er and said in a deep voice. Ji Ling'er appeared this time because she felt that Lu Chen was in danger, so she came out of the marriage space for the first time. I'm sorry, master, my strength is restricted and I cannot exert all my power. Otherwise, I could have easily killed such a person with a slap. Ji Ling'er's mouth was bleeding, and her face was full of guilt. It's not your fault, I'm too weak and I've caused trouble for you, Lu Chen sighed and said with heartache. If it weren't for his low level, Ji Ling'er's strength could have been even stronger. Another one looking for death, interesting. The Hawkeye shook her hand and glanced at Ji Ling'er, ready to continue the attack and end Lu Chen's life. However, at this moment, another marriage gate opened. Roar! A piercing dragon roar suddenly came from the marriage gate, and then a red dragon soared into the sky. As the dragon circled above the nine heavens, the entire sky instantly turned red, as if all the clouds had been ignited. Is this a mythical level creature? Seeing Long Cure, the Hawkeye also seemed a little distracted. Just then, Long Cure suddenly transmitted a message secretly, you and Ji Ling'er leave here first, I can delay time for you. He's level 50. Lu Chen's expression was complicated. I can hold them off. Long Kuo said calmly. But, go. Long Kuo's voice became urgent. Staying here will only make it difficult for me. Hurry and leave now. Lu Chen knew that Long Kuo was saying this on purpose. If he really left now, Long Kuo would definitely not be able to handle the opponent. Although Long Kuo was only Lu Chen's betrothed, and even though her true strength was far stronger than this eagle eye, at the moment Long Kuo was only at level 21, just like him. She would die. I won't leave. You are my wife. How can I leave you to fend for yourself? Lu Chen's eyes turned red, and his whole body felt like it was burning up. His blood was boiling. You are my woman. We live together. We die together. Lu Chen's strength surged wildly. The dragon scale protection was also activated. The flames of the western Zhou and Lu Chen's body instantly condensed into a red dragon scale armor, making him look mighty and extraordinary. His attributes were also enhanced by the dragon scale armor. For at least 10 minutes, the damage he received would be reduced by 20%. The highest level of damage reduction was 90%. At the same time, a green light suddenly rose from Lu Chen, Long Kuo, and Ji Ling'er's bodies. This was the regeneration of life. After using this skill, the life dragon would protect every dragon companion, and for the next 10 minutes, they would recover 5% of their health every second. Then, a dragon's roar came from Lu Chen's body, and a huge dragon totem suddenly appeared behind him. The intimacy of the flame dragon. Perhaps sensing Lu Chen's fighting spirit, the fire attribute received a significant boost. At this moment, Lu Chen was fully unleashed without holding back. You. Seeing Lu Chen's actions, Long Kuo's expression became complicated in the sky, and her eyes gradually became teary. You are such a fool. Even when I ask you to leave, you won't. You insist on staying here to accompany me in death. Why is that necessary? Long Kuo suddenly laughed again as she spoke. Lu Chen's actions made her feel warm. Perhaps to other transcenders, their betrothed was just a tool, a target for venting when needed. But to Lu Chen, he truly treated his betrothed as family. How many transcenders could, in such a crisis, do what Lu Chen did, not abandoning or giving up? At this moment, Long Kuo, for the first time, had the thought that she hadn't misjudged him. But despite being moved, this was exactly why Long Kuo couldn't accept Lu Chen dying here. Let's go. Long Kuo continued to urge. No. I won't go. Lu Chen took out the Dragon Knight's fortress and grinned. The Dragon Knight can't lose the dragon. We are one, and we can't be separated. Long Kora pursed her lips, ready to say something, when suddenly the eagle eye sneered. What a touching scene. Since you are both willing to die for each other, I will fulfill your wish and send you on your way together. After saying this, the eagle eye was instantly covered in black mist. When the mist dissipated, his appearance had completely changed. Although he still looked terrifying, he had changed from female to male. After becoming male, his damage instantly maxed out, ready to unleash a big move to send the two of them on their way. But at this moment, a sudden change occurred. Lu Chen is here. A roar suddenly came from the distance. This was followed by more roars. Protect Lu Chen, charge, kill. Who dares to attack Lu Chen? I'll kill his whole family. I'll lead the charge, kill. After a burst of furious roars, 
countless terrifying pressures instantly arrived. Lu Chen turned to look behind him and was stunned. He saw more than 10 people who were clearly not to be trifled with, charging towards him. These people were dressed in uniform, with a badge carved with nine dragons on their chests. This is, people from the Nine Dragon University? Lu Chen was stunned. He is not very familiar with universities in various places, but he still knows several universities in Kyoto. Although Kowloon University is not as famous as Mobi University, it is also a first-class university in Shagwa. However, the point is not this. The point is why people from Kowloon University suddenly appeared here. Student Lu Chen, I am the president of Kowloon University. I will protect your safety. You can rest assured. If that bastard dares to make a move on you, I will cut off his thing right now. A man with a red face and thick neck rushed to Lu Chen at the forefront of the crowd and shouted. Lu Chen's mouth twitched at the words. However, at this moment, another group of people appeared at the end of the line of sight. This group of people was also dressed in uniform and were from Xianling University. The president of Xianling University also rushed to the forefront and, upon seeing Lu Chen, his eyes turned red instantly. He immediately waved his hand and shouted hoarsely, Lu Chen is right in front. Whoever can bring him to my Xianling Academy, I, the president, will reward heavily. No need for approval from above. I will personally guarantee my official position to let him be promoted. Swish. As soon as these words were spoken, many high-level officials of Xianling University went crazy instantly. These people already held high positions and needed to make significant contributions to the school in order to continue to be promoted, and they also needed approval from higher authorities. But now, they could be promoted just by bringing Lu Chen to their Xianling Academy. This was like a pie falling from the sky. Many high-level officials also instantly turned red-eyed, like hungry wolves seeing sheep, and immediately summoned their own marriage partners. They roared and rushed towards Lu Chen. Elves roared. Dragons roared. Creatures from the ghost realm howled. Red light. White light. Fire elements. Water elements. Various forces intertwined in the air. The scene immediately became chaotic. However, this was not the end. After these two universities, strong individuals from other universities also appeared one after another. Their goal was also very unified, all targeting Lu Chen. Lu Chen, I'm coming. Go, don't miss the opportunity. This child must be used by me. At any cost, whoever dares to stop us is our enemy. Go. Everyone at the scene went crazy. Lu Chen felt like a steamed bun, being targeted by a group of animals. At this moment, not only Lu Chen, but even Eagle Eye was instantly stunned and thrown into chaos. What the hell were these idiots doing? How could they appear here? When he looked at the excited crowd rushing towards him, Eagle Eye suddenly panicked. Although he was a level 50 dark professional, there were also level 50 or even stronger individuals among this group. If he was surrounded by these people, he would definitely be in a dangerous situation. You're lucky this time. Next time, you won't be so lucky. If you don't submit to the Dark King, you will become the target of the Dark King's hunt. Don't let me find an opportunity, or I will definitely kill you. Eagle Eye quickly opened the door of darkness and threatened Lu Chen fiercely. At this point, he also knew that he had no chance to make a move on Lu Chen, even if he was unwilling. Upon hearing this, Lu Chen was very unhappy and said, Brother, there is not only one mythical level professional like me. Why do you have to keep targeting me? I don't owe you money, nor have I eaten your rice, right? Do I care? Eagle I coldly snorted. Lu Chun. As the strong individuals from many schools rushed over, Eagle Eye stepped into the door of darkness in an instant. The door of darkness closed immediately, and he left. Just as Eagle Eye left. Swish. A figure suddenly appeared behind Lu Chen. Lu Chen was surprised and thought that Eagle Eye had turned back to attack him. Without thinking much, Lu Chen didn't even turn his head and threw a punch. As the punch was thrown, Lu Chen felt a damn softness, as if his fist had hit a pudding, and his fist was bounced off. Lu Chen? This feeling is a bit weird. Lu Chen turned around and saw a beautiful woman wearing frameless glasses and professional attire. When Lu Chen looked at the woman, the woman was also looking at Lu Chen, but her expression was slightly abnormal. This woman was the president of Yao Qi University. She had originally intended to appear behind Lu Chen and use the excuse of protecting him to seduce him. Who would have thought that he would be so alert? He had just received a punch from her. Fortunately, as a mature and beautiful president, she had long practiced the principle of using softness to overcome hardness in Tai Chi. The force in that punch had already been successfully neutralized. Lu, let me introduce myself. I am Yao Yun, the president of Yao Qi University. You can call me Sister Yao. Lu Chen had not yet recovered from the punch and said blankly, Sister Yao? 
Upon hearing Lu Chen's address, Ya Yun smiled and warmly took Lu Chen's hand. Since you have called me sister, it means we are family. Since we are family, let's be straightforward. Do you want a wife? Lu Chen's mouth opened slightly, huh? Ya Yun laughed, do you want a wife? As long as you are willing to say yes, I will bring her to you right now. Even the intelligent Lu Chen was a bit confused at this point. To be asked if he wanted a wife right after meeting, what kind of operation was this? I'm afraid this isn't appropriate. I already have a marriage partner. There's nothing wrong with that. A marriage partner may sound good, but in reality, they are just playing a role as a tool. Among many career changers, very few actually marry their partners. You can choose someone better. Just as Yao Yin finished speaking, a group of well-groomed mature women suddenly appeared behind her. They were the senior management of Yao Qi University. Behind these senior staff stood more than 10 young women with exceptional looks. It's not an exaggeration to say that any one of them could be considered a top-tier beauty. These young women had different styles, including mature women in black stockings, gentle young women in white stockings, and even a young girl with twin ponytails and exposed feet. Each had their own unique charm. Among these women, the most outstanding was the young girl in the middle with a single ponytail, exuding a heroic spirit in her eyes and carrying a long sword at her waist. Clearly, she was a swordsman. If we were to categorize her style, it would be a mix of a young girl and a mature woman, a beautiful and elegant style. These women were all students of Yao Qi University. Just now, they had been suddenly gathered together by the president, who was preparing to introduce them to a marriage. At that time, many students were still confused and even had strong resistance. It's a free era now, and they value marriage freedom. They didn't want to marry a man they didn't know. But when they saw Lu Chen, they suddenly dismissed this idea. It wasn't because they thought Lu Chen was handsome, but because they were typical obedient girls who liked to listen to their elders. As the saying goes, one generation plants the trees, and the next gets the shade. The elders would not harm them. Wow! Is this the legendary professional from Jinsha City? So handsome. A female student with hearts in her eyes said, I suddenly think this marriage isn't bad. Thank you, school. You're talking nonsense. This is clearly the person the school introduced to me. Many female students even started arguing over Lu Chen's affections. At this moment, a junior sister next to Xin Yu said ambiguously, Sister Xin Yu, what do you think of this Lu Chen? I think he's quite handsome. If he's interested in me, I wouldn't mind. He is quite handsome, Xin Yu said softly, blushing. The junior sister smirked, oh. It seems that our sister Xin Yu is also smitten. It's not easy. Since you joined Yao Qi University, I don't know how many suitors you've rejected. I didn't expect you to have your eye on someone. You don't talk nonsense. He is indeed very handsome, but I am not a casual woman. We don't know each other. I just like his appearance, but I don't like him as a person, Xin Yu blushed and said softly. Just as the two women were talking, Yao Yun had already brought Lu Chen to the front. How about it? These are all my students at Yao Qi University. Is there anyone you like? If so, I can witness the engagement for you now, Yao Yun smiled. This. Lu Chen glanced at the women, all of them were stunning, but his gaze ultimately fell on Xin Yu. Just then, Long Kor had already returned to human form and appeared behind Lu Chen, looking at him with a face full of sorrow. Jiling also came to stand behind Lu Chen with a mournful expression. Sensing the chill behind him, Lu Chen turned around and glanced at the two women, coughed lightly, and said with a wry smile, I already have someone, so there's no need to choose anymore, right? Ya Yun looked at Long Kor and the two women, smiled indifferently, and said, in this day and age, it's normal for men to have multiple wives and concubines. Even if you have someone in your heart, it's okay to have a few more women. It doesn't really matter. Lu Chun. Although what she said was not untrue, it was hard to imagine such words coming from a female principal. Just as Lu Chen was hesitating, many university presidents also arrived at the scene one after another. The president of Jiolong University grabbed Lu Chen's hand and said, Lu Chen, women will only affect the speed of your sword, and beauty will only empty your body. Come to my Jiolong University, we will pour all our resources into you. You are the most extraordinary genius of our Jiolong University. You're talking nonsense. The president of Xianling University interrupted and grabbed Lu Chen's other hand warmly, Lu. Our Xianling University is not inferior to the Magic Marshall University. If you come to us, I can give you the resources you want right now. Come to my Feng Yun University. If you come to my Feng Yun University, you will immediately become the vice president of our Feng Yun University. Come to my future university, I will introduce my granddaughter to you. Even if you have someone, it's okay for my granddaughter to be your concubine. She likes you anyway. Lu. Lu. 
The scene suddenly became chaotic, and many presidents were clamoring for Luchin like a bunch of hooligans, and even almost came to blows. Despite the extremely generous conditions offered by these universities, Lu Chen was still very hesitant. He was really tempted by the conditions offered by these universities, but he still wanted to join the Magic Marshall University. It was not because the conditions offered by the Magic Marshall University were richer than those of these universities, but because Lu Chen believed that the teaching quality of the Magic Marshall University should be the best. He wanted to become stronger. Seeing the scene becoming too chaotic, Long Kor couldn't stand the commotion and, being socially anxious, immediately returned to the marriage space. Jiling followed suit. The scene was suddenly left with only Lu Chen in a state of confusion. Just then, seeing that their persuasive words were not working, the many presidents decided to resort to force. Someone suddenly grabbed Lu Chen's elbow and pulled him to the left. Seeing this, the others were unhappy and pulled Lu Chen's elbow to the right. Lu Chen suddenly felt the awakening of his skill to traverse ancient and modern times, as if he could feel the pain of those ancient people who were torn apart by five horses. Because if this continued, he felt like his arms were going to be torn off. Lu Chen is a student of our Jiolong University. What are you trying to do? Are you going to resort to force in broad daylight? You're talking nonsense. Lu Chen is clearly a student of our future university. You are being unreasonable. Stop arguing. Lu Chen is a student of our Xinling University. You better stop making a scene now. Seeing this situation, Lu Chen knew that the current situation would continue for a while. At that moment, he suddenly unleashed his boiling blood. Boom! Lu Chen's blood boiled in an instant, and his skin turned red like a burning iron. Many strong students from the Western Zhou School who had grabbed Lu Chen's limbs involuntarily let go of their hands. At that moment, Lu Chen exerted all his strength and rushed out. He regretted not having any escape skills as many university strongmen also chased after him. Several principals were at the forefront, almost everyone had flying props, and as they flapped their wings, they turned into meteors and charged towards Lu Chen. At this speed, it wouldn't take long for them to catch up with him. Damn, are these old guys all in such good shape? Lu Chen couldn't help but feel a little desperate. He looked at the western Zhou and suddenly rushed into a thicket. However, as he dashed into the thicket, he suddenly saw an old man leaning against a tree trunk, drinking from a gourd. Seeing the old man, Lu Chen was a little confused, and the old man put down the gourd and casually wiped the wine from the corner of his mouth, grinning. I see that the young friend's forehead turning black must mean a disaster is imminent. Do you need my help? Lu Chen tentatively asked, can you help? Of course, the old man laughed, then stood up unsteadily and reached out his right hand. Buzz! A purple halo flashed, and the old man's hand suddenly appeared a staff surrounded by countless particles. Lu Chen's pupil slightly contracted, this old man was actually a mage. However, before Lu Chen could be too shocked, the old man drew a circle on the ground with the staff, enveloping both himself and Lu Chen within it. The moment the circle was drawn, a surge of spatial force instantly enveloped them. From the inside, Lu Chen was already wrapped in a purple barrier. But from the outside, it would be found that Lu Chen had disappeared into thin air, not even a trace of his presence could be sensed. A spatial mage. This old man was actually a rare spatial mage. Lu Chen stared in disbelief at the old man, but at that moment, a noisy sound suddenly came from the front. Several principals with flying props had already chased after them, but when they looked around, they couldn't find Lu Chen's trace. They were all a little confused. Strange, I just saw the kid come in, how did he disappear in the blink of an eye? The president of Jiolong University said puzzled. He can't have gone far, he should still be nearby, let's look for him, said the president of Future University. Then everyone quickly disappeared and chased after them into the deep mountains ahead. After the principals had gone, many high-level officials from various universities also hurried over. Although Lu Chen was right in front of them, no one could find his trace. This was the terrifying aspect of a spatial mage. If a fire mage maximized the power of fire elements, then a spatial mage maximized the power of space. But the powers of fire and space were completely different levels. Fire ultimately belonged to a kind of elemental power, while space belonged to a power that transcended elements, with a much richer plasticity and fault tolerance than elemental power. Just like a barrier, the barriers condensed by spatial mages could isolate space, something elemental mages found difficult to achieve. And the power of spatial mages was far beyond imagination. Lu Chen had heard that there was a guy who became a wormhole mage, able to create spatial portals out of thin air to achieve instant teleportation. After awakening as a wormhole mage, he first opened a portal in a bank vault and quietly stole millions of gold coins. Later, this guy disappeared without a trace, but not long after, similar incidents occurred in banks. Everyone knew it was the work of this wormhole mage, 
but there was no way to stop him. That was the power of a spatial mage. However, the wormhole mage is not invincible. Later, all major banks installed special defense barriers in their respective vaults. It is said that these barriers can prevent the opening of spatial gates, and similar incidents have not occurred since then. However, the wormhole mage is still at large and has not been found to this day. Phew! When he realized that everyone had left, Lu Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief. Then he looked at the old man and thanked him, Thank you, sir. No need to thank me, the old man shook his head with a meaningful look, because I may not be a good person either. What's going on? When Lu Chen heard this, he was a little confused at the time. Then he heard the old man say, Xiaoyao University still has one more enrollment spot this year. I can see that you are not very satisfied with those universities. How about joining my Xiaoyao University? Lu Chen's mouth twitched. It turns out the other party was also approaching him. Can I refuse? Lu Chen asked. You can, the old man nodded unprecedentedly. Just when Lu Chen thought he had encountered a reasonable and normal person, the next moment a force of space bound Lu Chen in place. Sir, what are you doing? Lu Chen was a little flustered. Kidnapping, can't you see? The old man tied the gourd around his waist and grinned. Lu Chen's mouth twitched, didn't I refuse to join Xiaoyao University? The old man coughed lightly, revealing a somewhat shy smile, and patted his goatee, saying, I refuse your refusal. Any other questions? Originally thought he had escaped the tiger's den, but it turned out to be another wolf's den. Lu Chen was speechless and could only let the old man take him away. Lu Chen originally wanted to observe the environment of Shizhou to find an opportunity to escape. However, the old man used the power of space to block the space of Shizhou, making Lu Chen feel like he was thrown into a dark box. He couldn't see anything and couldn't hear anything. He had no idea where he was. It was only after some time that the old man released the spatial force that bound Lu Chen, and Lu Chen finally saw the environment of Shizhou, feeling shocked. Shizhou was an endless primitive jungle, and in front of it was a square paved with marble, but many places were weathered and damaged due to long-term disrepair. In the north of the square was a dilapidated building that looked somewhat like the elementary school in the countryside when he was a child, three stories high. In the front of the school, there was only a flagpole left of the flag-raising platform. What surprised Lu Chen even more was a row of faded giant gate stones on the front wall of the school. Although faded, the words were still visible. Shangugu First Elementary School. Underneath these faded words, there was a red banner with a few large characters written in a crooked brush. Xiaoyao University. Damn. Lu Chen's face darkened, and he was at a loss. Could this be the Xiaoyao University the old man mentioned? Sir, is this? This is the Xiaoyao University I founded. Isn't it magnificent? The old man took a swig of wine from the gourd, grinned, and showed a mouthful of yellow teeth. Lu Chen's eyelids twitched, not knowing what to say. This place had nothing to do with the word magnificent, right? If he had known, he would have just joined any university at random, so he wouldn't have been bound and brought here. Sir, I think I may not be suitable for here, Lu Chen still felt it necessary to clarify his thoughts. As the saying goes, forcibly picking a melon does not make it sweet. If he really didn't want to join here, he believed the other party wouldn't force him. After all, this person was at least a principal and wouldn't do anything too outrageous. Right. I know about your physical condition. You need a fire elemental crystal to temporarily suppress the uncontrollable power of fire in your body, the old man said to Lu Chen. This statement made Lu Chen's pupils shrink. This is his own secret. He has never mentioned it to anyone. How did this old man know? Before Lu Chen could ask, the old man waved his hand and said, You don't need to ask me how I know. I am a spatial mage, with a perception different from ordinary people, able to perceive things that ordinary people cannot. After saying this, the old man suddenly handed Lu Chen a necklace. The necklace was made of an unknown material, presenting a purple color. Although it was a bit rough, upon closer inspection, one would find faint runes flowing on it. In the center of the necklace, there was a purple gemstone emitting bursts of starlight, seemingly containing water, clouds, and land, like a microcosm. This is the power of space? Lu Chen took the necklace with uncertainty, but found that there seemed to be a layer in the center of the gemstone. Curiously, Lu Chen opened the gemstone and found a selfie of the old man inside. In the photo, the old man had a smile on his face, holding a gourd in his left hand and making a scissor gesture with his right hand. Lu Chun, this necklace was forged by myself. I am not a professional blacksmith, so the craftsmanship is a bit rough, but that does not affect its function. I have arranged a spatial array inside the necklace. By wearing this necklace, even if you encounter a spatial mage in the future, they will not be able to detect any abnormalities in your body. In addition, this necklace has an unexpected effect. As for what the effect was, the old man did not reveal it, leaving a cliffhanger. 
system, analyze the necklace. Unfortunately, the old man did not know that Lu Chen had a system. With Lu Chen's command, the system immediately began scanning the necklace and provided an analysis result. Evaluation, a mediocre necklace, but with the spatial power array, it can isolate perception. It also contains a teleportation array, which can be used once when the wearer is in danger. Although this necklace could not even be considered as equipment, its effect greatly helped Lu Chen. Being troubled by the power of flames was Lu Chen's weakness, and he did not want anyone to know this secret. In addition, this necklace could activate a teleportation array. In a sense, this necklace could also be considered an escape route. However, although this necklace was precious, Lu Chen did not want to stay here because he could imagine the hardships that would follow after seeing the dilapidated scene of the Zayoyo University. There was almost no professional training available here, as there were not even training facilities. Lu Chen did not believe that this place was a university. So far, besides himself, there was only an old man here. Could it be that this university was a one-on-one -on -one teaching setup? Senior. Lu Chen looked at the old man, wanting to say something. However, the old man preemptively took out a box and handed it to Lu Chen. There was no array set on the box, but Lu Chen could clearly feel the power of flames emanating from inside. This was a fire elemental crystal core, and it was from a level 50 monster. I accidentally picked up this fire elemental crystal core. If you agree to join our Zayoyo University, both this necklace and the fire elemental crystal core will be yours. I can guarantee that as long as you join Zayoyo University, you will have access to any resources you want, and your development will not be inferior to any other university. You should feel honored to be able to join Zayoyo University, despite its unimpressive appearance. Lu Chun. I don't know how many people you have chosen. But no normal person would come here to study, right? Kid, have you heard the story of the sweeping monk? Seeing that Lu Chen was still hesitant, the old man suddenly asked mysteriously. Lu Chen was immediately drawn into speculation. He also liked to read some fantasy novels and knew that many seemingly unremarkable sweeping monks were actually extraordinary masters. Could it be that the old man in front of him was also such a character? He was a spatial mage, and he could even produce a level 50 fire elemental crystal core. From this, it was not difficult to see that this old man definitely had something. At least with his talent and ability, he definitely couldn't be an ordinary person. After thinking it over, Lu Chen nodded and said, I'm willing to join. Even though he didn't know if the old man was trying to deceive him, what did it matter? If he found out later that the old man was deceiving him, he could just leave. Thinking of this, Lu Chen smiled to himself. He was truly a very clever little genius. But the next moment, Lu Chen couldn't smile anymore because the old man suddenly pulled out a worn-out cell phone, turned on the video function, and aimed the camera at Lu Chen. What are you doing, senior? Lu Chen asked in confusion. Don't be nervous, I'm just recording a little video. The old man grinned and handed Lu Chen a crumpled piece of paper. Just read what's written on it. Lu Chen opened the paper and was dumbfounded when he saw the words on it. When I came to Xiaoya University, I personally felt the beauty here. There is no school more suitable for me than this. I voluntarily joined Xiaoyao University. I am honored to be able to join Xiaoyao University. I have not been coerced. I am recording this video as proof. Damn. Could anyone come up with lines like these? If the old man hadn't said this was Xiaoyao University, Lu Chen would have suspected that he had come to some kind of scam den. Can I not read this? Lu Chen resisted. You can, the old man nodded, then added, but I refuse your refusal. Lu Chen. Helpless, Lu Chen finally read the contents on the paper. After Lu Chen finished reading, the old man nodded in satisfaction. The video is recorded. From now on, you are a member of my Xiaoyao University. I will arrange your enrollment records tonight and announce to the public tomorrow that you are already a member of my Xiaoyao University. This way, you don't have to worry about those bastards trying to steal you from me. The old man looked at Lu Chen, becoming more and more satisfied. He was the hope for the rise of their Xiaoyao University. Once the enrollment records were arranged, Lu Chen would be on their side and there would be no need to worry about him running away or being taken by someone else. To prevent any unexpected changes, the old man decided to prepare these documents tonight. Xiaoyao University will start in half a month. During this time, you can do your own thing. We are an open university and will not restrict students' freedom. The old man waved to Lu Chen and then took a big gulp from the gourd at his waist before turning and leaving. The small video was already recorded, so he was not worried about Lu Chen running away now. After all, even if the person ran away, the video was still in his hands. Watching the figure leave, Lu Chen rubbed his temples and felt helpless. He had always thought that his university life would be at Moe University, but he never expected this situation. Up to now, 
he still hadn't come to his senses. Did he really join Xiaoyao University in such a daze? He didn't even know the old man's name. But one thing was true, the old man didn't lie. It was indeed quite open here. The dilapidated buildings, even the cold wind couldn't stop them. Since I'm here, I might as well make the best of it. If it doesn't work out, I'll figure out a way to leave later. Lu Chen thought to himself. He then put on the necklace and took a look inside the box. Sure enough, there was a fire element crystal nucleus inside. But Lu Chen didn't absorb it immediately. He first put it into the marriage space. His current physical condition was still good, so it would be a waste to absorb the power of the crystal nucleus now. He would wait until the next time the power of the flame in his body became chaotic before refining it, so that he could fully utilize the power of the fire element crystal nucleus. After putting away the items, Lu Chen took a look at the dilapidated Xiaoyao University and then turned and left. His mind was a bit chaotic now, and he needed to find a place to calm down. But what made Lu Chen despair was that there were deep mountains and old forests around Xiaoyao University, and he couldn't even see a single person, let alone a ghost. Lu Chen relied on walking, walking for a full 150 miles, and finally emerged from the deep mountains into the development zone near the capital after dark. Upon entering the development zone, Lu Chen was exhausted and simply found a hotel to sleep in. The next day, various universities were still searching for Lu Chen in order to lure him to their own schools. To everyone's surprise, it was at this time that Xiaoya University suddenly issued an announcement on the internet, providing Lu Chen's registration information. The high-level officials and presidents of various universities were dumbfounded. Damn it! Xiaoyao University? This kid could have gone to Jilong University, but instead he joined that kind of irregular trash school? Inside the office of Jilong University, the president of Jilong University slammed the table in disbelief. Xiaoyao University barely qualified as a regular university because it had the qualifications to operate, but apart from that, the school environment, faculty strength, was really hard to look at. Xiaoyao University had very few students, and the president of Xiaoyao University would use any means necessary to recruit students from other places to join the school. However, when the students saw the school environment, they would firmly refuse. This matter was no longer a secret in the capital. But what surprised everyone was that a talent of Lu Chen's caliber would actually join there. Not only Jolong University, but also the high-level officials of Yaoqi University, Future University, and others were quite puzzled. However, now that Lu Chen's admission qualifications had been processed, they had no choice but to accept it, even if they were unwilling. The most unbelievable part of it all was the situation at Moe University. They had thought it was a sure thing that Lu Chen would come to their school, but they never expected this kid to halfway to other schools. What's going on? In the office of Moe University, the door was suddenly kicked open. Gao Chi Chiang, look at what you've done. Yesterday, when I saw so many universities mobilizing, I reminded you to go and recruit people quickly. You're so arrogant, you're so great. Now, a mythical level professional, even a dual class professional, has been snatched away like this. I'm going to be so angry with you. The person who burst into the office was a woman with a fierce demeanor, carrying a long spear in full of anger. But upon seeing the visitor, the person in the office showed no surprise. Mythical level professionals are not lacking at Moe University and we also have one dual-class professional. As the president of Moe University, Gao Qixiang remained calm and continued to work at his desk without looking up. After a pause, he continued, the second profession awakened by a dual-class professional is often relatively low level. For Moe University, he is not that special. After saying this, Gao Qixiang finally looked up at the woman in front of him. Since he doesn't want to join Moe University, then he won't join. Whether he's here or not, Moli University is still the strongest institution in Xia country. You. Upon hearing the other's words, the woman was speechless. Although she wanted to retort, what the other said was indeed reasonable. The mythical level professionals that other universities were extremely eager for, while not exactly as common as cabbage at Moli University, were also not that rare. Mythical level professionals are the highest level of talent, but there are also differences in strength among mythical level professions, and Lu Chen's Dragon Knight was indeed very strong. But within Moe University, there were professions that were not weaker than the Dragon Knight, and some were even stronger. Currently, Moe University already had six mythical level professionals, including the new recruits. Moe University had over 10 mythical level professionals. In addition to these unexpected mythical level professionals, Moe University currently had over 100 legendary level professionals, and some of the legendary level professionals were not much weaker than the relatively weaker mythical level professionals. With the gathering of so many talents, Moe University's position as the number one university in Xia country was unshakable. 
Is there anything else? Gao Qichang asked, if there's nothing else, you can leave. I still have work to do. Hai Qilin gave a fierce glare at Hai Chang, then snorted and turned to leave. Wait. But at that moment, Hai Chang suddenly called out to him. Do you have something to say? Hai Qilin asked. Just because I'm your older brother, you think you can do whatever you want in front of me. This is the Magic Martial University after all. I am the president of the Magic Martial University, and you are the vice president. If you want to be reckless in private, that's fine, but in public, I hope you can restrain yourself. Hai Chang said lightly. You. Hai Chilin was once again so angry that he couldn't speak, and finally turned and left in a huff. After Hai Chilin left, Hai Chang continued to focus on his work. But a few minutes later, he suddenly leaned back on the sofa and began to contemplate the scenery outside the window. Just a mythical level professional, if he doesn't want to join our Magic Martial University, then so be it. During the annual enrollment process, not all mythical level career changers will choose the Magic Martial University. After receiving a guaranteed spot at the Magic Martial University, Lu Chen chose to join the Carefree University. Although it was unexpected, it didn't matter. The Magic Martial University had extended an olive branch to him, and it was his choice to refuse. The Magic Martial University couldn't compete like other universities because it was the highest institution in the Xia country and had its own pride. So Hai Chang didn't feel that he had done anything wrong in this matter. But what he didn't know was that because he didn't fight for Lu Chen this time, a series of chain reactions occurred. In the near future, the authority of the Magic Martial University would be repeatedly challenged. It would fall from its pedestal. Kyoto, Development Zone. Lu Chen woke up in the hotel, stretched, and recalled the events of yesterday, still feeling like it was a dream. But looking at the necklace on his chest, Lu Chen knew that all of this had really happened. Sai, how did things turn out like this? Lu Chen scratched his head, feeling helpless, and finally decided to go back to the first middle school and inform old man Li Zheng of the situation here. After all, the old man's greatest wish was to cultivate more students who could join the Magic Martial University. He saw such behavior as an honor. And now he hadn't joined the Magic Martial University, so it was reasonable to explain. Jinsha City First Middle School, Playground. After these days of intense testing, the end of term assessment had ended successfully. There was a huge stone steel standing on the playground, and a mage responsible for it was recording the assessment results on the steel, allowing the words on it to change accordingly. This steel was called the Elite Steel. Its purpose was to record the end of year assessment results. At this time, the Elite Steel already displayed a ranking. The top ranks were all people familiar to Lu Chen, all epic level career changers. As for his good friend Zhao Qingxong, he was ranked 18th, not high or low, not up or down. But this kind of result was still okay, and he could also go to a fairly good university. Ah, how did I get this kind of result? It's over, I can't go to a better university. The elite steel stood behind the playground, and the students gathered in the West Week to wait. When they saw their lower rankings, some students sighed in disappointment. Of course, some were surprised by their results. Ha ha, I knew my results wouldn't be low. With such results, I feel like I can choose any university other than the Magic Marshall University. Excited voices mixed with disappointed ones, making the scene even more chaotic. Some were happy, some were worried. Some had already started planning whether to go to the Nine Dragon University or the Profound Spirit University. Some had started packing up to go find a job at a factory because their assessment results were crap, and they had no hope of going to university. Zhao Qingxong had a good attitude. When he saw his ranking, he wasn't disappointed. This result had exceeded his expectations. He was an outstanding level professional, and he didn't have too high expectations for himself. As long as he could go to university normally, regardless of the quality of the university, it would be fine. I don't know how Lu Chen is doing now. He's been admitted to the Magic Martial University. I envy him just thinking about it. Zhao Qingxong sighed as he looked at the rankings on the elite monument. Is there someone envying me? Just then, a laughter suddenly came, and Zhao Qingxong turned around to see Lu Chen. How did you come back, kid? I thought you had already reported to the Magic Martial University, Zhao Qingxong said as he hugged Lu Chen and laughed. I probably won't go to the Magic Martial University, Lu Chen said, touching his nose. Why? Zhao Qingxong asked in confusion. The Magic Martial University is the highest institution in Xia country. With Lu Chen's talent, is there a better choice than going there? Lu Chen didn't hesitate to briefly explain his experience to his close friend Zhao Qingxong. After hearing it, Zhao Qingxong was dumbfounded. With your talent, going to the Magic Martial University is completely fine. You actually went to a lousy university? Zhao Qingxong widened his eyes. 
This made Jia Qingsong initially think that Lu Chen was joking, but after confirming that what Lu Chen said was true, Jia Qingsong fell silent. To make his actions seem less foolish, Lu Chen smiled and said, Actually, Xianya University is not bad. That old man doesn't seem ordinary at all. After saying this, Lu Chen bid farewell to Jia Qingsong and went to find Li Zhang. When he arrived at Li Zhang's office, Lu Chen repeated the story, and Li Zhang initially thought Lu Chen was joking. It was like a rich second generation not inheriting the family's billions and choosing to work at a construction site. It was absurd. But seeing Lu Chen's serious expression, Li Zhang gradually understood. What were you thinking, kid? You actually went to Xianyao University. Do you know what kind of place that is? Li Zhang's voice was excited. Does President Li know about that place? Lu Chen asked curiously. Li Zhang hesitated, and in the end, he didn't say anything, just waved his hand to let Lu Chen leave. He needed some time alone. His student, who he had high hopes for, had actually gone to Xianyao University, and it was almost giving him a heart attack. Actually, that old guy is quite capable. After all, he also came from the Magic Marshall University. It's just a pity that Xianyao University's infrastructure is too poor to cultivate geniuses. After leaving Li Zhang's office, Lu Chen planned to say goodbye to Jiang Shishu and the other girls, and also check their grades. But just as he was about to leave the school gate, Zhao Qingsong suddenly rushed out. What's wrong? Is your zombie mother about to give birth again? Lu Chen asked curiously. Don't joke around. I've made up my mind. I want to join Xianya University with you. Zhao Qingsong panted and grinned. Lu Chen twitched his mouth and instinctively wanted to ask why he was being so unreasonable. Even Lu Chen didn't want to stay in that kind of place for long. And this guy actually wanted to go there voluntarily. Why do you suddenly want to go there? Lu Chen regained his composure and asked curiously. With Zhao Qingsong's grades, although he couldn't go to a top-tier university, it was completely unreasonable for him to suffer in that place. I'm just an outstanding class transfer student. The talent ceiling is set for me. Others would rather be a chicken's head than a phoenix's tail, but I happen to be the opposite. Not all outstanding class transfer students have Lin Ying's background. I may never reach level 60 in my entire life. Maybe going to Xianya University will be more fulfilling, and I can go to school with you, which sounds pretty good when I think about it. All right, Lu Chen nodded, feeling somewhat touched. He didn't try to dissuade him too much, because he hadn't seen what Xianya University was like yet. When he saw the rundown state of Xianya University, he believed this guy would understand. By the way, where are you going now? Why do you look so flustered? Zhao Qingsun squinted and smiled, is it because some little girl from elementary school wants to date you? Lu Chen really wanted to give this guy a slap on the back of his head. I just went to say goodbye to Jiang Shushur and check on their results. So that's it. Shushur must be at the top, no doubt about it. Now the results of Sanjong and Liuzhong will be announced at Liuzhong, so we can go there first. Upon hearing Zhao Qingsong's words, Lu Chen also immediately headed to Liuzhong. There was also an elite monument set up in the Liuzhong playground, with densely packed names written on it. Lu Chen looked up at the top of the monument and indeed saw the names of Zhang Shishu and Yumi. Both girls were the top students in their respective schools. As for Liu Zhong, behind Jiang Shishu was Jiang Wendian, who was ranked behind her. In addition to these familiar people, Lu Chen also saw some familiar names. For example, the fat Dahai, who had cooperated with him in the instance, also had a similar ranking to Jia Qingsong, ranking 15, also a slacker ranking. He Junhong, the chaotic swordsman, also had a surprisingly high ranking, ranking 4, and the damage of the chaotic swordsman was indeed explosive. While Lu Chen was looking at the rankings, Jiang Shishu and others who were checking the results in the crowd noticed Lu Chen. I thought Lu had already reported to the Magic Marshall University, but I didn't expect to see you again, Jiang Shishu said with a smile. With Jiang's talent, passing the assessment at the Magic Marshall University shouldn't be a big problem, Lu Chen said with a smile. Of course, my sister is a legendary thunder mage, Jiang Wendian said proudly. His ranking was second, and no matter what his results were, he could go to the Xianling University. Although his professional level was also legendary, compared to Jiang Shishu, he was slightly inferior. Since his older sister was so amazing, he naturally felt happy. He had no thoughts about the Magic Marshall University, even though he could pass their test. There were too many geniuses at the Magic Marshall University, and the competition was too fierce. He was used to a leisurely life and didn't want to be a green leaf at the Magic Marshall University. After all, with the background of the Jiang family and the legendary professional talent, there was no need to live so tiredly. Why not show off in front of those legendary professionals? Why bother with those geniuses at the legendary level? So he preferred the slightly lower-ranked Xianling University. 
With my results, it wouldn't be too difficult to join the Magic Martial University. I guess we'll meet again in the future, Yumi said playfully, blinking at Lu Chen. I guess we won't, Zhao Qingsong sighed on the side. What's wrong? Zhang Shershir quickly asked when she noticed something was amiss. Is it Lin Ying causing trouble for you again? No, it's not, Lu Chen shook his head and explained the situation. When they heard that Lu Chen had joined the Xiaoyao University, a university they had never heard of, everyone fell silent. Let's not talk about this. With my talent, it doesn't matter to me which university I join. I came to say goodbye to you this time, and I don't know when we'll meet again, Lu Chen said. In the past, for the sake of money, he had no time to make friends. The only friend he had at Ijong was Zhao Qingsong. As for the others, although many people wanted to be friends with him after he became a mythical professional, Lu Chen knew that these people could never be called friends. Strictly speaking, apart from Zhao Qingsong, the Jiang Shushu and others were his friends in Jinsha City. Then the five of them went to Gus Tianxiang to have a meal and then went home separately. When he got home, Long Kor and Jilinger came out of the marriage space. Long Kor sat cross-legged on the sofa, playing games seriously, her fair jade feet clenching and stretching with the intense battles in the game. Jilinger was watching attentively on the side, and Lu Chen was also watching attentively, but the two were looking at different places. After 10 o'clock, Long Kor turned off the game on time and pulled Lu Chen to get ready for bed. On the big bed, Long Kor pressed Lu Chen underneath her, and with a wicked smile, she said, I've given you such a long break, it's time to pay the price today, right? Lu Chen. He had been wondering why Long Kor had been so nice to him these days and hadn't even looked for him. It turns out she had this in mind. After we finish today, our bond should reach 40%, and then you'll be able to unlock more skills and become stronger. Lu Chen also became excited when he heard this, as they were just one step away from reaching 40% bond. They could take that step tonight. Just then, Long Kor suddenly changed the subject and asked, When are you going to deal with that girl, Ji Linger? Ha? Huh? Lu Chen blinked in confusion and asked, What do you mean? Long Kor rolled her eyes. You're about to start your college life and should also start your second career. Although I don't want you to have too much contact with women, I won't become a stumbling block on your path to becoming stronger. Ji Linger is pretty good, and she is also from the Fire Dragon God realm. I would feel at ease if she became your woman. The race Ji Linger belongs to has a status in the Fire Dragon God realm that is not much different from mine. After establishing a bond with her, your second career will probably also be at the mythical level. Having two mythical level careers will definitely put you ahead of other geniuses by several levels. Hearing Long Kor say this, Lu Chen was very excited. Among the recorded dual career holders, most have a very strong first career, and the second career tends to be very weak. Dual career holders are already rare, and the probability of having two equally strong careers is even lower. It's all a matter of luck. Let's not talk about this for now. Lu Chen flipped over and pressed Long Kor underneath him, saying with a smile, let's first solve the current problem and unlock the 40% bond. This night was destined to be sleepless.